All right, guys, it's showtime. How y'all doing? Let's have some fun and uh, get some FFA games going. So let me fire this off here. Switch to this. Should be the correct screen. And yes, we are good to go. So good to be setting up the first lobby here. Let's get this. And it is going to be a FFA match as always. So what we do here, man. Got a cool crew. All right, so turn FFA. All right, all right. I feel like playing the Roost today. I've been playing them in ranked a lot. Been having a lot of fun. So we are going to be playing the Roos and uh, allow observers with no delay. And then the map can be mega random, reveal on elimination, and it looks like we're all good. All right, join on up, crew. Let's get it going. Yeah, buddy. Pretty strong lobby. I see a couple of Conqueror players in there, some uh, local champs as well. We got Dandy uh, maybe going to be playing the French. I wonder if Dandy's going to be going on their beloved French. We'll have to see. All right, all right. <clears throat> so set no teams and then we should be good to start from there you get it? you guys whoa low load the stream you got it going man uh all right so it looks like we're fine let me take a screenshot in case the lobby crashes for some godforsaken reason and echo just left hmm uh yeah you can you can have red it's fine i'll play purple um okay so echo okay i guess size is gonna be in echo may have crashed or left but if Echo messages me in Discord or on stream, we'll get you in the next game. So just shoot me a message. All right, so uh, set no teams, looks good. Yeah, I know Prime likes red, so we'll uh, we'll roll with it. We're gonna do random next game, most likely. All right, let's see here. Yeah, Byzantines are really fun. Yeah, they're super fun. We'll probably play some olive oil in the next match if we don't do random. Um, but I, I'm kind of feeling random. It's really funny to kind of throw players off and see see what they do on civs they don't normally play. It makes the games very interesting. I know, this is always the conundrum with Roos and FFA. Roos are, I would say, a pretty decent FFA civ. I wouldn't say they're at the very top of the rung, but they're they're very, they're very formidable. Um, they have really good siege. But the problem is if you want to get that like MLG OP siege in the late game, not even OP, but very good, you have to forsake stone walls, which in FFA is so haggard. Like, having only wood walls the entire game is, is rough. It's really rough. So, I don't know. Yeah, it's a bit of a conundrum. So, myself on Roos. We got Prime on Japanese. Sparare on the French. Dandy Dragon on the Bizen memes. Uh, your Avity is going to be on Mongols. And yeah, he's on his main. So, your Avity's... He's looking for blood this game. He wants to win. He wants that dub. And we have Siberius on the English. Uh, the Berry on Jean d'Arc. And Sai on the Japanese. <clears throat> I know, stone walls or like turbo battering rams, because Roos can get the best battering rams in the game. You get the upgrade from the uh, high armory and they're pretty insane. The living moving fortress or moving town or something it's called. I forget off the top of my head. Yeah, you could just make your base like an onion with many layers, but man, you're so susceptible to being raided and all in if you don't have any uh, stone walls. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna go for the rams though. I'm gonna go for the OP siege. But God, defending a wonder with wood walls is like the most potato shit ever. Like, if I want to go wonder and I only have wood walls, like, trying to defend it? Oh, man. All right. So let's do this. And uh, you come down here, buddy. Set this up. And uh, let's go looking for some deer. So, <clears throat> unfortunately, we didn't get a corner spot. But it's all good in the neighborhood. Let's go find some deer if we can. Uh, in 1v1, I actually go triple scout with Roos. I'll build uh, one out of my town center right away and then get one from this building uh, as soon as possible also. But here, I don't think we're going to do that. All right, so let's get scouting. <clears throat> Age of Mythology? Uh, I haven't considered streaming that. I wouldn't be opposed to it. Um, that's for sure. What was it with the pathing there? And it looks like we found some water here, so we might need to switch up our build a little bit, which is fine. So, yep, we'll do that, and we'll have you guys come set up shop here. And is there any deep sea fish? There's, there is some deep water fish, so that makes it worth it, in my opinion. 100%. And let's get you, cut one of these, and get you, and go out this way. All right, so we found a deer camp. Hopefully nobody will deny my deer. I think people will be too lazy to. John, thanks for becoming a channel member, man. Hope you're doing well. And I greatly appreciate the support, my friend. Yes, yes. All right. We'll put it to a poll when we go Imperial Age, maybe. See what you guys want to see. I could try the, uh, the battering ram uh, landmark. That could be fun. And we're going to go for an early wheelbarrow, too, probably. What is it, 50 wood for that? Yeah, I think so. All right, Pro Scouts could be a fun one, but yeah, definitely having access to some water over there is going to be really nice. I've never, I actually never played Age of Mythology. I played most RTSs growing up, but Age of Mythology was one that I never got around to playing, so. Okay, let's go take these sheep back, do this and this. And, uh, wow, it looks like we actually have water, like, right next to our base. So it's a good thing that I switched to the water. Yep, okay. 
It would be very foolish for me to not take advantage of that. All right, and a trade post. So, okay, the spawn is not, like, the best, positionally speaking, but we do have some goodies, like, near us, which is great. So let's go see if we can, you know, get some actual bounty here. All right, so let's grab you, come down here, and um, I believe I saw some deep-sea fish. So let's go grab those. Yeah, Mountain Blade. Uh, we did do Mountain Blade 2, Banderlord. Yeah, we did a handful of streams of that game. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun for sure. Good luck, <clears throat> All right, so we found somebody's base here. That is going to be Sai. All right, so Sai is there. Good luck. That is the Japanese. And um, let's go around the outside of the base, see if we can find any deer. So far, I haven't... Oh, man, Yuravity, you're the worst. Why are you like this? Okay, I did get that last one there. Look at him denying my sheep all sweaty. Oh, my God, so evil. All right, so let's get you down there. We found another one. <laughs> he says you did not over there. Oh, I thought he was talking about that deer. Yeah, so we got okay bounty now. We found a couple camps. The middle is super, super like like plentiful. Wow, that's a uh, that's very solid. All right, so we're hanging in there. Um, we could probably start to switch a little bit onto gold at this point. Just start rolling. All right, so let's keep looking around here, and then you can keep scouting. Cool. So we're still in it, baby. Fishing boats are popping out now. So we'll get two on gold, probably. And the first fishing boat should be out in a second. No, I'm not on an island. No, I'm not. Okay, might as well get the early wheelbarrow. Since we're uh, doing pretty well with the bounty. That's probably the best part about playing Roost and FFA in general, is just the uh, the bounty that you get. Gives you a pretty good leg up on the uh, resources early. So, All right, let's uh, power build this <clears throat> so we don't get blocked. Got another deer camp there. We're at 200 bounty. And we'll be able to get the boars and whatnot. So we've been scouted by yellow. Yellow is playing Japanese in the corner. So we probably mm, probably go with Golden Gate. I'm thinking the Golden Gate would be better here. I could be wrong. All right, so let's go here and scout all this. Roos also do like very good scouting too. Like you usually have very... It's it's a, it's not like a blessed spawn, I would say. I would say it's a, it's a decent spawn. We need to get a wooden fortress here as well. Look at, look at Siberius, dude. They're all denying the bounty just because of me, I think? Yeah. Little old me, huh? All right, so let's get that. We got the pig here. Our bounty is 220. Could be a lot better. We got wolves here, so you definitely want to do that. <clears throat> Grab those if possible. Get another boat. And we got three on the gold right now, so obviously going to be enough. Yeah, I could pull the cards down here. All right, so Prime is aged up. means he doesn't have water. Uh, he's also far away from me. Okay, let's see if we can find any more deer. We've had an okay run. We've had an okay run. Okay, let's keep scouting around. Hey, it's the Golden Shogun. You want to get in in the next game, Pwn? <clears throat> Let me know, man. We'll get you in. We can do a team, a team one. Ooh, we found some deer up here. Okay. So, Golden Gate is going to be our landmark. Yes, yes. All right. So, we got those deer right there. And it looks like we found a deer pack up here on the high ground. So, so far, we've had a pretty good run. We've had a pretty good run of it. Okay, let's get more boats. Get some of that sweet fishing going, which is going to really give us a sustainable food source. All right. Perfect. Perfect, Anakin. And we're so close. Give it to me. Got a lot of gold. We're going to be able to get Castle Age like turbo quickly. Uh, high trade house is usually what I go for, but maybe the other landmark would be uh, better considering the speedy uh, food here. Well, anyway, so let's go with the uh, Golden Gate. Yeah, that's going to be the play here, I think. And um, we could bring back some sheep, although it looks like we're doing fine. Uh, we've got that camp over there, so let's hit the middle here, do this. See where everybody's chilling. <clears throat> and we'll go from there. We don't know who our neighbor is up on the top side. Okay, it looks like this is red up here. So this is uh, this is where Prime is chilling. All right, so let's go around this way. And uh, all's good in the neighborhood, man. All's good in the neighborhood. So now we need to get the wooden fortress to augment our wood income. We see teal here, so that's where the Mongols are. Um, we see the deer camp has been taken. I'm at 385 bounty, which is pretty good. Let's get that fortress there to get us the additional wood because if you have a wooden fortress near uh, the woods, you get, I believe, 20% more wood drop off is what it is. Yeah, the, uh, the let's see, the wooden influence. Yeah, 20% more. <clears throat> so let's come across here, see what's cracking. Looks like there's already a night out. Interesting, so we see some early night play. I'm not going to have the gremlin, so I'm not going to have those free militia to kind of help protect us. Should be okay, though. <clears throat> we see the bizon memes over here on this side as well. All right. 
So keep going down this way. Cool. And uh, we're going to be ready for an age up here soon-ish. Could probably grab a couple of you guys, turn in, and jump on the sheep there. Maybe we bring some sheep back. I don't know if we have enough in the base to actually sustain that. And our other scout, I have no idea where it went. It probably just ran somewhere and died. Oh, no, there it is. Okay. So let's bring these back. Okay, so let's get some more of these. We've had that scouted, so Sai is going to be spotting our food source there. All right, so you guys are ready to party. So let's get you on this. And we're going to be able to age up here pretty quickly. Um, do you have the golden gate now? Outstanding. And let's just get some uh, eco upgrades while we're at it. I think that's going to be nice. And we also need to start spamming out hunting cabins wherever we can. Definitely going to go castle and try and get my clutches on some relics. I think it's going to be the play. All right, so we got the sheep there. So let's go scout here and here. And uh, let's come down here. I'm probably not going to have the fastest castle, but it'll be pretty quick. It ain't going to be a slow castle, that's for sure. Uh, extended fishing lines? I don't think so. All right, let's get you guys. We're going to need a little bit more in gold. And you guys jump there. All right. So what can we sell? We can sell a little bit of wood. And uh, then we can start on the... <clears throat> Do I want to go for the... Uh, the high trade house is good. I mean, I could plop it down here, but I think I'm going to go for the religious landmark just so I can get the relics a little bit more efficiently. So we're going to go Abbey of the Trinity here. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Let's go ahead and get a tower here to make sure we're safe. And uh, cool. So we're up to Castle Age already. We could mess around with some horse archers. <clears throat> I think that sounds like a fun idea, actually. All right. So that is going. Those guys are going to get the tower up. And uh, we'll go hunt some bounty on the map in a minute. But first, we need to stabilize. Yeah. All right. So let's go back up here. Ooh, buddy. Look at that. All right. So we're going to send you up there to get that. Gold is back online, and uh, we just need to get relics. John Dark is out there. Let's go around the side of the map with you, and we need to get some more archer ranges. We can get <coughs> do horse archers or any number of things. Yeah, we got we got options. Horse archers are fun. I, I don't know about their competitive viability or whatever, but uh, they seem like they're uh, they're a pretty cool units to use. So uh, probably enough on the fishing boats. Do we want to do that upgrade? Probably not. We need to immediately build another religious building and uh, go hustle and just grab as many as we can. Because relics are just so good. Alright. So let's get you out there. And we'll do this. And we can get another one here. And then we can uh, build some houses back here. Alright. And horse archers. We'll make a couple of those just to kind of go help grab relics. I don't know why I made an archer. Always a good time. Prime is back here. Hey, look at that. Alright. We found some more of these. Prime building is floating gate, so we have a little bit of intel on where that's going. Okay, let's grab this and come back here. And you can grab this, buddy, and come back here. I'm accidentally poking Prime's guy there. It's pretty funny. All right, start getting on some stone. Take our horse archers up here and uh, see what they can get done. So we'll have you guys jump there. Uh, let's keep the fishing boats coming out and also get the upgrade. I think at this point that's going to be prudent. And we can grab a couple of you guys, go jump on stone. And, uh, unfortunately, my scout is, is surrounded here. Okay, well, I don't have to worry about that anymore. It's, uh, it's one less, uh, thing I have to micro and, and, uh, you know, be concerned with. Let's grab this and this. Definitely gonna get a keep going soon. Take our horse archers and move up and support the boys. Unfortunately, the warrior, uh, monks get selected in the hot group for the, uh, for those, which is really quite annoying. All right, more upgrades. Let's do this. I need to get some hunting cabins set up, so let's start on that. And we can do... Let's see, how are we looking here? 26 a minute. Pretty good. All right, let's go over here. Get some horse archers to move that way. People are starting to get castle age. We need to probably think about getting some uh, military upgrades now. All right, buddy, you go drop it there. <clears throat> and all is good in the neighborhood. All right, so you get the one that's a little bit further away. Bring that one back. Looking good. No drama so far. It looks like uh, your avity is already trading, which is funny. I could call it out, but I don't want to... I don't like to, I don't like politicking too much like that, like complaining. I like to just go, you know, let's get another one of those there. All right, so that's going to be a handful of relics, which is outstanding. Should have another one coming out here in a second. So that one has been dropped off officially. So let's get you, buddy, to come over and grab this and then come back here. And you, buddy, can go up here and grab this one and try and bring this back. I mean, I can just pop it with a couple horse archers. Yeah, that's going to be fine. And what we'll do then is probably get some uh, some infantry. I think I'm going to go like inf Streltsy Spear. It's going to be the comp I want to kind of mess with. All right. So just escorting the boys. Yeah, relics are being brought back to the base. 
Soon we will get a keep to protect our uh, empire, and then we're, we're going to wall everything off too. All right. So let's get this. Yes. Yes. And just start kind of cutting off our piece of the pie here. Cool. And yeah, that, so that should be a decent start to the wall off of doom. Do we have any more dudes here? I don't think so. More hunting cabins. We can go set up some more around the map. Sure, why not? And uh, let's get some spears, although it looks like they're still building, so no problem. Could build another TC here. I don't know if it's worth. Could be. All right, so let's go grab this relic and bring that one back. And we can also now start to get some of these. All right, so we're going to get a keep there to protect our little relic pile that we have. And five relics is, is very good. Oh, actually, shit, we have more than that. We have six. If we get that last relic, then that's going to be six there. Yeah, that's going to be very good. Now, why? Usually in these games, they're they're so contested. We get so many people, like, you know, scrapping over relics. But here, it doesn't seem like we got that many. Let the archers feast? Yeah, I mean, that's the idea. Now we just need to go imp, man. That's, that's uh, what's next. Okay. Cool. So we got that. And then we can go and grab, like, a sacred site if we want to. And, uh, yeah, so now we are in pretty good shape. We got nice little wooden palisades coming up over the side. I never scouted the top area. So let's get our scout and go see who's over there and who lies beyond the old veil. And uh, let's get some more hunting cabins. That's 39 a minute. It's pretty good there. And our passive gold is, is very strong, as you can see. We, we have, yeah, we, we have a pretty good situation there. Who's orange? Orange is Siberius. Siberius is probably English, right? All right. So the warrior monks are bringing back the goods. Gonna get some spears there. And now let's go ahead and get double a blacksmith so we can pound out some upgrades. Uh, we see walls being set up by English. Then in this corner we got Sai on the Japanese. So we have two extremely strong imperial sieves on either side of us, which is a little bit frightening, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, thanks for becoming a channel member, Joaquim. I greatly appreciate it, man. Alright, so and then you guys do this and then come down here. And then here and uh, here. Okay, so that's going to cut off our little piece of the pie. So we're definitely going to go imp here and then just try and... Um, man, it sucks that all my landmarks are going to be in one spot. So if I just get rushed, I'm kind of toast. Um, but if you wait too long to go imp, you know, it, it, it can it can be really, really bad. So we're not going to do that. All right, let's go there and then get that stone outcropping. And a couple of you guys can do this and then just build that. All right. So, yeah, we have a fun little army comp. Seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. Yeah, I played I played Old World. It was really fun. We um, we did Empire vs. Beastmen. I'm just going to go grab this. Eh, you know what? That's going to make me a little bit too much of a target, I think. So, unfortunately, yeah. Hmm. I'm going to go for the U Uber Siege, which is going to make my base really, 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 really vulnerable. Um, but let's go down here. At least build it, like, offset so it's kind of off the beaten path. The English could come at me, but I have a good standing army, I feel. Like, I feel like we're reasonably formidable. Make some more fishing boats and uh, get the upgrade for that. At least build it here so it's not... Hey, Manuel, thank you. Thank you. We got two new channel members already. We're partying today, man. Thank you, guys. All right, we're, we'll do the high armory back here. Dude, this is so shady. Not having stone walls is just, like... Oh, so, so haggard, but... Um, yeah, we'll see if it pays off. All right, let's get you and you. Start getting some upgrades. Yeah, all these lobbies are public. Correct. All of them. All these lobbies are public. So that's going to be popping off here. We should have the villagers building the great walls. So I has just now gotten Castle Age. So I could for sure go over there and just kill, take the Japanese out. Um, I don't know who's like a bigger threat, though. The English or Japanese, they're both really obnoxious to fight in Imperial Age. So we're just going to go north and see how this goes, I think. English, I would, I think they have infinite gold. Japan doesn't have infinite gold, but they do have the uh, Tanegashima gunsmith, which is super busted. So, hmm, tr tricky choices. All right, let's get you guys. Do some siege. And uh, this is going to be finishing in a second. Hey, thank you for becoming a channel member, dude. We're having fun today. We're going to get it. All right, so we got that. Um, let's just get on stone. We're going to be able to get the Imperial upgrades. And then what I do is, I, Streltsy Spear is like my favorite Rus army comp. Uh, knights are good, but they kind of fall off a little bit in late game in my experience. Okay, so Tithe Barns is the very first upgrade we want to get. Upgrade our Spears to Elite. Uh, we can get the Horse Archers Elite as well, since we have a shit ton of them already. And now we can do the Ram upgrade. Yeah, more damage and they heal. Healing Battering Rams is pretty sweet, dude. 
That's pretty good, right? Okay, so we need to get another keep, probably. So where do I want that keep? I want my base to be a bit of a porcupine. Granted, it's not going to matter if I if I get rushed on a bunch of different fronts here. All right, upgrades for the upgrade gods. Um, we have Tithe of Arns coming in, and cool. So we're going to get that, and also we can get the... Um, yeah, so we need to get more ram centers. All right, so you guys have gotten that gold. Let's go to the middle, jump on this. I could put a keep down here, but I think just like a basic, uh, you know, tower, spring all tower is going to work just fine. All right, so we're heading out to the middle, and um, let's go ahead and set up a little tower here so I can get some vision on things and see what's cracking in the neighborhood. Uh, all right, so let's get the battering rams. Yes, those upgrades are coming along. Outstanding. So now I need to save up the uh, victory tickets. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of rams, Pone. This is for you, brother. You're gonna, you're gonna love it. I can assure you. Yeah, let's get another wooden fortress there. And uh, looks like we're reasonably walled. I'd be pretty shocked if somebody came from across the map and attacked me, but it wouldn't be the first time. That's for sure. Um, it would not be the first time. Okay, upgrades and upgrades and upgrades and upgrades. Looking cool. So we're gonna get the the big Rus Ruhost, as I like to call it. Okay, middle objectives being taken, a couple of priests going down there, somebody is yelling about the devil in chat. Very, very accurate for the time period, I suppose. Uh, Alright, cool, so let's get you guys set up. Now, where do I want the other keep is the question. Probably like one down, mm, I don't know where I would get attacked from is the problem. So maybe we just save that stone and see what that looks like, right? Alright, so it looks like they are, those guys are uh, up to no good also. Our lumber economy is uh, needs to be improved, so let's move over here. Keep a couple of you guys polishing off that tree. Do this and this. Uh, Sacred Tide's being captured, and uh, yeah, you can't you can't let the corner players just do whatever they want. You know, you gotta you gotta punish them a little bit. So yeah, that's why we're going to be going over to the corner here. All right, and then we can get some bombards to mix in, and then we're we're a okay. All right, so the front is reasonably secure. We can do this, cut that, and then get you guys to come down here and maybe plot the keep down right there. We need to also get a wooden fortress here to make sure we're getting that uh, extra wood return. And we should be good. Yeah, the Rams are going to be good here. They're going to be very strong. But this English player, he's still Castle Age, and I have, like, elite upgrades and, you know, gun units. So I think I think moving up there would be uh, would be very smart right now. I probably should find myself uh, a second TC too, although my eco's okay. Okay, so we're gonna have a handful of rams. I don't know if it's gonna be enough to kill them. Um, in the middle, we do see Prime hunting your avidity stuff. So that's good. It's not me that's getting hunted. And uh, we got you and you, and let's get some rams. We need to get the ram upgrade. And when that's done, we can kind of consider doing a bit of a timing push. All right, so you know what? Let's just wait, we'll, or just go. We don't need to wait. All right, so rams on the walls. And the dreaded Rus army is going to be descending on our opponent, which uh, should be pretty strong. We don't have any uni upgrades yet. Definitely need to get on those. In the middle, um, yeah, still some Mortal Kombat going on. But we have so many relics that I don't need to worry about it too much. All right, so we have the Rus ram upgrade. So those things are going to be healing. Um, they're going to be... Oh my god, look how quick they get through those walls. And they're going to do even more when we get that. All right, so yeah, Prime is, Prime is being extra evil here. Okay. Oh, the curse of turn, he says, yeah. Pretty funny. All right, is he gonna come like raid my base and shit? I don't know. There's not much to raid here. Let's set up another keep. I do lose a lot of villagers, which is a shame. Uh, let's set up another TC here too. All right, so we don't care too much about this. It's fine. It's just a bunch of knights. And um, yeah. All right, so are we being raided? I don't think so. We're gonna set up another keep. And eventually, do we need to switch to farm eco? I don't think so. I think we just go more boats. And where the hell is this gentleman's base? I'm, like looking for it here. Let's set up a little bit of this. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, that's not good for you, bud. That is not good. If that's your army, things this is gonna this is gonna go very very south. All right, so the Rams are coming, and uh, we got a good army here. We definitely need more TCs. All right, so the Rams are taking that thing down turbo quickly. Okay, let's get some more of those. Yep, upgrades for the upgrade gods, and uh, looks like they got a couple of bills trying to torch down the Rams, but the Bruce Rams actually heal, which is really funny. Okay, so he's got some more units coming. Yeah, the defenders are rallying out. Streltsy can mow them down. And Prime is just clearing out the middle, which is uh, cool. Take control of it. I'm good. I got plenty of resources back in my base. I am more than happy to just chill out. So they have finished that. Let's go jump on the trees and maybe consider switching into a farm eco a little bit. 
And now we just move in and uh, continue butchering the space. Yeah. And uh, thank you, me when you need it. <laughs> Will do. Prime, Prime is like asking for political help after just like torching my shit. Look at him. What a villain. All right. So let's go up here. Sai has just got Imperial Age. Um, the dreaded Rus army is going to move in and should be able to finish this off here. So I don't know where his last landmark is. We're going to have to figure this out. And then you guys go after these longbows. Let's get these horse archers to go run around and see what we can find. All right. Uh, now it's time for eco upgrades to the max and update you. My hunting cabin's probably getting butchered around the map. And we do discover the Barkshire Palace in the corner. Okay. So the Barkshire's... Uh, one, two, three. Okay, so we just need to get Barcher. Yeah, and that will solve the problem. All right, so the boys are moving. And the boys are moving. If, if only this could have been done in Castle Age, I could have the, um... I could have the Imperial upgrades, yeah. Okay, let's get these. And go for the Barcher Palace. Take that bad boy down. Well played, Siberius. Well played. He was not prepared for the dreaded inc uh, the dreaded ram ram position. All right, so yeah, Prime is taking the middle. I think your Avity is going to start fighting him for some of those. I would wager. Rams are moving in, and um, we need to get those uni upgrades. Did I ever build a uni? I don't think I did. Yeah, I don't think I did. All right, so let's get a uni here. Prime, I'm just a weary wanderer. He says, yeah. All right, GG, buddy. No, he's not feudal. He's Imperial Age. Oh, did he destroy his docks? I think he just, uh, he might have spite deleted his docks against me. Son of a gun. I was hoping to get trade over here. Yeah, because uh, I didn't destroy these. So clearly he, he the dreaded spite delete. The scorched earth tactics used against the roost. Very fitting. All right. So um, we got the food eco going in the water. Let's get some more of those fishing boats. Um, does he have any more markets or anything? I doubt it, but we'll keep looking. And uh, let's just keep bottling around here. Although we have other fish to fry. So let's head down this way and we can take our horse archers and have them just explore this fallen base. All right, so let's see what this looks like here. And uh, we can go down here, yes, and also get some of these, cool. We're gonna need some more of that. So we have the good siege. Um, the horse archers, yeah, you guys need to go explore. Can you get here? Go see what this base looks like. I wonder if he had any relics or anything. If he did, that's pretty good. I see a monastery, but I doubt he has any relics since we like were all over those. So let's get gunpowder. Yeah, no relics. So he was pretty bare bones on that. I was a sacrificial easy target. Oh no, Siberia. Should've should have left me the goods, dude. You 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 forsaked me. Alright. So ramping up the uh the military prowess. Yeah, I think legit there's like nothing here. So what we can do is we can take some bills and we can build a wooden palisade wall like along his inner inner kind of base here and just uh, try and secure it for ourselves, yeah, at some point. You know, there, there could be something there eventually. Um, so let's get you, you, you. Yeah, let's get all the upgrades. And also, what's nice is we do secure another gold node. Yeah, another couple gold nodes, that is. And let's move over this direction now and go see what's going on on the other side. Uh, so three people are actually down already. I, I assume Prime and Uravity are probably taking folks out just like I am would be my guess if I had to. Hunting cabins are still on the field, so hey, that's nice, they let me keep my old hunting cabins. Uh, can we get uh, one over here? Yes, probably. And then we can also get another hunting cabin down here for 39 a minute, which is sweet. And 39 a minute there. Okay. So now we're gonna head the other way. It looks like Dandy Dragon is dying. Somebody is killing the old Dandy. Uh, most likely one of the Dark Lords. In the we have a handful of Dark Lords in this game for sure. But it's uh, the, the Ruhost is, is not gonna stop. It's gonna keep its momentum going. We've secured that. Trade in the middle is God knows what's going on there. We should probably go like set up a little uh little bit of this. Primey monster. Yeah, well, you know. You chose your fate playing the Byzantines, dude. You chose a hard, a hard, strenuous life of suffering. Alright, so let's secure that that part of the map. Siberia's well, I, I got really fast castle. I doubt people around me got relics. My quarter, my dude. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I like that. I like the I like the Baron Harkonnen role playing. It's always funny. We should probably switch into some stable tech too. Yeah. All right. So let's do this, and we can start on stables. You don't want to just have only infantry. Roost do have really good cavalry too. So I'm gonna switch into them for like raiding, and you know, eventually, depending on the army comp here. 
Okay, this is ballsy, but I think we can get in. Those rams are mean as hell. <laughs> he says, please, no. Oh, don't make me feel bad. Look how many rams we got here. Holy shit. It's the ramming. Oh, God, dude. Look at, look at the rams just descending on him. All right, let's go to his base. And uh, yeah, we got you and you and Strelsey will mow down Samurai, no problem. <laughs> he says, sir, please no. Uh, Mr. Frodo. Oh, he's going after the Rams. That's a mistake. You need to kill the army first. Um, all right, so a couple Samurai coming out. But Roost Rams, dude, they show no mercy. <laughs> Not like this. All right, so let's make sure he can't reseal his walls. Uh, put a little barrier there and uh, move in. And we're going, man. Grand, Grand, Grand. <laughs> yeah, we can do Grand, Grand. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do the we're gonna get in flavor here. All right, so that should be the end of this player down here. Danny Dragon's been eliminated, so he's paid the troll toll. I think I forgot to have been not using my second TC for a long time. It's all good. Let's go out here and uh, get back on that. Okay, so that is the actual Daimyo Manor. So let's gather up our troops here. Make sure we have those. And um, I think we can add all these stables to the queue now. Let's start getting some upgrades. There might come a time when we want Roost Knights. All right, so Grand is going hard. He's going real hard in the paint. Let's get those guys added up here. Yeah, and the samurai are getting last samurai. They're they're meeting powder technology, which is uh, you know, it's fun. He's making hand cannoneers now, so we could this is definitely where you would want to like switch into horsemen, right? So it's biology and get all these. Yeah, we'll just get like, all, those upgrades. all of them. All of those goodies. Alright, so we have a pocket of defenders down here. The rams are still working through the old base, and let's get a couple more rams. Make sure we're all set there. And uh, Yravity and I are just being the gremlins in the middle, taking what we can. Unfortunately, like I said, I only have access to the, um, okay, we do not want to destroy that, if, if possible. So let's get the floating gate, and um, you guys take these. I don't know where the Imperial Landmark would be. Uh, horsemen are almost upgraded. So people are falling pretty quick in this, boys. People are going down pretty fast. All right, so let's get Imperial horses. Yeah, rams are still going, and uh, let's get on this. Get you go north and see what we can find there. And maybe it's in the corner here, but I doubt it. I doubt it. Okay, these are just bills. Uh, what is this? This is uh, the Shogun coming down to push us off Push us off that again. I like how like every couple minutes, Prime will just roll down and just like absolutely kill everything in the middle. Uh, I think the other Psy are also tyrants. They have killed all their neighbors. Yeah. All right, so that looks good. Sai trying to politic here a little bit. I respect that. <laughs> yeah, I want my personal trade though, bud. I want it. All right, so am I going to get attacked here by anything? I'm thinking of throwing down another keep here just to make my base like a super hard porcupine. Prime is not on... Oh, he is on Japanese. Oh, shit. That means that like my keeps don't do anything. They're just going to be dog shit. Well, at least I only have wood walls, so it's like, yeah, whatever. All right, so let's keep plowing through this base. Yeah, is Yuravity dying to Prime? Maybe, I think so. Yuravity, uh, how goes it out there? Prime keeps hunting me. Yeah, I'm curious how it's going for him. Okay, so we got some more rams coming in. Um, we have decent military info. We need to update this. Okay, Prime Prime counterpoliticking a little bit. I like it. I, I, Prime is usually pretty honest, you know, I think. Let's go out here and see what we can grab again. We'll try. He sees these chilling. Uh, for some reason, it looks like I saw like buildings running around, so I thought he was in trouble. You know, I thought he might be in some danger. So, one, two. I don't know where this other landmark is, by the way. If it, is it like right down in the corner here? That'd be really funny. All right, so the Streltsy are taking on the Samurai, and uh, let's do this, and get Knight upgrades, and Spears and stuff. I don't know where his last one is. I don't know where, he is, where, he's, where he's camping out. He's a little bit sneaky. Prime hasn't had to fight anybody. GG. 
he he assumes that I'm gonna attack other pl players, but I'm that's not the plan at the moment. Uh, let's go up here and uh, set up some of this. All right. Oh, there it is. Okay. So we found it. Found the goodies. Uh, you know, even even we we we. Oh, that's right. We have a, a trade post in our base. Yeah. So we can just we can just do that if we want to. All right, so let's go down there and get that. And uh, we have the villagers heading up there to get the trade going. Man, not having stone walls is so haggard. I don't know if it's worth it, to be honest. I don't know if it's worth it. Like, it's just such a such a weird thing to not have that. Okay, what are the bushes do we have? I only have wood walls, sadly. I need all I can get. Uh, granted, I don't need it. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, we see a samurai running by. Did he repair landmarks? So we got a TC, Kura, and floating gate. Didn't we get all of his landmarks? Is he still in the game? Oh, he's gone now, okay. So let's get you guys going down here. Outstanding. And we can delete some of the horsemen. We can cancel those bad boys. Cancel those bad boys. And you guys come down here. And uh, let's get some wooden walls of the gods. Okay. So Primus got it. Okay, so people are lying about shit. What else is new? You know, the tide goes in, the tide goes out. Um, we're going to start accumulating a little bit of this. All right, all right. Cool, cool. If only, if only I was in a better position. Like the problem is, like this corner spot's really good for a wonder. Actually, um, I actually have stone walls here from you know this fallen base, which is great. But um, yeah, I kind of want to let those two just duke it out. You know, they they can just mortal wombat that shit. Let's go set up a keep here. The reason being is um, and yeah, I want to keep my rams normally with roost. Although uh, I could probably remake those pretty easily. Let's get on some wood here. That's what she said. So let's go grab this. So this, this, and this. Those docks were spite deleted earlier. Um, our eco count is 134. So we could probably delete a whole bunch of lumber villagers at this point. Okay, let's come over here. Do this. One, two, and three. And that's going to be pretty fat. That's pretty fat trade there. All right. This <laughs> was Prime Logan Paul. I think his name. Pretty funny. We don't need crossbows. Eh, are we gonna need crossbows at any point? Probably not. All right. Let's get all the basic upgrades, which I usually don't get. We have the artillery upgrades there, and um, I, I don't know where would we even do a uh, wonder hold. GG. Well played, Sai. Yeah, I think we don't need the rams since we're not gonna be on the aggression anymore at this point. Right now, we we worked hard. You know, we like we scrapped for our uh, for our goods here. Did that keep get destroyed? The one I was trying to plop down in the middle? It looks like it did. Hmm. Okay then. Um, but we worked hard for this. You know, we fought tooth and nail. To taking out two of our neighbors. Uh, to get the goods. So I'm gonna neutralize this sacred site. He's probably gonna roll up with an army and try and stop me, but this time we can, uh, we, we can have a little keep root right here. Which will make it a little bit harder. I don't have a big army. You know, we're mostly in on the eco right now, but it certainly, uh, certainly ain't bad. All right, so he's building that wall. Cool. So we're going to take the sacred site, and um, I would like to get it with my uh, warrior priest if I could. All right. The so sacred site has been neutralized, and we can neutralize this one too. We got a little army, and also a tower to protect our interests in the middle, or keep, excuse me. But we do have the uh, the big fancy market. We have our high uh, or our golden gate, so we're going to be able to uh, do pretty well. We see your avidity over there too. So this is uh, we got three conqueror players left in here. Yeah. Well, I could send the rams, but here's the thing: if I send the rams and trying to prove uh, value, as you say, with them, um, what's going to end up happening is I'm going to create hostility, which I don't want right now. Right now, I just want to you know establish my eco. How many traders am I rocking at this point? Twenty. Uh, that's pretty good pretty good and we're a little bit light on wood i would like to get a big surplus of wood all right so the boys are chilling out um if we were to wonder where would we do it <laughs> do it probably do it over here somewhere i feel like we need to switch to farms 
Okay, so we've, we've decapped those sacred sites. I suspect this is like a weird, awkward kind of stalemate situation here. Not even stalemate, but like everybody's just kind of like watching each other. It's like the good, the bad, and the ugly when they're like having the, the shootout. Yeah, and looks like there's another market there which we should destroy since it's kind of... You see, even if he didn't give us that market, we have this one which would give us 100. So it's not like a huge deal. I mean, this is still nicer for sure, but we would have been okay either way. Um, we got the cannon tower. Yep, popping those bills. And uh, Prime, somebody's going to wonder soon. Uh, it, it could be a Mongol corner wonder. You know, that's very much on the table. Let's see if we can get over here. Um, we do not have enough stone at this point, but I do have how many charges here? 20. So I can get a shit ton of stone here. Um, but typically you want to exhaust your this before you do that. So the rate is pretty good. So let's just buy some stone and drive the price up. And try and make it worse for the other players. Yeah, cool. So it's up to 354 now. So if somebody wants to wonder, um, that's going to be the way. Yeah, our food economy is okay. It's all in fishing boats here, which I suppose is pretty good. Aru's fishing boats are awesome. So we only have our food eco. What is our food per minute? Okay, 1600 is really bad. So we're probably going to need to start switching on to some land-based food also. So let's just get a little bit of that going here. All right, so do this. Oh, no, no, that's not going to do, Pig. If it, if it can't have the beautiful symmetrical farm, it's just not going to happen. All right. Uh, I can't beat that Mongol trade. Uh, where is he? He's going to kill me in the long run. Are you guys... Are they actually fighting? That's the thing. Like, who do I trust here, you know? Are they actually duking it out? Yeah, I mean... Where is he even? Prime, uh, yeah, nobody's buying stone, that's for sure. Uh, that ain't happening right now. Ozutsu are broken. They're both appealing to my biases. They, they know that I hate Ozutsu. I, I would rather face a Mongol army than a Japanese army any day of the week. All right, so that's looking fine. We can also do a little bit of this. Um, this weird point here, I mean, God, man, it's like so janky. Does he have full stone walls up there? Like, is that going to help support my, my flank? Like, this side? Let's go see what that looks like. No, I actually don't... Here's the thing. I don't actually care what's going on between them. I'm going to go... I will go scout, but... Um, like, I'm feeling very confident here. Uh, let's get basic archers upgraded. You guys have gotten to that gold, which uh, appears there's a little bit left. Okay. I need a lot more wood before I try anything. Uh, all right, left to side. I will scout and see the truth. So I'm going to go scout and see what the truth looks like between these two. Is there any resources back here still alive? Oh, that's nice. Cool. I'll scout. Okay, and is this situation here? Let's see if they're telling the old truth. It looks like he didn't finish his stone walls. Okay, we see them fighting. It's men at arms being made by Homeboy. Our food per minute now is 3,000, which is way better. Our gold per minute is, is uh, should be better. Probably want some more traders. We can delete our spear units and just rebuild them later. Uh, let's go see what the situation looks like in the corner. Okay, so sacred sites are being retaken. Yeah, let's get a little bit of that. And a little bit of that. Alright, cool. I'm trying to see if he's got like a uh, a Mongol wonder situation going, thingamabob. He's trading for 71. Which isn't that scary. It's not like it's like big, big chungus cross map trade, you know? We're getting a lot of resources there. Clearly, these guys are duking it out. Um, the Shinto Shrine has been taken there by Prime. Prime likely has good trade, too. So we know what Euravity's trade situation looks like. So let's go scout that corner here and then run cross-map with our horsemen. Because I suspect Euravity also, not Euravity, but he also has good trade, would be my guess. Um, all right, here, here, here. Man, building a wonder. Normally, I'd, I would I would not actually, at this point, often go for a wonder. I'd be like, oh, it's time. You know, uh, but with the, the with the uh, situation being what it is, okay, let's get you guys and go find some patches of trees in the middle to uh, to work on. Okay, and we got a lot of that going, so our gold should be really good. Okay, so we see his trade up here. It's with a dead dock. 
I mean, if I can get here with a single horseman, I mean, Prime should be able to kill this with his own raid, right? Let me see if this is the Mongol dock or if he's trading in the south. Yeah, so that's very easy to shut down. I don't know what the drama is there. And Prime, on the other hand, um, he could be lying for sure. He could be could be 100% lying. But we'll find out. All right, so we got a lot of food. Trying to get that surplus going. Yeah, we're doing an FFA game right now. Mongols don't have walls. Let's do this, and then a couple of you guys can mine that out, which is fine. And we'll take our troopers over here and go take down these Mongol towers. So they stop shooting my damn villagers. Okay, so is there any funky trade going down in the top? Okay, we see a walled empire, so probably not trading here. And, um, yeah, we have our villagers getting poked, unfortunately, but our army should come out and deal with that tower in a second. We see some fresh resources on the side. Prime's base is up here. He's right next to gravity. Okay, so that's what's going on here. Yeah, we're clearing these towers, but it's going to take a minute. I'm definitely not looking to attack and go super crunk. Okay, let's get you guys out there. Perfect, so we're getting uh, decent wood again. 3,000 food a minute? Yeah, it's, that's around what you want in, like, late game. That's definitely what you're going to want in the later stages of the game. Huh. Okay, so Prime, I don't, I legit think, might not be trading. Um, he might be doing something in the middle. Is there a trade post in the mid? Yeah, but I'm watching it. So, I don't think he is trading. Your avity says, I'm dead. Uh, enemy destroyed your avity's landmark. Okay, I do see some landmarks dying, which is, which is curious. So, let's come over here. Just in case. It's not that many, but it's something. He's saying he's dead. We need to go probably determine the truth of that. Let's send a couple men at arms over to go scout. And uh, I'm just going to pull these guys just in case. You know, have them, have them at the ready, General. Hmm. Yeah, shells here are great, man. They're such a good unit. All right, so what do we want to do here? We see that. We see more gold in the middle. Um, some more gold on this side. Let's build a little tower here. He's saying he's dead. But is he, though? That's the question. We got these farms to jump back on. I'm scouting. It looks like he's sending rams up there. Yeah, Archon, thanks for becoming a channel a channel member, yeah. He does it all the time, I know. He doesn't look dead? Uh Okay, actually that could be bad for him. The OP samurai blob. They both have like super small armies too. Alright, so let's get you guys on gold. Take that. Get a couple of you guys in there. It's fine. Cool. So he lost. He lost probably his coral tie. Yeah. I think he. I, I think he lost his coral tie. Is what happened here. Bros in my base and stay out. He says. Okay. It seems like they're still fighting. While I just accumulate cackling wealth, we can just lumberjack here, I guess. That's going to be fine. We have those upgrades. We have good trade. It's 140 a pop. The Mongols have made a little bit of progress, but Yuravity is only... he. Yeah, he's only lost the Kurul tie, which um, is really funny that he was trying to politic that. That's hilarious. Oh, we don't need this. What are we doing here? Oh, what the hell? Did you see that? Where did, where did that stone node go? What the hell was that? It just disappeared. I guess the, it got completely drained by the uh, other guys there. Okay, so I'm sending a little bit of this. We're going to go see what's cracking in the neighborhood. Release the Kraken. We got a Men-at-Arm here. You seem pretty alive, your avity. <laughs> oh, what a villain, dude. I love it. All right. So we, we're keeping tabs on him. I've never seen that happen. I'm down two landmarks. You literally have the coral tie in front of it, in front of his base. So you know, I'm, I'm a. Forgive me if I'm a little suspicious here. Uh, we could do some shoreline fishing. 
Uh, has TC in me to manipulate you? Yeah, I think that might actually be true. So it looks like I'm pushing. I would never do such a thing. Oh, uh, that's really funny, dude. This is just the jankiest shit. God, holding without any um any stone walls is gonna be incredibly difficult if I try. Yeah. All right, so we just got all you guys going strong. Uh, we're grabbing whatever we can. We still have 30 golden gate charges, boys. The stone just pulled the John Cena. It did. I can't see it, dude. I don't know what's going on there. Hey, Archon, thank you for the donation. Finally catch the stream before the night shift. I always watch the VODs. Hey, man, I'm happy to have you here. And uh, it's going to be a fun one. I don't know how this is going to end. I really don't. Uh, we see the Shinto priest over there. We're getting a lot of gold. Um, we do see what's going on here. Was this a little a tree patch or something? And oh, we have the Chad Horseman versus the Mountain Samurai. He's probably gonna lose that fight. Okay, so let's just start setting up some like watch posts all around the map, that sort of thing. Okay. So we're gonna try and take that because I'm greedy and I want all the money for myself. Um, Uravity coming down here. Okay. Let's kill Uravity. He's raiding my shit. Alright. So, Uravity just definitely just signed his, his warrant here. Okay. He's, he's coming into my base, and he's going to destroy my market. But this is definitely a, uh, you know... It's, it's Mortal Kombat time. So we destroy all the traitors. Let's get our armies. <laughs> Some of the Elector Counts. Some of the Elector Rams. He's moving into the corner, which I can't I can't tolerate that. I can't have this infestation in my lands. And then it basically just becomes a Wonder Race versus Prime. Um, which is fine. Need wood? I do need a little bit of wood. That's, that's for sure. Um, let's go there. Okay. Uh, okay. So we're moving in. We're gathering our armies. Uh, currently, our eco is still really, really big. We can do this. If you leave my corner, I will not attack. Yeah. Let's see if he. Let's see if he did it. So I'm gonna go see if he's still in there. We're gonna move down there. Okay, so we got towers coming up. I need to go scout and see. So let's take our horsemen down there and go see what we can discover. Yeah, if he leaves my shit, then I'll, I'll spare him. I just don't want him in my corner, like building a Mongolian rat's nest. Nobody wants that. Okay, so there's a lot of units standing idle here. Let's lead some. We're a little bit too hard in the eco. Probably need to go into military a little bit. Okay, so we actually have a tree patch over here we can get on. All right. So the armies are gathering. We're going to see if he's down here. If he is, he could have destroyed my market. I have plenty of gold and passive income, so I don't think I need the traders. But um, yeah, I can't, I can't have someone in here. Is he down here? Did he destroy my market? Let's see. He didn't destroy the market. Okay, but he's probably in here somewhere. Yeah, no, not going to happen, dude. This is my corner. All right, so then we can do this. A bunch of towers here would probably not be a bad idea. Just to be a deterrent. Mr. Moo, the blessed 6969, thank you. Been shadow watching for years, helped me through and broken. Man, a lot of stuff, man. Well, I'm happy to happy to hear it's helped. Can you not share? No, dude, of course not. I ain't sharing shit. All right. All right, so the traders are trying to come in there. We don't want any of that. All right, cool. So let's gather up. Outstanding. So it might be seem a little funny why I would go after gravity, but the Japanese are definitely stronger. Hmm. God, this is a tough one because gravity's been a little sneaky over here. He's been lying and trying to deceive me about his current health and stuff. But Japanese are way stronger, like way, way stronger. So there's, it's a bit of a conundrum here. Let's get another keep there, just to be safe. 
And uh, let's go scout and see if they're fighting. Let's go scout and see if they're still at it. Okay, so we'll keep you guys here. We have a decent little army. We see Prime moving out with a lot of dudes for the dude gods and dude for the dude thrones. I'm leaving, but if he attacks me, then I'm going to attack him. We'll see if he wants a piece. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right. Well, so be it. So let's go in here. So be it. All right. So we're going to go down here and we will grab all of our bills. <laughs> one villager. That, that wasn't just one villager. That was, that was my boy Ivan, dude. You know? All right. So let's get all these guys going and just muster the rover in here. And, uh, all right. Looking good. I don't know why these guys aren't attacking. He's going to dive, but my boy Ivan, you know. <laughs> He's asking Prime for help. Oh, my God. I love it. You think Prime's going to help you? He's been trying to counter-politic you all game. All right. Cool. So we're moving in here. Dude, we, we're we not going to let our boy Ivan go down like that. All right. So we're moving in. We got the Rams of the Gods. He's got his little spring alds and stuff. We'll see if Prime actually wants to help. Okay, and get you guys up and do this and this. It's quite a few right there. It's quite a few. Yes, yes, good. Spearmen are taking down a lot of the bills. All right, uh, Rus army comp. I'm my big, my favorite army comp is Spear Streltsy, personally. Um, I love Spear Streltsy. I feel like it's really cost effective, and you can get a lot of artillery in it as well. All right, so let's slap the base on this. All right. So here we go. <laughs> he says a little longer would have been nice. Oh, he just, look at that. I was so ready for that shit. Oh, man. Okay. So let's start attacking in the middle. Um, yeah. So let's just start clearing out all these guys. Perfect. Perfect. And um, we'll delete all of our food eco here soon. We don't need food eco, so we'll delete these guys. Okay. Let's see that. Just the casual 81. All right. So unfortunately, we don't have good walls. So all we can really do is build like keeps around it. And uh, let's just hunt these bills down, do this, get some horsemen coming out that way, and engage the armies, and uh, have some fun. Yeah. We're going to see how this goes. Should be interesting. Let's hunt the villagers down. That's going to be important. And uh, we got Streltsy coming out. Bruce Knights are good, too. Cool. Streltsy dunk on Samurai really, really hard, so that's good. All right, let's get you guys hustling across the map. We need to see where he's trying to uh, get his rat's nest going, and then we uh, we hunt that. All right, so let's go over here. Spearmen have done it. Let's grab this. And uh, how are the Streltsy blob in the middle doing? I think they're holding their own. Yeah, good. All righty then. So, yeah, keep fighting these guys. Ozutsu are getting blasted. And, uh, yeah, we see his, uh, his attempted uh, setup here. All right, so you guys have gotten the keeps going. Let's get a handful of you guys back on the farms. And a bunch of you guys can also get on wood because we're probably going to need some wood. Yeah, we're going to need a little bit of wood here. All right, so the armies are gathering. And we see a lot of spring alds. But we do have the superior spring alds. All right, so let's get you guys popping over here. And uh, we can get rams and all sorts of goodies going there. Let's have you guys attack and attack. Start hammering all these villagers down. All right, where we need to consolidate our army. It's kind of all over the place right now. Yeah, so let's uh, head this way, have this ram head up to his base, attack, whatever. And uh, how are the horsemen doing? Yeah, they're, they're chasing. They're doing some good work. Yeah, they're doing some good work for sure. Okay, 22 bills. Um, where will he attack from is the question. It could be over here, which would be very, very troll. So let's gather our boys and head this way. We don't know where he's going to push from, but we'll find out soon. He's trying to set up infrastructure here, it looks like, so let's get on those bills. As long as we just shut down infrastructure and he has to, like, run from his base, and then we're in pretty good shape here. Yeah, 12 minutes to hold. I mean, he could get me. He's, he is Japanese, so he does have access to some really, really powerful siege and stuff. Uh, let's do that. 
Set up some more keeps here. So it looks like he's going to try and come through here, which is okay for us. All right, so Streltsy attack. Uh, you guys come down this way. We got some uh, knights coming out, the Chad Roos knights, and bombards and whatnot. So we'll see what kind of uh, clearing we can do. All right, so re-engage. Looking good. So where would he come from? Let's buy a bunch of stone from the Golden Gate. Let's get as much as we can. Yes, yes. And then here and here, here and uh, here also. Okay. So that's going to do it. We got Ramstein coming across. I suspect he's going to start producing over here soon. But if we can sweep that out from the map, then we just win, right? He's going to need to get some sneaky sneaky going. See, that's why um, that's why I wanted to just kill, take out your Abity, because I figured we would be able to, um, to really laugh it up from there. Oh, that's not even a keep there. That's not his keep. That is... Okay. Okay. So let's take these Bombards over this way. The, we can't let the Ozutu get close to us here. You know, they're going to be a bit of a problem. Man, Japanese armies are so brutal. Like, look how quickly he just cleared my shit. Let's pull you guys back. Take this and this. I don't know which way he's going to come from. We'll have to see. Probably just going to spam out Samurai, I would suspect. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so the Dread Legions are moving. Let's get the Ramstein heading over this way. Uh, you guys, let's get a couple of you and do this. And we can uh, try and Ramstein push that down, which should be okay. All right. Let's get all the units. we got to make sure we're macroing consistently. I mean, God, look at our static defenses folding up. He might be able to get back here, man. He might be able to. It's going to be really dodgy. Yeah, if we can somehow compromise that Ozutsu blob, though, that's going to be really good. Like, really good. What is our military supply at right now? Okay. So do this, 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 and this. We're going to need to delete probably all our food eco, I think. I don't think we need it, really. So let's uh, take that out and just get a big army. Because he's probably all in, too. So, okay, we actually met him in open field. It's not going badly. That's good. So you can see he's he's a, he's a very good at Japanese. He runs his Ozutsu away, but we're going to get a bunch of them right now. Yeah, they're going to die to the horsemen. Okay, he just lost his Ozutsu blob, so we might be okay. Yeah, because he's been building that up for a while. We got the split push going here. And uh, let's go get you and get all this free artillery of free artillery. Pull the bombards back if we can. Perfect. That engagement was pretty crushing there, actually. The dreaded Roos, uh, the dreaded Roos. They got it, baby. All right. Yeah, Roos are honestly lately have been one of my favorite civs. They're just so, uh, they have some really nice units. Yeah, trying to get this one-on-one -on -one is definitely not going to be easy for him. Um, all right, so let's get this and then this. And uh, you guys can start on rams. For the Ram God. And now we just push towards his infrastructure setup, and um, I think we might be able to break it. Okay, let's get Knights and Streltsy and whatnot. He is going to spend tickets to remake the Blob, true, but he might have already been spending them, is the thing. Alright, so let's keep moving up here, see if we can steamroll through. Um, we have 48 on wood, which I think we need if we're going to be Ram spamming. Yeah, so he's trying to get over there to do some funniness. Thankfully, we were watching. Over here, we got a lot of bills, so we could respond to that pretty quickly, too. All right. So let's start knocking down all these buildings here. Streltsy are just so good. They're so cost-effective. That's what probably... Yeah, that, I think that's one of the big reasons why Rooster are, are pretty good. All right. So knocking those bad boys down. Yeah, and they get that static firing position, so the, they get 30% attack speed. Oh, my God. They're just mowing down those samurai. Don't make archers. What am I doing making archers? That's how you lose ground. Let's get those knights in there, and um, so far, yeah, we see a ram split push coming. So let's grab you guys. Uh, let's grab a handful of you guys and go do this and then torch that. Yeah, so we'll work on that. Okay, men at arms, and then these guys, and just keep fighting here. Um, we are knocking down some of the production here, and okay, here comes the split push. So we need to get these rams going here, and um, for now, let's buy a little bit of stone, slap down a keep here to make it a little bit less desirable to push. And we just keep moving, moving, moving through all this stuff. All right. So in the meantime, these bills need to go here and torch that. He probably thinks I still have trade, maybe? I'm not sure. But let's uh, focus fire the Ozutsu down. Okay, so we got a second wave of Ozutsu blobs. So we need to pull back now, because it's just going to be ugly if we don't. Where the hell does Rams go? Okay, there they go. And then they need to go after the, uh, the infrastructure here. He's doing some nice split pushing himself. Yeah, we might have to, like, reorient our army to this side. I mean, we do have a couple keeps in between him and us. So I think we're okay. Um, U18 Vils, very good. So let's just get you guys on the trees over here for now. And cool. So that's going to go down. That'll pretty much counter that split push. 
Yeah, make gold units. Let's not be a potato. I have, I have six relics, so that's pretty mean. And our rams have gotten in. Cool. So you can see our ram split push is going. Uh, our rams do heal, and they're pretty formidable. So we're going to get all those bad boys heading that way. All right. So those guys are moving. We've pushed back the army. We pretty much killed everything that isn't a Nozutsu. All right. So you guys got your keep up. Let's do this and get another keep here. Make it a little bit of a hard push here, and that's going well. And yeah, you can see the, the ram split pushing. It's like occupying his attention. So even if they're not like killing anything, he's still like his army's there instead of, you know, elsewhere. So that's really good. All right, so he hasn't gotten in yet. Um, this area has been diminished. So let's get a little tower and this and this. Make sure we have our wood income because we need to keep spamming rams. Even though we're on the defense, it's very good. And uh, over there, what does it look like? Yeah, more rams for the ram gods, ram for the ram throne. And let's attack in. All right, so keep it up, boys. I lapsed in macro a little bit, but it's okay, it happens. Uh, let's gather the boys up here. And uh, are we going to get split push there? I don't know. Get a cannon placement. And uh, you guys can come down and work on these trees here. Quick landmark snipe. Yeah, I mean, you could do a little sneakiness for sure. All right. So we're engaging again against his OPO Zutsu blob, but the Chad Roos will, will hold. I suspected gravity was going to leave. That's why we did that. So we were prepared for the wonder. It, it probably screwed Prime over because he didn't get as much time to like prepare as he would have liked. Okay, so we got a bit of an issue here. A ram snuck through. I think it's just one ram, though. And that's one of my keeps there, is it? Yes, it is. Okay, so he did manage to sneak something through, but yeah, we should be okay. So let's get these towers for vision so we can see any funny business that's going on. Okay, and horsemen looking good. Food's getting a little bit sparse. So we probably want to start getting some food back. So let's start getting on the food eco once again. Yeah, I think we, we want to do that. Granted, it's only five minutes left, and I think we're okay on time. We're both just grinding. His food eco is probably super, super good at the moment. Uh, so the keeps built. We got 42 on food again. Um, this side has been uh, blocked. Let's get another cannon emplacement. And here he goes. He's trying to move through. He might come this way. Like I said, it's pretty entrenched, though. We got, we got a lot of boys hanging out here. And you guys can just go hammer those berry bushes down. All right, so let's flank him here. See if we can get some Ozutsu, and now we can start gathering our troops out this way. Soon I'll cut my wood eco, I'm thinking. All right, so we get a little flank in the back. It's fine if he blocks me, I guess. Doesn't really matter too much. Okay, let's get some rams going that way. We just keep chasing. He's making a mad dash for it. So we will get all of you guys going here, and we can delete a whole bunch of these, although there's some, some wild rams over here. Oh, okay, still got a little bit. Cool. So the Ozutsu are making a mad dash for it. And we need to go ahead and delete all this food eco and get as many dudes as we can over there. Because this is kind of his last push at it, his last hoorah. So let's get all our bills, do this, and delete them for now. I think we're going to go all in for a second and make sure we don't like get back backdoored here. Okay, so he's, he's going for the wonder. Is he going to be able to get it? Shit, he might actually get my wonder here. Oh, this is bad. He's pretty close. God damn, Ozutsu are so strong. Oh my god, is he going to get this? That would feel so bad if I blundered that shit. Alright, so we got you guys coming, you guys coming, you guys coming. We got horsemen riding them down. I mean, we do have a couple. Oh yeah, yeah, I have no repairs here either. Okay, we need to just not let them get there. Okay, so let's get you guys. If we stop this, I think we win. If he gets there, yeah, we need to block him. Make sure he can't get close. Okay, okay. He's losing a lot of Ozutsu. We do have some bills coming. Yeah, he's not going to get it. It's a little, it was a little dodgy, but, you know, at the end of the day, it came out okay. God damn, that, that actually gave me some serious, uh, serious stress there, for sure. Okay, so how long does he have? He's got three minutes left. Okay, thankfully we still have a little bit of food eco. We did delete all our bills to get, like, a fat hammer military, which should be able to hold them for some time. We have some food, and we can also buy food. I'm just gonna buy food with our golden gate. Nice. So that, that'll, that'll, you know, tide us over for now. I don't think anything's gonna happen over here. Yeah, that was a that was a good panic delete. That was very very dodgy. All right, so let's get you guys going here, push you guys out, and we just prepare for another push there. Yeah, we didn't even need mangoes. Just just swarming was enough. All right, so let's get you and get our religious characters and have them go grab sacred sites. All right, so we're gonna fight them out here, and um, we can also just start spamming out mangonels and siege. Dude, Zutsu, the, the rate at which they kill shit is so nasty. It's pretty insane. But yeah, we have a, a pretty massive military here. It's 160 supply, so we might actually be able to straight up 
push him back here. That's for sure. Uh, let's rebuild the walls. Yeah, we still have some some haggard reinforcements coming out. Okay, no problem. Rams are making progress. The Streltsy blob is pretty disgusting. All right. Yeah, the Ozutsu carry anti-tank guns. I, I, they're probably my least favorite unit to play against. I feel like they're just so busted. Yeah, but you know, in one v one, it's not as big of a deal because you don't like get to imp as easily. But in FFA, you always get to imp like basically. You know, not always. I mean, you can still die early, but. Look at the Chad Strelty though, dude. Just no mercy. Just mowing down these, these, uh, showing the superior technology there. Uh, okay, we got a tower back there. He says, "What is your bank, dude?" It's pretty good. It's pretty good. So the problem for him now is he's getting pushed back, like his infrastructure. So he basically has no chances. Um, our food eco is coming back here. Pretty okay. Golden Gate though. Yeah, it's mainly the Golden Gate. He's, he's microing very hard. I'm being lazy. I should probably probably be a little bit better about this. Oh, we got mangoes coming. Let's get spears and horsemen. Um, no split, split pushing on that side. The Roostreltsy blasting those bad boys away. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. We got that sacred, and let's go get that too. Stupid OPO Zutsu, dude. The worst. All right. So let's get that. Uh, let's gather up our defenders here. And we need to get some spring alts here and some mangoes in the back. Because at this point, we just fight with whatever we have here. Yeah, we just run away. We just run away. So let's grab everybody except the rams and just go hunker down in the wonder at this point. Just so we don't get cheesed, you know. That's that's not what we want. So we're going to pull back. There's no sense in just fighting here. The rams are clearing a shit ton. Ozutu shouldn't be too good against rams. So Does he have anything coming from this side? No, it's basically just that. So My bank is almost empty, though, from all this fighting. That is for sure. Keep that bad boy down. Rams are still going like absolute champions. And I think we are good. I think we've held on. Alright. So our scheming worked. We got the bottom trade. We let them beat each other up. And we, we took down the weaker of the two to force it into a 1v1. 1v1 is really hard. He actually did really good. It's, it got close. I mean, but... Any other save would basically have no chance of getting back there, but those Ozutsu almost got me. Who's, who, who needs stone walls, right? Alright, so let's nuke that Ozutsu blob with these guys. Streltsy going to show the gunpowder action. Oh, yes. And let's just kind of keep blasting him here. Yeah, buddy! GG. Still got it. Still got it, baby. All right, let's get our second game going. Woo, that was a that was a sweaty one, dude. It's a real sweaty one. All right. So next up, that was a pretty short one, so I can definitely play play another here. Uh, let's see. All right, checking here. Okay, perfect. A two v two game, man. No, we're 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 uh we're trying here. I mean, yeah, look at this. He had a beautiful foodie code. Did he have any trade though? It looks like he was prepping a wonder up here. Yeah, somebody was prepping. Oh no, that was where the Byzantines were. Okay, and there's water here. Having water the whole game was definitely a big advantage. Uh, that was one of the reasons why I was able to run away with the game against the other two players. Although they both had fish too, so no excuse for here. I yeah, they didn't have that much fish, and there was fish here, so I guess they they all had fish. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to probably do Dune tomorrow. All right. So let's fire up another match. GG, well played. And uh, I'm going to make the lobby right now. Yes, yes. So let's get it going. And anybody's welcome to join. It's just first come, first serve. All right. So Terran FFA. But as long as you didn't play in the first game. Okay. And we're going to go with the... Uh, Let's see. I think random saves would be fun. Let's go random. Let's see here. Uh, if we do a third or an extreme. All right, so random saves. Oh, look at the golden Shogun got in. Look, he got, Pone made it. Holy shit, that was quick. All right. <laughs> yes. The ally check says no. Oh man, we're going random sis, baby. Hell yeah. 
Let's get it. All right, so let's screenshot. Okay, so we got that taken care of. Allow observers, no delay, and reveal on elimination. Okay, I think I we're all set. I am weak. Please don't kill me. Set, no teams. Hey, Blackwater, thank you for the tenor. Clean and clinical win, Torino. By the way, have you heard of Warcraft 3 Ladder? Got a new season for the first time. In yeah, yeah, Pwn and I lost like four games on it yesterday. <laughs> Dude, people in Warcraft 3 are just, uh, are, are just so good at that game still. It's crazy. We went, like, Pwn and I were winning StarCraft games pretty consistently, like 2v2s, and then we went to go play freaking Warcraft 3, and we just get crushed. You know, Good absolutely luck. crushed. Have fun. Hmm. I'm going to get TC dropped. Is that, wait, why is, why is he going to do that? What did I get? Oh, I got the Ayubids. Oh, they're not very good. Ayubids are not very good in FFA. But there is some cheese you can do with them. So I'm going to try and do it. Uh, Pone got French. Okay, that's good for him. He knows how to play Jones. So French is basically the same. Yeah, so Pone got us if he kind of knows how to play. So we got English, Ayubids, two Abbasid, Byzantines. Oh, another Ayubid. And then Mongol and French. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Here we go, baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. So we are going to go logistics wing and try and just get the relics. That's basically the play. We're going to go fast castle, uh, get all the relics. And oh, we get to make the giant dong towers too, by the way. So unfortunately, we still only have two landmarks, which sucks pretty bad. If I get a corner, we're in okay shape because uh, I can put the uh, house of wisdom in the corner. But otherwise, it's going to be dodgy. All right, good luck, have fun. Yeah, they're pretty bad in FFA, but getting six relics is going to make me good. Like, that turns me into a good sieve. So, if I can get that going, we'll see. Oh, we're still waiting for Victory here to load. Yeah, their late game sucks pretty bad, yeah. But it's okay, we'll make it work. Like, Abbasid late game is way better, because they get uh, they have all those nice military upgrades, like HP on infantry, and uh, they also have trade upgrades, where Ayubids don't have any of that. So, it's fine, though. It's a good challenge. We have the dreaded Prof Bone in here, guys. The number one consequence of watching these streams is Haggard entering your vocabulary. Dude, it is one of the biggest earworms ever. Like, when you start saying that, it just becomes part of your vernacular. There's no escaping it. There will be giant giant dongs coming out. Yeah, we got six relics last game. That's why we were able to cackle so hard, for sure. Although, Japan just doesn't even care about your keeps. They literally just one-shot them with a blob, which is pretty frightening. All right, so, yeah, we're playing at the Ayubids, right? So, we want the bushes. And uh, let's go up here. So not the best spot, unfortunately, um, but it could be worse. Could be worse. We could be directly in the Good old luck. middle. Have fun. I don't know if you're supposed to get berries first with Ayubids. I actually don't know. They have the same stuff as the Abbasid in that regard, yeah? Okay, so let's go here. See if we got any water around. Thank God, something I can play. <laughs> yeah, pwn, pwn. You got, you got a, a pretty, pretty funny one there. I mean, thank Nuffle. Yeah. Weak. Please don't so let's go see what's up in this corner. This might be where we build our House of Wisdom. Yeah. I think that's uh, what the plan is going to be. All right. Get the rest of you guys on berry bushes. And we're all set. And cool. Okay, so we see somebody's base here. That's going to be Sammy. Um, man, I, I think I just have to... I think I have to raw dog it, boys. I think I just have to... Set up my House of Wisdom a little bit further back. Maybe back here to buy a little bit of time. I guess we could go, like, right up here. Oh, this is so shitty, dude. Because then, like, the Wonder is just so hard to defend. Okay, so we got Relics. No, I can't because um, this is, like, wherever the House of Wisdom goes is just, that's where it is. Ugh. I guess we can go up here and try and do this. Is there, like, a tree line back there or something? Yeah, we're going to set it a little bit deep set. Is there, like, yeah, this seems a little safer here. There's, like, a narrow path, and maybe it can hold. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's 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 still really haggard, but it's it's better. Yeah, there's a relic there. Okay. We already spot two relics. Okay, let's keep going. Berries are fine. Yeah, I should uh, sprint to the... Yeah, we're, we're running it up to the edge here. We're going to move it to the corner arena. See what we can do there. Let's drop these sheep off because this is a nice choke like I have a choke point here a bit of one here a bit of one here He says turn is my neighbor. You'll be all right, dude. Don't worry about it You're fine You're good. Don't worry about it All right, so we got the house of wisdom coming up. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to connect 
The wing? Oh, my, are you telling me there's water here? Oh, I think there's water. Oh, God, of course. All right, so we're just going to age up, and then we'll jump on water, because it's stupid not to. Unless there's no deep water, and then it might not be worth. Yeah. His neighbors tend to die all of a sudden. It's true. That's, that is, there are some facts to that. All right, so let's go here. And how do we want to age up here? So probably we will do the um, the economic wing growth, just to get the little villager spurt. And that will maybe help us a little bit. Have you guys do this and do that. It's just all shoreline fish. I mean, it's still probably worth doing. But um, I want to get the fast castle. Yeah, that's the thing. So this one's going to give us a, a handful of villagers. It gives you three, I believe. Uh, we see only two relics so far, so we need to scout much better than that. But we're, we're going for the speedy castle. Okay, so we see three, so that's, that's already good. Well, I mean, of course, yeah, taking out your neighbors is the key to key to success in this game in FFA. I mean, it, it, you know, it's a threat that can constantly just punish you. And if you get rid of them, you can just kind of do whatever you want. You can cross map trade, like, whatever. Okay, do we have more relics up here? Yeah, we're not going to get a benefit from our Golden Age for quite some time, sadly. So we'll just build houses and try and connect the Golden Age. And uh, let's come down here and see what's on this side. All right. So he's going, and we're going to try and slowly connect our Golden Age here. It's going to be really haggard, but okay, what do we have here? Is this the other Ayubid player? Okay. So we need to be aware that they could also do Fast Castle and get the goods. So that's something uh, to be aware of. And let's get you. All right. So we'll switch on to the, the, the sheep here. And um, we're just getting a little bit of wood so we can... Oh, and there's deep sea fish here. Shit. If they got that and I didn't, then I'm going to be so behind these guys. I'm going to be so behind them. Oh, at least we see three. That's a, that's a good start. All right. So let's get you guys. And you can jump onto the sheep for now. And we're about to get three villagers when we age up. <laughs> They're already like politicking against me. I don't like it. I don't like it. Alright, so um, politics already afoot. That's for sure. And you guys have finished this. So we got the three bills here. Let's go get them on gold. And uh, get a couple of you guys on gold as well. So now we just go for logistics wing. Um, unfortunately, yeah, the docks. I mean, we could go do a little dock action here. Probably not a bad idea. Just slap that down. And uh, we'll just keep a couple on wood. That's what she said. And um, now we just are going to be trying to turbo age up here. All right, so our free villagers are coming down. And uh, let's see what else we can find here. If we can find any more relics. Only finding three so far is not great. Uh, Ayubids are pretty terrible so you, in FFA, so you typically need to um, have a lot of those bad boys. And we're going to do the rapid advancement, probably. Although Logistics Wing is good, too, because it gives you three dervishes right away, which is really strong. So we want to get some fishing online. What's the name of the history documentary? Uh, Mehmed versus Vlad. It's called Mehmed versus Vlad. It's about the Ottoman Empire versus the Byzantines. And then the Ottoman Empire um, uh, facing off against Wallachia and uh, Vlad Dracula. Yeah. It's really good. It's a super awesome documentary. So we could do the rapid age up too and just try and get the dervishes out and just do like turbo fast castle. Or we could do like a standard logistics wing, which immediately gives three dervishes, which might arguably be better. Um, might be better. So we see four relics so far. Okay, let's go this way. People are just now getting feudal and we're already close to castle, which is really good. That probably means he's fishing though. It's I, funny. I could actually advance the castle right now. Isn't that crazy? The Ayubids, what they're capable of? It's just nuts. Um, but I think I'm going to go for the logistics wing to get the uh, dervishes and stuff. All right, so let's get you guys and get a little bit of fishing coming out. So that'll, you know, help us. And um, now we need to do this. We almost have enough food with the berry bushes and whatnot. And uh, logistics wing is this one, yeah. No, it's, uh, where is it? Uh, logistics, yeah, that one. Very, very close. And let's cancel that. So close to getting it, and we can do logistics wing. All right. It's not going to be the fastest castle in the world, but it's going to be pretty damn swift, boys. It's going to be pretty quick. I don't know what we're going to do for the Imperial Age wings, but we'll, we'll figure something out. We'll figure something out here. All right, so we need to switch a lot of you guys onto this. Yeah, start switching onto wood, and we can pull a handful of you guys onto wood so we can build some infrastructure and um, start expanding towards our um, Golden Age here. So what units? We probably want to go Chad Gulams for military. Yeah, we see another relic there. But we need to get the religious building up ASAP so we have a place to stash the boys. 
It's going to be a ways before we get there, but yeah, we're about to get Feudal Age. English still Age 1? Yeah. How is Allied still Age 1? Allied. How are you still Dark Ages? Like, I would understand with a newer player, but Allied's not new. So I'm, I'm kind of genuinely curious. We got to roast them a little bit here. How are you poor? You know? What is this? How is he still in the Potato Age? No sunshine down there? What the hell is going on? Let's get wheelbarrow. This is the weirdest thing, dude. It's the weirdest thing. Alright, so we got that. He's a fellow fish enjoyer. I guess he is. And uh, let's just keep this going, yeah. They'll keep working their way up there, and then we can build the religious building ASAP to stash the relics. And uh, cool. So we're just kind of slowly expanding it out. Working towards our next, uh, our next vacation home. We're gonna get that golden age eventually. I dude, I, I don't know how that's possible. Yeah, we got we got some light fishing now, which is good. Okay, we spotted another relic. We'll see how many we can get. Let's see if we can set a relic uh, a relic record here. Okay, so moving this way. And Allied is uh, scheming with these guys, which I don't like. Okay, so let's get the castle age here in a second, and then we plop that down. Okay, what's it gonna be? And boom. So let's get a mosque and do this. And we have the religious characters, so let's go grab that relic. And you, buddy, grab this one. And then you can come down and grab this one down here. And then you can go get this one here. And outstanding. Alright, so we can start making some gulams too to just make sure we don't like die to some random shit. Okay, let's get the phalanx upgrades and everything. So the boys are all grabbing the goods. All right, so let's drop that off. We're probably going to need two of these. And I would like to get a keep next to make sure we don't get karate chopped by some weird, you know, timing push or something from somebody. You never know. But we are going to have ghoulams and stuff, so we're going to have, like, good castle age fighter units. So, should be okay. All right, boys, let's drop these off. Hell yeah, let's go. And then the next one is going to go down here. So once that guy finishes, he'll do this. And then he can come back and drop this off here. All right, so everyone is, is gathering and get, doing their job. Build a tower here. All right, boys, how's it looking? We're, we're getting the relics. We're feasting. I'm a relic fiend. It's my favorite thing in this game. All right, so then for you, let's grab this one and come back here. And we have four on stone. Probably just go up to eight. Let's get some more eco upgrades there. Ghulams are chilling out and defending. And uh, all right. Yes, good, Anakin. Good. Ignore me while I grab the relics. Yes. Uh, green turn is taking relics. Look, he's trying to he's trying to politic my relic grabbing. I love it. Respect. All right, so houses and our food kind of sucks. Uh, let's get some more fishing boats. Help out a little bit. Let's get our uh, gulams here to go help out. And you get this, buddy. Bring this back. And then you are going where? Yeah, you're going all the way down there to get that one. He's hunting me, dude. Look at Rexasaurus. How evil is he? All right. So we'll do that. He's doing a little bit of scouting. So Green's going to know what's up here for the most part. And uh, we probably need to get some archery rangers next to make sure we uh, can have a proper military. So what's going on here? Is he just like torching random shit? Okay. That's what it looks like. Get the relics. Get them precious. All right. So let's get this one. This is one thing Ayubids are really disgusting at, is getting relics. They're like super good at it. They're the dark wizards of uh, relic grabbing. Alright, so I think we've gotten enough. Yeah, I think we've gotten enough. And we've already got four in the base, so let's go grab sacreds and just be extra evil. Alright, so food gathering is going to be relevant because we're going to switch to a land-based food economy here. Hone yelling no in all caps, so clearly something's up here. Okay, we're going to need another mosque, actually. Because I think we're going to get seven. Oh, God, dude. We have so many. <laughs> he says that one was mine. I love it. Oh, my God, Pwn. Old Pwn dog getting, uh, getting robbed at uh, gunpoint there. Yeah. All right. So we're looking pretty good. Um, now we just need to, you know, get a good military and kind of focus on that. Um, also, getting some stone walls in our empire would be really prudent here, but firstly, I want to get a keep to protect our, our massive, massive erect investment here. 
And so just grab all the sacred sites but one and just try and like greed as much gold as we possibly can. Oh my god, that's so so dirty, dude. Look at this. Oh yes. Is the Mongols, are they actually attacking me? I don't think so. Okay. So our food kind of sucks at this point, but we should be able to augment that by with fishing and whatnot. Uh, looks like Rad's coming over there, so that's... Oh, Allied Trex is in the corner. Okay, so we got Allied over here. He's in age one, but he's finally gotten age three. So for now, uh, let's drop the base here, and you can drop that. And now I think we're okay. I think we've gotten... I'm only going to take one sacred sign, actually. I think the more is a little bit greedy. Okay. I have... Uh, let, me, let me just, like, try and appeal to the absurdity. I have 500. Yeah, there we go. All right, so cool. You get in the tree line. Let's get eco upgrades and uh, upgrades. We got to keep coming out. So let's have you guys do that. And uh, yes, they're already lobbies already scheming against me. Yeah, I got the entire skeleton. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's really funny. All right, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six. Uh, and then we can do six and seven. Okay, then we can get a couple more of you guys to come out. Start switching into farms. Okay, you guys get onto trees. And just switch into a big farm economy. We could even slap down a uh, second TC if we want to, because I think our eco is kind of... It's, it's it's very gold heavy, which is great, but... Yeah, we, we, uh, we need to fix that. Yeah, I didn't even go the fastest castle tech, by the way. That wasn't even, like, the Terminator one that's, like, really strong. So what age are we in? We're currently in that golden age. Okay. Uh, looks like we're being attacked at sea by Teal? Where, what are you even doing? Weird. Okay, so let's go down here, see if we can get some bills. Probably going to do that. And um, we got to keep here. We've got a handful of extra villagers. Okay, and let's do this. Then come back here. We got this con sitting up on the high ground here. And it would seem that there is going to be a duel of fate at seas. I don't like Ally getting all these resources for free, so we're going to go down there and just like slap a tower down on those and try and control that. I don't know. He might have a good enough army to come fight me now. I'm not sure. But let's uh, set up a stone wall here. And um, you guys can go jump on stone here. And we can get that second TC going soon. Ghulams, other lads are on the way out. Let's do this. And you guys can go fishing. And let's move and just chase these guys away here. That's a shit ton of villagers on gold there. That is a lot. It's like serious. Alright. Yeah, crossbows are the counter against these guys to a large extent. He's, he looks like he's running for the hills. We're going to get that tower up. And, uh, you know, I can't I can't let anybody else have fun. It has to only be us. Alright, let's come here. Now we need to start walling off our empire and then try and go imp and just, you know, steamroll from there. Probably going to need some spears. Uh, what is that army? Camel Lancers? Wait, allied is Ayubids? Oh, I thought he was Order of the Dragon. Okay. I don't know how this fight actually goes for us. We do have the healing advantage and the crossbows. Okay, so let's try that. He's bringing his villagers back. We are getting a shit ton of healing, which is really good. And also some reinforcements coming from the high ground here. Let's buy some food and get some spearmen coming. I think we're winning. It's kind of hard to tell, to be honest. All right, let's get some of this. Uh, we are getting some stone there, although the Mongols can easily dispatch that. And yeah, he, he has a bigger army than me, so we need to just get back and, and take advantage of our Dread Legion here. Alright, so back we go. Let's get Burning Oil in case he attacks our base. Let's get Food Gathering, and um, then we can do one, two, and delete this. So let's amass a Legion. Uh, we should have enough to build a second TC here, so let's uh, go ahead and do that. So we can do the second TC, I'm thinking up there. He wants to attack into my keep and shit? That's going to be pretty foolish. Is he Imp? Oh, he actually got Imp already. Oh, I need to go Imp. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Lesson learned. All right. So chase these guys down. Yeah, he's Imperial Age. Uh, he might actually be able to kill me. Maybe my time, like, playing around with the relics is going to be my downfall, huh? Could be. All right. So let's get you. And then for now, we can wall this. Perfect. And we can also wall this. Yeah, if he plays his cards right, he could definitely probably kill me. He's got a Dong Tower coming, which is very frightening. That giant Dong means means business, obviously. Uh, we got 14 on stone, so that's partially probably not good for us. I guess we could do rapid advancement to the Imperial Age. No, we already did that. So what do we do? Military ring, reinforcements, blacksmith. 
Um, Bizarre wing is to trade, and advisors give us the Atabag. So probably just going to be this one. All right. So I don't know if he's going to attack. Maybe he will. Do have a lot here. Okay, let's get you guys doing this. Maybe get a little bit more food going since we just got shut out of food. He says Teal no. All right, Teal's going after him. Get him. Whatever's happening, continue. That's, uh, that sounds good to me. Okay, so let's start on the keep here. And uh, we just work our way to Imp. Basically what it's going to be. Yep, Barry Bushes was busy playing Sim City. Ah, shit. I wasn't watching. God damn it. Okay. So I'm actually not in a good position here, believe it or not, lads. I just lost like 14 villagers or 10 villagers because I wasn't watching. Like an absolute potato. Um, we got all our relics, but like, man, I, I don't feel like I'm in good shape here, guys. I really don't. We got 30 on food right now, which is which is nice. And uh, let's get a couple of you guys to go and stone. Buy a little bit of stone. I'm behind on the age ups, that's for damn sure. And uh, let's do that, and then we can do a little bit of that. Okay, so just start, try to start walling off. It's gonna take a minute, but we're basically saving to go imp now, because I don't want to be fighting with shit tier units. Um, ability to construct siege. The bizarre wing is maybe good for us, since we have so much gold. Uh oh, this is bad. Oh, uh, well, looks like we're getting a third FFA game today, boys. Uh huh. Some giant erect dong rolling up on my base. All those armies are kind of small. I don't know. Maybe I can fight here. I am in the castle age with a lot of stuff. All right. So let's like work on the dong towers. Let's attack those bad boys. His army's kind of small. That is true. Okay. So spears and these guys. We're gonna get a second keep up here. He does have the imperial advantage, but his army's quite small. Yeah, the Dong Towers 1 is already down. I don't know if I agree with the Camel Rider guys. They're cool and all, but... Alright, so let's get Spears. You guys need to come help build these out, because we're going to lose infrastructure. Pulling them into the keeps. We could die here. We're in a little bit of danger, you know? A little bit. He's losing a lot of his army, though, but we're also losing a fair amount of bills. And we have no gold income, not that we need it, though. So the Dong Tower is fully garrisoned. Let's get spring all the placements and spring emplacements. Some Ghulams are coming. Um, you guys can garrison up. Then we're basically going to be out of food. So we're going to try and uh, do this. Let's go ahead and return to work. Okay. We're going to spear down that Dong Tower. Got Ghulams on the way. Um, the other one has no garrison, and we do have villagers hidden in here. So the double Dong... It has emerged, and then his army's going to pop out here in a second. And then we can hopefully finish them off with our crossbows and stuff. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, if the other players attack me now, I'm just toast. I'm definitely toast. Okay. Okay, let's repair that. So, Allied's Haggard attack thankfully did fail. Okay, let's do that. One, two, and three. Grab a couple of you guys to come help. Yeah, so that, actually, I'm surprised this attack wasn't more devastating. I've been good, Gunhound. How you been, man? Good to see you. Man, my eco sucks ass right now. Oh, my God. Thankfully, we have, like, 500 relics, or else I would just be absolutely toast. All right, do we have enough uh, stone here? We do not, so let's build another TC. I think we're going to need it. Let's just pull back. He doesn't have any siege, so he's just going to die to my keeps, probably. Yeah, I, I would think that's going to be the case. Does he have any se proper siege? He does not. Just hand cannon units. We need to find a way to age up, though, man. It's uh, it's getting really bleak here. I mean, yeah, we need to keep the fighting by the keeps, too. Yeah, you can see the keeps are picking off a lot of these units. We do have double spring all tower. Okay, let's buy some food and then get you guys. And Ghulam's coming out and looking good. So triple TC is on the way. I could be in danger, though, for sure, especially if he runs by here. That's going to be very obnoxious. All right, so let's get the spears. Keep chasing them down. Maybe we can get those damn camels. And uh, I think we're okay. So back to work and back to work. So let's get you guys on the farms. Yeah, I mean, I think we're okay. We can actually probably beat these. We have enough units popping up. Okay, so he's going to be back in greater numbers soon. For sure. Start on this. Finish these guys off. Yeah. And uh, the food eco's going, man. We now have a triple uh, third TC. But our food is bleak. The relics are the only thing keeping us alive right now. It's the only thing. All right, guys. Come on, come on, come on. 
If he shows up with some proper siege, man, we could be in huge danger. Like, absolutely huge danger. So we don't have a whole lot of anything. Alright, so that attack has been thwarted. I need to just survive, basically. Let's get crossbows. And um, now we need to find some gold if we can. Do we have any gold left in the base? We do have some. Okay. I don't know what these 14 guys are doing on stone. They're having a little bit too much fun. Um, gold is, like, hard to get right now. I guess we just get the passive. What is our passive? 600? Okay, that's probably enough to get us to the next age. Oh, boy. Yeah, so... I don't think anybody will, po like, politic happily with me. Um, let's get you guys and get on the farms here. I mean, we're at 60 eco. If I can get Imperial and stabilize, I can definitely beat him. Just because I have more relics than him, but... Um, that's the question. That is not going to be easy. Okay, so we got stone walls coming up. Like, the thing is, guys, blue could attack me, and then I'm just dead. Yeah. We were... We greeted really hard, because the problem with Fast Castle Relic grabbing is there's a huge window where you're very vulnerable. And, um, you know, I'm kind of in that window right now, or at least I have been. Okay, so we got a lot of stone. Building the old walls up. Let's do this, and uh, you can go here. Alright, team, let's get it. Yeah, they're, hopefully they're all fighting and squabbling on the map. I don't know. Okay, we've almost got enough food. Let's just finish off this stone so we can wall off our empire. Looks like that gold has been expunged. How fair is it for all of you? It's uh, it's wild. So military wing would give me seven desert raiders every two minutes, and I can build siege weapons. This one will give me the gambling so I can... Um, yeah, that might be better. I'm not sure. Not sure. Let's get on the farms here. It's been the Wild West. We're back up to 72. Okay, gold is back online. Walls are being built. Uh, let's get one last batch of walls here. And that will fully enclose our empire. Yeah. This is not as smooth as last game, for sure. But we, we greeted super hard here, so we could get punished for it. Plus, Allied has fishing, and so he has every advantage over us, but doesn't mean we're dead. All right, so next up, we're going to do the Bizarre Wing, I guess. I know it got nerfed, but I can't help but think it's still decent. All right, let's try that out. Okay, so that's going to be on the way. So now we can start making an army again soon. So at least the age up is happening. At least it's going down, baby. Let's grab that. We got 32 on food. Ay, ay, ay. This is going to be, this is going to be an incredibly difficult hold. Okay, let's get a couple of you guys to build this. Uh, what does this army look like? It's probably pretty fat. I don't know if I can hold this, guys. I have, like, no economy. We got the double keeps. I mean, he's just coming back with the Dong Towers. Like, where's his proper siege? That's what I would be concerned about here. Yeah, the Dong Towers will find a way to get in. That's for sure. We're making an army again. Um, we're going to be able to get some siege equipment, so we can get some spring alds, maybe. I think that's going to be the play, and then just try and torch this down if he moves in. So we got ghoulams coming out in numbers. We could build a third keep here. Let's get on wood. We're going to have spring soon, which will help, and here he comes. All right, so he's going for it. He's going pretty hard in the paint. He's got mostly elite ghoulams. Not fully upgraded, but still pretty good. And these vills are going to need to just run, basically. Oh, yeah, we're probably dead. We're probably Toastaru. Yeah, because that's so much. Thankfully, it's just the Dong Towers. Okay, let's get another Mango here. These Vils can go work on this. Our food income sucks really bad. We might be able to weasel out our defense here. Because we're about to get Imp. We're about to get it. Um, so let's get that Spring to start working on these big towers. Oh man, it's not gonna get it's not gonna get shit done, is it? His army's kind of beat up, but not so much. We could set up another keep back here, which probably is a good idea. So we're gonna try and do that and just try and Helms deep, basically. If he if he gets through all this, he's gonna get all my goodies. He's gonna get all my all my cookies. All right, so let's do this. We can now make hand cannoneers, which will help us defend for sure. Hit that blob there. Whoa! How did that die so quickly? That was did I delete that on accident? No, I think I think he just shot it with something. I don't know. Anyone need aid? Uh, yeah, I mean, I could, but I'm not gonna. I can't. I feel like it's an undignified to ask for help. All right. So that looks good. Let's get you guys popping out. I think the Dong Towers might be able to get it. There's a slim chance we can maybe, maybe hold it here. And let's do that, and then that. Very slim, but it's not out of the realm of possibility. 
Um, so yeah, our relic centers are going down. The bills here are blasted away. All we have is this, and uh, we, we can't really pull any cool units in or anything. Unfortunately. Are we going to get the sneaky wall? Maybe. I mean, he is losing units. He is losing some. But I think we're toast here, guys. I think we're toast. I think we were too greedy. We should have built, like, a second TC instead of grabbing all those relics. Especially with, like, a bad position. Like, we're in the... We're in the middle here like this. He's just able to really, really capitalize on that and punish. Yeah, so since we're playing Ayubids, there's no escape. We can't flee. We can't build landmarks anywhere else. We do reseal the back, which is hilarious. I love doing that. It's my favorite favorite Hagger trick ever. Especially since the Dong Towers were the one thing. Um, we have this keep with which we can make the last stand, but, I mean, what are we going to make? Some spearmen and shit? I mean, come on. Yeah, so we fully sealed the walls. So he is trapped in here with us, technically. But those Dongs are still really erect. I mean, they're looking very, very erect. Yeah, dignity is for the dead, yes, of course. Yeah, Mongols are also towering on the other side. This could be this could be bad news bears. Okay, let's make some Ghulams. Not that they'll do a whole lot. Since he's elite, I'm not. Um, those relics, ironically, he can't get them, which is really funny. So let's actually do this. And just trap these guys in here. Maybe we can salvage something. I don't know. I don't think so. All our relics are on the ground. Let's see if we can pull these guys in here. Okay, so we need to do this. I'm probs dead. Red gonna get 10 relics. Yeah, that's that's actually just true. The Dong Towers against my uh, delayed timing, pretty good. We'll grab what we can. Maybe we stabilize here? Maybe. He's trying to get out with his Dong Tower now. This is an opportunity for us to uh, potentially, potentially do something. So let's get some of these. Yeah, Allied might win this. He very well might. I'd, I'd be curious to see. Okay, 29. Yeah, we're trying to repair this. Oh, that's right. The Dong Terror ha Tower has arrows. I always forget about that. That thing, that thing packs a punch. Yeah, he's having some fun here. All right, so what can we get? Can we get the religious buildings? Hey, it's, it's a win for all of us, too. Oh, my God. Look, Blue's arrived. Oh, God. No. Oh, dude, I'm so dead. This was the inevitable outcome, I think. Just being sandwiched like this. Oh man, I'm so dead. Unless, unless, I don't know why he would save me. That's a big mistake. Uh, he probably wants the relics, I suspect. Alright, so... Blue has come. Um, let's go ahead and rewall this. We are in our base like a rat. We still have some food, but not much. Okay. Is there any way we can get those relics back? I think there's still some there. Yeah, he's taking the relics. So I might find a way to somehow survive this. No, no, they got they got a lot going on over there. Okay, let's do that and pull back. Okay, we don't have much food. Relic's gonna be taken. Alright, we managed to hold one. I know Blue was asking if people needed help. It would appear that's the case, but that it, I think Blue secretly just wants my relics. Which I don't blame them. Okay, so red, I mean, is Allied going to continue? He should. He definitely shouldn't leave me alive. That would be a mistake, because then it's just an annoying Ram Master who's just going to be perpetually pushing you, you know? Uh, all right, let's get more guns and more guns and uh, that looks good. You should probably take me out, to be honest. I, you know, I'm just being honest here, bud. You don't want to leave someone. I, it's against my, my philosophy here. Leaving turn alive is a mistake. It's true. I agree with that. Professor Pwn knows. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. God. That We never had a chance. We never had a chance. <laughs> not with these... Not, not with two aggressive players. We should have tried to kill one early. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Oh, man. They're making a mistake leaving me alive, though. I will find a way. You just wait. Yeah, so we never had much of a chance. Uh, Allied got six. I had seven. Yeah, so they can they can fight. But that's a mistake, dude. I think they... Here's what I'm thinking they want. I think they are leaving me alive because they want, they want a buffer between the other player. And I, they know I'm really weak, right? So I think that's what's going on here. 
But uh, I definitely think it's a mistake to leave players alive. Because usually they're just going to come back and want revenge or something. Or In my case, I don't want revenge. I just would want to, you know, get back in the game. Yeah, but we're here, baby. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're, we're in huge danger. Huge, huge danger. Um, all right, so we got our walls. Um, let's go re set this up. I'm down to keep scrapping, dude. We'll see what we can get done. I mean, at this point, I could stonewall the House of Wisdom, but it's whatever, you know. How is this all going to unfold, too? This is going to be interesting. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to go down. Uh, it will be your undoing. Yeah, he's he's he shouldn't have let me live. It's a, it's a big mistake, I think. So what we need to do is rebuild our villagers. And we need to go try and grab gold in the middle. You know, and go from there. Okay, he's still camping our walls. Let's go clear those guys out and see if we can salvage that. We do have the triple TC, which is really nice. So that's letting us um, reestablish a little bit of ground there. Okay. So let's come do this. So Rexosaurus and Mr. Moo are gone. Ironically, an Abbasid and a Bizen meme player. Okay. So we don't have the Villager Crusade yet ready to head to the middle. I think 12 is going to be enough. So let's go here um, and build this. And then we need to creep down and try and get whatever we can. Because we can't just sit here with nothing. You know. You can't just sit here with nothing. Uh, the wing, uh, man, I'm wishing I had gone for that other wing right now, the military wing. We might have been able to hold, no, blue would have just killed us. Even if we fend it off ally, blue just rolls up, kills us, and takes all our relics, so it's kind of pointless to even dwell on that. But let's, uh, gather, rebuild our eco. Yeah, no, I think it's a mistake letting people live, but some people, tactically, there, there are situations where you would want to let someone stay, because there's, like, you know, they might be a buffer, or something like that, but I think this is really dodgy. Blue trading for 85. Yeah, this is good. Just everybody else can kind of focus on their uh, shenanigans and, and we can go from there. All right, so what is our game plan here? What is our plan? Let's grab you. Can we get outside the base? Yes, and we can go ahead and stop all that. We don't need these walls. I'm going to go scout Allied's base and see what it looks like. We wouldn't strike back for a long time, but there would, there would come a time where we might strike, right? Okay, so we got a 4th TC. Um, we were playing one of the worst FF evasives. Um, we could hire traders. We could trade to the middle, which is kind of a cheeky idea. Do a little bit of trade down here. Huh. wonder about that. All right. Let's see if we can get some gold. If we can grab some gold here, that's going to be sweet. All right. So let's head down there. Do this. Um, we can also build a market so we can buy if need be. We have decent military production. We see the Dong Towers. He should really just come back and try and finish me with the steel chair. He really, really should. Uh, would be my my two cents. I have like no upgrades either. It's bleak. It's bleak, boys. All right, so lumberjack upgrades. Probably need to get elite spears to fight against the camels and stuff. I think I saw that just in case. And we got a fair amount on gold. Yes, yes, outstanding. Uh oh, uh oh, red's coming for it. All right, so they're coming, and he wants to play. He's gonna build a keep here, which is fine. I'm gonna let him get close to building it, and then I'm just gonna move to the south. So we'll come down here, build a tower there. And then once he wastes his stone, we just move to the south. And by then we'll have a tower set up there and we can just spring all it and be okay. All right, let's do it, let's flee. And um, yep, so that is fine. We can come down here and keep uh, getting our food eco all set up. So it's gonna be set up, let's get a tower there. Get a little stone going. He's definitely gonna be a powerhouse, but like, I don't know why. Yeah, I, I wonder what his, his, his intention is here. Okay, so uh, let's actually get a cannon in placement here. I think that's going to be a little bit better. And we can do this, and let's get a religious building so we can grab the sacred sites and try and get some money that way. Okay, no problem. And uh, we got the elite spears. Hand cannoneers probably not going to be super viable, so we should get elite archers, I think is going to be the plan. And uh, let's do that. And then one, two, three, four. Hey, I'm glad you're enjoying the stream, man. Glad to hear it. Yeah, I mean, it's very risky. Very risky what he's doing. Especially playing Ayyubids. Like, your base is so vulnerable. Um, it's so vulnerable. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, Pwn. There's no safety in this land. Alright, let's grab this. 
So Pone, Pone, Pone has showed up with a keep. My, my good friend Pone has betrayed me. But I have a cannon tower. It's just going to blast all of his workers, so. All right, let's get spears. Um, they are elite archers. We can get elite archers, too. As haggard as that is, we need to get our shitty units upgraded. Because it's all we're really going to be able to do. And we can Ramstein pretty well. Um, military wing, we can... What would we grab? We would grab the... Uh, I don't know. Hard to say. Okay, let's go hold on to that. Yeah, we have a cannon tower there. Pretty funny. Alright, so he's going to pop out. We need to get some houses here. One, two, three, four, five. And you guys can build some houses here real quick, just to get out of the supply block. So we're holding on to that sacred site. The cannon tower is blasting allies, guys, too, which is really funny. So we're getting some resources. He's got a lot of relics, though. He should be the Dark Wizard of Relics, for sure. Uh, I agree. Vassal us? Who got you? I would rather I would rather croak than be somebody's vassal, that's for sure. Um, okay, so Pwn's rolling up with a good army to kill my towers. So I'm just a rat right now. Just trying to get whatever... Hopefully he doesn't come over here. Pwn's... Oh, no. Pwn, Pwn, Pwn. Oh, Pwn, stop, stop, stop. Okay, let's get up in the hills. Okay, thankfully he's going to be occupied with somebody else. Dude, wouldn't it be crazy if Professor... Uh, if, uh, this isn't my TC. My main TC is rebuilt, I think. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Shit. I, I just forgot it was destroyed, to be honest. That's why I, I forgot to do that. Yeah, I didn't notice it. Doc says, don't kill me. He's like, don't kill me. I'm too weak. All right, let's get a uni here. Slap that down. Um, we can go ahead and get the food upgrade, which we have. Let's get the lumber upgrade. And Pwn has cleared us off here, so there's no there's no uh, safe safe harbor for me. I'm just like the haggard rat. Okay, okay, okay. At least we're allowed to get this 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 pittance up there. All right, so let's get you guys and start getting some upgrades. So at least our units can fight. Oh, Dune is really fun to watch, it's Joshua. I love playing Dune. That's probably... I love playing Dune. Uh, it's so fun. I wish it was more popular, because I would do it more. But, um, yeah, it's, I love playing Dune. It's so much fun. Just the shit-ass Abbasid food economy here. Okay, so we're going to be up to 4TC, so we we, we are going to be what I like to call a do hoster where we just roll with haggard rams, and just that's basically all we can do. Um, I wonder what's going on up top. I mean, we can build the Tower of the Sultans. It's looking pretty pretty rough for us. Yeah, so I played a game of Old World the other day. Holy shit, that game is so fun. Um, the new Warhammer table uh, Warhammer Fantasy game that's back. Bro, I am on death's bed. Okay, Pwn's hunting me, which is which is extra evil. I don't know. I don't know why he's coming after me so hard. Pwn's, he's definitely got a bit of a chub here. Let's get some of these bills to fight, and then you guys can seal the breach. And you'll stay there. <laughs> Look, you like that play, dude? Hell yeah. Got him. <laughs> oh, that didn't buy us much time at all. All right, so I just have to just gather wood and food, basically, okay? And if the Dark Lord Pwn is going to player hate on us, like, that's another player who's got a chub for me. Um, I mean, I could make a Spear Legion and move to the middle. Is that even worth it? Let's make another one of these here. So Pwn has uh, chased our gold. Okay. I'm running them all the way down to this. Oh, so this is Mr. Moo's base. So Mr. Moo's toast down here. Okay. So who's going to actually be strong this game? This is a weird one, guys. This is a very weird one. Uh, let's go ahead and... So the only way we're going to be able to get gold now is to just freaking like, sell food and stuff. So turn alliance against blue. Uh, he's all yours. You got seven relics, bro. Don't, don't come looking to me for help. You got you're jacked on relics, you know you're 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 pimping, dude. Okay, so we're gonna sell some food now. We got decent food income. Ali, it ain't no way you're politicking me. He has seven relics or more. <laughs> yeah, I love it. All right, so what upgrades do we get? Probably just get army tactics, and then we need to get the incendiary arrows after that. So we're gonna get those two. So at least our our shit house units are gonna be very very uh, siege carpentry. I'll do Siege Carpentry on Rams. 
I could take my armies to the middle. I think I'm going to try something. I have so many bills at this point, so I'm not like stressing it too much. So let's do this and then come down here. And then we're going to take our, our shithouse like wood army to the middle and see if we can get some ground somehow. Because we need to get something. We're just like such a potato king right now. All right. So we got you. Looking good. I think uh, I think Ally might have also not finished me because Blue was there and he figured Blue would do his dude. Because I still had a keep, so he's probably like just going to let Blue deal with it, right? Teal, are you hiding Turin? Uh, Ally, attack. Yeah, let's see here. All right. So I don't know what's going on here. We're going to waddle down to the middle here. we got a lot of ills coming. Let's get you guys back up to the wood line. I see the, the towers standing outside my base, but I can actually muster an army now, which is pretty funny. Mainly going to go infantry focused. Mm. Ayubids can definitely win if they get a bunch of relics. Like, then you're strong. Alright, you guys ready? We're going to go out on our shield here, boys. Oh no, it's Pwn. That's not who I want to be fighting right now. I mean, we might be able to do something against his army, but we need those resources. Um, Alright. How are we looking? So, we're just hanging tight here. Pwn might come north. Uh, red in corner has all relics. Okay. Him in blue sandwiched earlier. Me earlier. All right, Pwn, don't don't come this way, Pwn. This is not. Why would he attack me? It makes no sense. It makes no sense whatsoever. Well, we're probably gonna actually trade OK into his armies. This is no. This makes no sense, Pwn. Have you learned nothing? Uh, Pwn, why? There are actually strong players. Like, look at this. What is this, Bronzodia? No, not really. It's just a little, a little heavy. <laughs> yeah, love you. All right, we're gonna try and hold this. It's, it's all spears and bows. Oh my god, I can't believe this. This is just the bronzest shit ever. Why would he attack me? I'm literally just a potato. Oh god. This is the worst, dude. He's trying I don't know what, what he's scheming. I guess we're just gonna defend. Cause getting the middle and whatnot. But he just threw a bunch of knights into spears, so of course they're gonna die. Uh, let's sell a little bit of this, all right, and get upgrades and upgrades. We see the Dong Towers out there still. Let's pull you guys back down and see if we can get our clutches on anything. We see Blue moving this way. I legit have nothing, dude. Oh, man, no Tithe Barns. I could get the Bedouin Warrior, guys. We see Yellow? Who the hell is Yellow? Oh, Docks, okay. So we're going to try and get some gold here. If there's any scraps left, we're going we're gonna to roll for it. Oh, Pwn might have a good chance of winning this game, I think. I think he legitimately does. So let's get the military wing so we can at least get some free units. So we're going to get the uh, reinforcement wing. Cool. So we get a little bit of gold here, which is great. We're going to make a, a, a scrap for it. We see the uh, the sacred sites, so let's get that. Pwn, seriously though. He's way stronger. Red. Ask Blue. There's no sense in us fighting here. There really isn't. But if it must be. Yeah, so we'll cleave his army again. Pwn's rich as hell. Holy shit, he's got a lot. I'm just trying to get whatever gold I can, and then we'll just peace out. It's only 400 left, but... Uh, he has corner with... Yeah. Pwn's gonna learn the hard way. He's got Rebalquins now, so I can't really deal with those. So we're just gonna take our, our loot and run. That was a good, good little haul there. That was a decent haul. We'll go back to our rat's nest with an extra 500 gold. Now, what upgrades would we want to get? Ghulams, um, probably Desert Raiders, since we're going to be getting them for free. Yeah, so we got the goods. Let's take this. We're going to poke the poke the hornet's nest here. 
Yeah, we're gonna just chase these guys away. Because he's gonna come back and try and kill me after this, most likely. Let's get some of these guys. Okay, looking all right. We're still alive, sort of. We have the military re re reinforcements coming out. Let's take that down. Trade, we have a little bit of trade here. So the Dong Tower is on its way. And you guys, let's just see if we can weasel that gold up in the hill. That's going to be our only chance. And probably Springs would be the way to spend our gold. And uh, get the upgrade and just shoot the Dong Towers with them. Okay, so how are we looking? We're waddling over this way. He's coming for, for vengeance, for sure. But we will um, probably... Yeah, those guys are going to die. So we'll just delete those for now. And free up the supply. Okay, so that's going to get us our spring alts. He's going to have to... It ain't going to be easy. We're going to make him work for it. He's got a lot of the dong towers. A whole lot of those bad boys. Okay, so we have the springs now. The base is very ugly to attack into. Okay, so let's move up. Uh, Desert Raiders are not fully upgraded. Okay, boys, let's get the springs. Yes, shoot those down. And Desert Raiders are kind of upgraded. Okay, so one is almost down of the Dong Towers. The other ones are going to start getting hammered pretty good. Let's get you guys. Spring alts are just poking them down. So, yeah, he's losing all of his, his big boys. And now his army's going to pop out. We can spam just shithouse units all day. Yeah, he's not winning this fight. He's definitely not winning it. Problem is we're going to run out of wood, too, at some point or other. Okay, so we killed all of his mounted guys. Now his ghouloms are going to pop out. So now the real army emerges. So we should probably just kill the ghouloms before. Although the towers do shoot arrows. They're definitely not as impactful as they once were in the earlier ages, but they're still pretty good. All right, let's get some of these. We have a lot coming out, but we're just tight on wood right now, despite all that. And yeah, looks like we uh, took those guys down here. Yes, good. And let's get this Dong Tower down. We still have the keep back here, I believe. Yeah, we do. Nice. Okay, another one goes down. And um, once again, we hold off uh, the tyranny. Yes, sort of. Mangoes need to come out too. How many springs do we have left? We have three. Okay, let's pull back a little bit. Lure them to the keep. Uh, oh, Mango Nels. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Come on, come on, come on. Need you guys to work. Let's go after this Dong Tower, and this Mango Nell needs to attack as well. Okay, Spears, just cheap ass shitty units. One down, and now there's one left. Uh, I just took out Red's army at my base, but he will rebuild quick. Alright, so. Despite the relics, he wasn't able to quite get us there, although, I don't know, he hit a lot of units in those things. I don't know, maybe it's just to get more arrow shots. I'm not sure how those Dong Towers actually work in terms of functionality. But yeah, we held, which is good. The Allied's going for the kill now. Are these guys elite yet? They're not. That's not good. So we need to sell food and get our Desert Raiders elite because they're, they're one of the free units we get. So let's do that and get the Desert Raiders nice and elite. Uh, what is it going to be, 700? We have no passive gold whatsoever. And switch the bow. Okay. Red. Yeah, I'm surprised nobody's going after red. It's very strange. Maybe they think I'm lying. Which I would understand. Fair play. You know, people do tre a lot of treachery in this mode. All right. So we held with our potato wood legion. Um, we're going to get a lot of the free camel boys. Hopefully this tower isn't going to shoot us here. All right. So this is um, this is tough. It's a tough hold. Getting that gold in the middle is probably not going to be possible with Allied poking away at my doors. I could try some trade. Maybe we try a little bit of trade here. Okay, so that's not good. So we need to just uh, run this way. Mongols have a tower there, so they're able to blast us into the Shadow Realm. Uh, let's wall that. That's a huge vulnerability if we can. Do we have enough stone? Man, we are so poor, dude. Oh my god, we're so poor. We're just gonna have to do like the shittiest like wood fix here. You ready? Ugh. Okay, so we got the Desert Raiders coming out. They're gonna be um, in good shape soon. I need to get biology for them. How was our eco? 91 right now? Okay. Lumber is fully upgraded. We have another batch of seven Desert Raiders coming out. This is actually nice. 
Getting these free units that are of decent quality, they're kind of like, you know, they have seven melee armor, so they're actually a decent front line. Uh, I could make ram spam. That's certainly on the table. I don't think I can attack into red. I need people to start, like, getting picked off, and I need to just survive. And then we need to find a way to establish trade or something like that. Okay, let's sell resources. Trying to get up to that 700 for biology. Oh, it's so inefficient, that trading, but we need it. All right, we got biology. Blue, who are you killing? Yeah, Pwn's poking around. They're going to... Allied's definitely going to get that corner wonder at some point. So we need to just be ready to help. Is basically it. Okay, can we, like, sneak down here? Let's go see what this looks like. Pwn's got all the sacred sites. He's doing pretty good down there. He's looking, he's looking pretty sauced. Uh, archers, yeah, archers for the archer god. We can make desert raiders, but they actually cost 50 gold. So we are getting some gold units for free, which is excellent. Hmm. Okay, lumberjack, we got 60 on wood. Our wood per minute is really good. We got a fat army. Uh, Pwn, help me. What does he actually need help with? Uh, so I see allied battling pwns. So I'm going to come and backstab his army here. Let's keep these spring alts in the base. And we're just going to bring our shit legion. And draw swords once more. Alright. Ride out and meet them. Charge! <laughs> Pwn! What is this? Pwn, I was riding to help you. What is this? I was literally riding to help him! What is this bullshit? Alright, so let's get the cannons, the cannons, and the cannons. And prepare. Yes. They are both on me. This, this is absurd. I don't know what, what these two are smoking, man. Oh my god, this is the, the, the most bronze decision making. Allies just in the corner with seven relics. And then this. Okay, so we need to get that Revolquin down. Let's pop you guys off. Oh my god, dude. I can't believe this. This is just pure treachery. And sadly, we're going to hold him off again, which is the funny part. I was going to help you with red. He will find that I have nothing, though. Pretty quickly here. Okay, so archers. Cannons are still creeping in. Oh my god, dude. This is so haggard. I definitely need more food. Um, okay. Let's do this. Get you guys going. You guys going here. Just get a bunch of food in the back. You see my army? It's all wood. Bow spear. I'm trying to politic with him, but he's not seeing it. You're just losing because your army comp is not good against mine. I'm trying to explain to him, I mean, dude, he just hemorrhaged so much gold into me for nothing. He got, like, my town center in, like, a couple barracks. All right, so let's get you guys back and repair the town center. All right, so we fended him off again. Sell a little bit, see if we can get any more upgrades, because we're still not fully upgraded, which is just the jankiest shit ever. We don't have the resources. And uh, let's rebuild. All right, so we need more barracks. Barracks, barracks, barracks for the barracks god. He's throwing, like, huge gold armies away against me. Okay, can we rebuild these walls? Maybe. Hey, at least we're still alive, though. We fended off attacks from both these guys. Yeah, Pwn wanted to be playing Age of Wonders. This is the punishment. Yeah, that's funny. I thought about doing Age of Wonders today. But the Age, I just love playing Age. It's so fun. Okay, let's just, like, try and get something fully upgraded. So we're going to get our spears next. Yeah, so we got the farmland up here. Okay, we got 17 idols. Um, 49 on food is acceptable. But when we run out of wood around our base... This is game game two. This is a very different picture than game one. Um, we're just, like, surviving, basically. So what are we missing here? Court architects. Hmm. Yeah, so somebody is, is having fun with him down there. Who's still alive? So we got... Allied on me. Is he? Is he really blue? 
Okay. So I don't think we're going to be able to... He's probably fully stone wall. Okay. Let's leave some of you guys. Okay, let's see this. A little bit of that. We just have to keep poking the hornet's nest until we die. Not gonna lie, I forgot you were still alive, Teal. <laughs> That's so funny. Teal's like, don't forget about me. Alright, so let's get that upgrade with that little gold we have. Oh god, dude. Come on, baby. Let's get it. Um... <laughs> I'm still 2-2 two, two upgrade. Oh, that's so haggard. I would be able to help if Pwn were not just attacking me incessantly. He's so evil. Alright, so we're going to go see if we can help our boy out, because, you know. I will, um, Blue, if I were to help you, would you help me? You know, you have to have a reciprocal, you know, amicable relationship here. It can't be one-sided. Alright, so let's get the boys moving. Uh, let's keep the spring alds back in the base, because they're just going to die in open field. Okay. We got the rams coming here at the gatehouse. We have a bit of wood. I mean, we can make a wood army, that's for sure. All right, so we're in we're in his empire. I should have made mass horsemen and just tried to land mark snipe. That would have been smart. All right, let's go and let's go and uh, for you, let's bring you down here and do this. All right, so these guys are gonna move in, and I don't know how this is gonna go, but we're gonna try and do a little bit of damage. I am hitting his base. Help me. All right. So we're going to get you. Let's get that Culverin. Attack and attack. He's got all gold army, dude. Holy shit. It ain't going good, though. It ain't going good, boys. Ain't going good, though. All right. So this is our chance. If we can get Blue to kind of work with me here. Just the dreaded, the dreaded uh, you know, potato armies fighting together. Maybe. If blue actually gets in and raids and shit, then that could be big. All right, nice. We're going to get all these houses down. All right. Here we go, baby. Hey, we're killing stuff. Hand cannoneers are going down. You know, this is the kind of pressure you need to do, man. All right. So we're poking things. Why would he? It's one less person attacking his wonder. All right. So we're still cruising for a bruising. We got the archer boys moving in. Um, we see Teal and Pwn fighting here. He's trying to... Alright, let's keep going here. Let's keep fighting. We'll see if Blue eventually arrives to my aid. Um, okay, these guys are caught up on a tower with Chucks. Our wood our wood army will blot out the sun, dude. Yeah, we're going to bring the spring ult. Screw it. And then let's get you guys in the back there. Alright, so you guys just go torch that tower down and then do that. Uh, Blue? Where are you at? This isn't going super good. I'm gonna need a little bit of help here. My dreaded 2-2 two -two upgrades are not too, uh, are not too strong. Alright, so let's go down here. Allied is mustering again, but we can do a little bit of raiding in his lands. Yes, perfect. So let's get you guys around the back and do this. Perfect, so it looks like he is on his trade, which is great. We got a couple springs, and these guys are going to go do some raiding. Let's do this and bring you guys down here and then here. Unfortunately, not much we can do. So let's scout the base. Go, my wooden zerg! Go, be free! Okay, the desert raiders are going. We have zero gold income, which is great. I see his relics. Okay, so we know where the relics are stashed. Pwn has made a new enemy, which is good, so now he's going to forget about me. Not that I'm actually a threat, but I mean, it's, it's still, you know, he, he should. Okay, let's do that. Lost the spring ult, it's classic. Uh, you guys creep by, and then we need a little bit more wood, and we can throw down a dock here and start building some warships. Okay, he's still chasing here, so let's just loop around there and see what we can find. 
He might have a lot of his food tied up in the water, so if we can do something with that. Oh, Blue's arrived! My hero! Blue! Yes! The Haggard Legions ride once more! Oh, he's trading in water. Oh, look at this. Clever girl, dude. Clever girl. Where did those villagers go? Oh, I think Blue accidentally killed them. Okay, well, it is what it is. So, let's do that and get you guys coming. And we need to get that Ram spam online, man. We need to get that going hard in the paint. Okay, let's go, let's go. Just all these wood units going. And if Blue's here, maybe, maybe we can 2v1 him. It's gonna, you know, Ayubids suck in FFA, so there's a chance that we could 2v1 him just because the, their armies aren't that good. Uh, we got the Desert Raiders coming down with the uh, couple upgrades, nice. The Allied's gonna learn a hard lesson. He's, he's begging begging for help with, with against uh, from Pwn. Truly desperate. All right, so let's get you guys coming. Go this way. All right, so we'll keep moving. We need to get some siege equipment. Uh, let's lead a couple of you guys. And rams for the ram gods, rams for the ram throne. Uh oh, here they come. Round two. Okay, well, that's one way to free up supply. Keep at it, blue. All right, so do we do well against his army here? We need to target the handgunners with our archers. Uh, let's actually kill the healer first, and then, then we can go from there. Okay, so he's losing a lot of gold units, but homie's got a lot, right? Okay, so we need to make more workers. Let's get some of you guys to come down and uh, maybe try and sneaky sneaky. Okay, our armies were defeated at the gates. Uh, no surprises there. I'm barely upgraded. And Blue is on the way. It's going to take me a minute to rebuild, but we'll get there in time. What is our eco? 99 right now? Jack Relics and get out. Easier said than done. They're pretty deep set in the base. They're pretty deep set. Um, let's get another one of these. Okay, let's do that. Just keep building these up. Hopefully Blue doesn't accidentally kill these guys again. So we're going to come down here and try and set up a dock. Oh, I think it's the Mongol cannon towers, or what it is. Yeah, I think that's what accidentally got me there. It's kind of fun being a gremlin, you know? Like, being, like, not powerful. Okay, yeah, that's what's happening every time I try and do that. Well, it looks like he's got that covered anyways. Alright, so we get you guys, and um, that's going to be a fair amount of rams. We need a lot more wood. Let's keep that line updated. Unfortunately, no gold. None. <laughs> May I offer you some rams per chance? Yes, I know. We're like Danny. It's always sunny. Some, we're, could I interest them in uh, some rum ham in this case, right? All right, so we're moving in, baby. The Haggard Wood Legions are going. God, we were so had such a good run in the beginning, but we got too greedy. It's a shame. Oh, he wasn't able to rewall. Okay, good. He offers me three relics now. You, all you get is death, buddy. All right, so let's get this. Let's get into the back of his base and get the uh, rams working on chip. Okay, let's do that. And um, we could take some archers around the back, so we're going to do that. No dice. Yeah, we're trying to trying to do something here. Okay, let's keep this going. Man, our wood is so low. I guess since all our whole army requires like just wood, it's like it's a big problem. Let's go to the back and see if we can weasel our way. We do kill some buildings, but yeah. Okay. I warned him earlier, dude. He he brought this fate on himself. It's AD and I got one relic. Okay, so we're going to set that up here. And we're going to run you guys to the back corner and try and just start building some rams. We need to save up more wood for sure. Uh-huh. And, um, I mean, we have so much on wood right now. Holy shit. Two, three, four, five. Okay, we'll see how long we can get away with this for. Let's attack in there. He might have sealed it. Looks like he did. Okay, but we got rams. Oh, somebody's dying on the bottom. Yeah, somebody's having a problem on the bottom. Yeah. So let's get you guys up on the walls. Yes, yes. We got the rams coming. Yes, my legions. Gather. 
Gather my deathless legions. Ride now. All right, so we're ramming in the front. He's coming for blood. He ain't happy. And we got rams in the back of the base, which are hilarious. So they're going to start ram signing some shit. All right, cool. He's building keeps in the front. Blue's going to need some forward infrastructure if we actually want to make any meaningful progress. Yeah, he's going to need some forward infrastructure. Okay, the rams did a little bit of damage. They're, they're definitely a distraction. You're probably going to need some... Uh, hmm, I'm trying to think how we play this. So this is here. And the House of Wisdom is where? It's back there. Okay. So we have to switch it up, our tactics, I think. Okay, let's get that keep. These guys just getting butchered. Classics. Uh, let's cut this, and let's go ahead and switch our tech a little bit. And, fuck, oh but they're going to be unupgraded. Oh, that's so haggard. All right, well, we got some rams in. We did a little bit of damage against the keep. Um, we still got the fighting going on out front. We have 11,000 food, so let's start selling some food to uh, upgrade the horsemen. And we don't have biology either. Let's see if we can squeak out a biology upgrade. Oh, that's right. We do have all these guys. Yeah, shit. We got these desert raiders. Turn just stay neutral. This doesn't help or harm you. Oh, no, dude. My best chance of winning is him dying so I can get his relics. I ain't. He's going to learn a lesson. You always got to finish off your neighbors. We're going to teach him the, the hard way here. If he wants it, he's going to have to, uh, he's going to have to, you know. You and you. And then you guys can come here and hit all these walls. All right, sweet, sweet. Let's get the horsemen. Let the horsemen feast. Let the nurglings feast. Okay, so the boys are making the goods. Let's do another run by into the back of the base. See if he's not if he's not there, then we can just do that. Uh, horsemen upgraded to elite. Yeah, but he has. You have relics. I want. You know, that's the whole point. Is I want those goodies. Um, we could try a little smash and grab here. That could be really funny, actually. Let's see if we could do that. All right, so let's knock down these walls, and then you guys can knock down these walls here. Perfect. We got the rat run by. And we're gonna try a little a little mission impossible here. Alright. So how's the run by going? It's going okay. Uh, let's go ahead and cut you. Do these guys, delete some of these. Oh, it's it's gonna take a while to get those down, okay. So, do we have the religious characters? We do. Okay. So, we're going to take the speedy boys, and we're going to move in. So, let's see if we can get past them. Let's go for the smash and grab. See what we can get. All right, boys. Let's go. Let's go. All hands on deck. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. We're going for Mission Impossible. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, no. He's watching. The boy was watching. Okay. But at least we knocked these down, so then the relics are more on the table. Yeah, so let's get horsemen out. Let's do this. They're not elite yet, which is a shame. Okay, so we're prepping for later. This at the very least shuts down his income. Okay, so that's okay. Not bad, not bad. Could be worse. All right, so you guys keep knocking down all these walls here. And you guys run into the base again, so let's just keep running into the base. And um, we need to get the horseman elite. Looks like Pone is dying, finally. That's what you get, you know? Okay, archers and horsemen. Let's just make a big army here. We're going to need, um, need a little bit of wood. So let's do this and this. I don't know if we can hold this position. That's why, why I say that. Um, all right, so can we creep over here and grab those relics? Is that going to be possible? That's going to be kind of hard. All right, so let's just run around. We got the horsemen back. Okay. Come there and try and get them. And let's like... Oh, that's right. Our, our freaking cavalry can build rams. Isn't that hilarious? So funny. All right, so we're going to just build some rams in the back of his base here. Get a decent little army fighting. Let's go up top and then loop around here. We got some horses building rams. Uh-huh. Let's sneak down and see what we can grab. 
Dun, 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 dun. Your mission, should you choose to accept it? Okay, it's not going to work. He's already already pre prepped for that. It's all good. We'll uh, we'll be back in business soon here. Uh, let's go get you guys on these trees. Keep you guys up there. These gulams are literally soloing everything. I have been top nonstop. But I need you to um, get rid of that tower there for me, if you don't mind. Okay. I have, like, almost no wood. Okay, so we destroy that. That's going to save a fair amount of workers. Going to need some rams here in a minute. He probably resealed this, if he knows what's good for him. Okay, so let's get you guys and build a ram here. There we go. We got rams in the back of the base, hell yeah. Doing god knows what. And uh, how are we looking up here? Man, I need that wood. It's kind of a shame, although we can get back to this now. Okay. The dreaded wood legions come. Oh, we need to get that. Why aren't you? Oh, the market, I mean, it's, it's being hit. Allied's trying to live. He's, he thinks this is going to save him, but, you know, it's, it's, it's not. That's the problem. The haggard raids on the top have, have done it. He's offering them as a, as a sacrifice, but, you know. Yeah, that's, that's pretty funny. He doesn't... I, I don't know why he's doing this. Maybe just to be funny or something. I'm not sure, but... Uh, he, we just got a lot of relics, although blue is... Blue is what is this Khan doing? What are you doing, Khan? You just butchered all my workers. Okay, so let's get this guy out. He just brought the relics, but I don't know if it's going to save him. If he didn't bring all my relics back, I'm going to go get the rest of them, right? All right, so that's going to be three there. And, um, yeah, and unfortunately, you know, it's it's we need the rest of those. It's uh, We can't settle, settle for just three. That's not how I play this game. All right. Uh, why was me con in your base? I have no idea, but it was butchering my villagers. All right, allied. It's uh, it's time, dude. You only gave me half. The price would be all six. <laughs> the price would be all six. How are there still six of us? I know. Oh man, dude. Still two after every game. Yeah. Here we go. We're mo we're moving in. With our desert, look at our desert raiders we have. There's so many of them. Just the bronze raiders. All right, so we need to um, wall this, make this a little safer over here. All right, so we're going to start on that. All right, so, you know, this is this is what happens. He's probably running out of resources. Uh, let's go see what other relics we can get. So we're going to bring you guys over here. The mouse is sliding all over the place. Hold on, shit. There we go. Okay, Excellent. So we're battling him, and we're moving into these, and now we want to grab those. Yes, and yes. Outstanding. So they can get this and this. Give it to me, precious. Okay, let's get you, buddy, to move up and up. Okay, up and up. I don't know if they're going to get away, but we're certainly going to try. Man, we got rams on his house of wisdom. Pick it up, pick it up, run the torch. Okay, let's get the potato armies gathering, boys. Come on. Come on. Uh, the farms look like they're fully adequate now. House of wisdom needs to go down. So someone has fallen in the bottom. Is Pound still in the game? He is. Wood army for the win, it really is. Is this his main TC? It is, so we can definitely press that too. He's under big pressure. Hopefully blue is still helping me. I don't know if he is. Okay, we're getting relics again, which is good. Let's start securing that. All right, so we have cannons we can dive, so let's get those cannons. Oh, yes. And then we need to get the Atabegs back. Not the Atabegs, but the, uh, the dervishes for the relics. All right, so let's get you, 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 and you. Uh-huh. Yes, my Desert Raiders, let the Nurglings feast. So we get all those cannons. Uh, there might be another FFA after this. It depends on how long it goes, really. Okay, Desert Raiders, let's go. Swarm them, swarm them. 
and uh, religious characters. Yes, yes, we need you guys to pour out there. I don't know if we can straight up beat his army. It's going to be kind of hard. Okay, let's make some rams. We could gather like a 200 stack. Uh, blue still here? Yeah, I don't know if he is. It's it's get the fighting's getting a little harder, so I'm I'm needing needing a little bit more milk here. Okay, so we got the religious characters. We could do a smash and grab. Uh, Blue might have left. He might be gone. I'm not sure. Uh, let's get on this patch here. Depends on how long this one goes. I almost knocked aces. All right, so we're still here. Let's go for the dervishes. See if we can grab a relic. So we're gonna get sneaky sneaky and see if we can grab that one over the top. Oh, there's one closer, actually. All right, so let's do that and that. Yeah, so I think I'm going to get away with one. <laughs> it's going to try and wolo low. That ain't going to go well. All right, so let's get you guys coming in. Yeah, so pop him in the face and get him. Down he goes, and you get this relic, buddy. And so it came to pass. It's like, dude, I, it's what I preach every stream. The, if you let the boy live after you take out his father, he's going to come back and get that ass. You know, he's going to get that vengeance. You can't do it. Granted, I mean, I could have held for a little while against him. Maybe Blue would have intervened to keep the buffer. I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a tricksy one. All right, let's get Rams. So we've gotten a lot of relics. And uh, that's going to be another one there? Oh, shit, did we pull the relic man back? Or no, that was just the one we got. Okay. So we do have some passive income now of gold, which is great. It's not terrible anymore. Um, let's go ahead and put a little uh, blockade there. We got you. So we got four relics. I would like to get this one if we can. So let's do that and bring that back. The rams here are getting shut down, but not before they do a little bit of damage. All right. Let's get back here. Do this. Get a cannon tower there. I think is going to be the play. And, uh, okay, we almost got him. It's not even a, this isn't even like a grudge because I want revenge. It's just, I, I just, he's got all the relics, which is the only way I can win this game. Because if I get a shit ton of relics, oh, god damn it. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be able to get that. Yeah, so pull back, buddy. All right, then get on trees, no problem. Uh, he's still got a big hand cannon in your army. Do that, and how much is that, 375? Okay, so he's coming for a counterattack here. He might be able to fight here. I don't know if he's going to follow through with it. Pwn has been eliminated. Holy shit. Okay. I don't, don't know how that went down, but some, somehow P P Pwn Patine has returned. Okay, he might run back here. We're going to get a couple of these guys on the retreat. Okay, Blue's in the base. So now we need to get our religious homies ready to grab the relics. Is there any still laying on the ground? There is. Okay, and then back up we go. All right. Oh, he just jacked it right from under my nose. Okay, let's get these desert raiders to come over and, and go for this. He's trying the Wololos. Okay, he's toast. So let's get you guys to take that down. GG. And then you go up here. The Khan is in my base again. And um, the other one is here, so we need to get Homeboy. And uh, then that's going to be a lot of relics. Let's get Tithe Barns. Start slapping the base on those resources. And this wall looks secured. Could get attacked here. We might have to give up that relic. I think we are, we're going to let, let him have that one. And uh, we can just do that. All right, cool. So the die is cast. We know where we need to attack now. It looks like in the north there's, a, there's some sort of a resistance. So Mongols uh, top. Who's still alive? So me and Docs. Okay, Docs. Let's go. Hopefully Dox has got a little something something. I, you know what the funny thing about this is, if I can actually somehow win this um, little squabble, uh, not spite, you had relics which are my win con. He needs to learn the difference. It ain't spite. All right, so we go to the north, which is perfect because he's literally right next to me, so I don't even need to make supply lines. Okay. So let's go down here, and is the relic still laying on the ground? Yes, it is. Perfect. We'll take that. Okay, let's do that. Perfect. And let's move this way. Okay, head to the north, save up a lot of wood for rams, and um, we're probably going to need to make some ram structure 
over here. Okay, so he's Mongols, which means he's got no towers. Okay, so the boys are going to gather. I do have six relics now, plus uh, Tithe Barns. I don't think we need to wall this. Let's go see if there's any trade we can get in Allied's old base. Which is going to be the play. And uh, yeah, we'll see if Docs, Docs is going to be able to push. We'll see. All right, so we got the six relics. Let's get you dropping that. That's money. We're we're like we we have a chance of winning now. All right, so let's gather and start the legions moving. And um, wood is still happening down here. Good. All right, so cannon towers, no problem. <laughs> no problem. Nothing a couple old rams can't handle. The wonder is not that far off. Already pushing. Yeah, that we got there, you know, at the 13 minute mark, which is good. Um, all right, so let's take you guys out, and then we can get these. Yeah, perfect. So the boys are moving. Um, trade in Allied's old base. I think there might still be a market here. It looks like there is. Okay, so we can trade with that. We can set up uh, some light trade here. All right, so we're getting through towers. It's an ugly affair, but, you know, we're going to get there eventually. His army's going to be here soon. He's losing some bills. Okay, not bad. Let's gather up, and uh, we just keep pushing. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. If it wasn't, if it was allied, if it, if we attack blue, then allied wonders. If we attack, it's, it just doesn't matter. One of them is going to wonder, so we just need to, you know, force the, force the card here. Okay, let's get these old rams going, and um, we need to build these now. See what that looks like. And yeah, we can do like horseman run buys and stuff for sure. All right, so let's get you guys up here. You guys up here. Could make some dong towers. He's pretty entrenched. It's doable. Depends on how strong homie is. And now that I have gold again, I can actually make like units. Although it's funny, I don't have like the good units upgraded. Nor do I have like like full upgrades on my army. All right, so we gotta hope that old boy um, Dox is gonna get here soon. Good man. He said he's ramming his throat. That's funny. All right, uh, upgrades. Yeah, let's get those finally. Keep the rams kind of weaseling over the top. Yeah, he deleted all of his eco. But he was also expending resources in the other fights. Horseman, and go dive some Marty. Probably just horseman spam for the rest of this, considering his army comps and cannoneers and stuff. And uh, let's get you and you. Take down a couple. Every little artillery piece we kill is pretty big. It's going to make it harder for him to hold, that's for sure. Meanwhile, the rams are still making some healthy progress here. Need to get that wood eco back online, though. All right, so oh, he's got some hand cannon here in my base. That's cute. I don't hate that. Well, you get in. I guess there was a breach there. We must have lumberjacked our way through. All right, let's go gun those guys down. Horsemen should be able to deal with this. We reseal it. Food isn't too much of an issue for us. But doing a big 200-200 horseman run by could also be the play. Yeah, so those hand cannon are going to die. They get countered pretty good by those. And then we um, seal that. All right. Progress is progress. We're making it a little bit closer here, boys. All right, so we're pushing uh, on the other side, looking good, and let's start like getting some trade going over here now. Uh, where's this market? Army on me, yeah. It certainly is. So we're gonna get a lot of these. Our food will be back. Unfortunately, it's not great. We do have 67 on wood. Heading to the top, and uh, let's gather up the legions. We're gonna try a run by here. Let's see the Tower of the Sultan just to send a message that the Dong is erect. Alright, so let's get these guys. I'm, I'm pushing, dude. I'm, I'm going. I'm trying. Let's get all these bills. It's going to disable a lot of his, uh, his his building potential here. Yeah, he just lost a lot. I mean, those cannons aren't even going to be upgraded, probably. Alright, so that's good. We just took down all those bills. Let's see how a run by goes for us. I'm going to see if any of these guys can make it by. Which would be cool. Alright, so you guys have finished that tree line. Let's go get this one. Hmm, pretty hard to make it. If we can get a couple through, we're going to need a lot more than that. Alright, so you guys get on the Dong Towers. And I don't think that's about as far as we made it. So we made it pretty far, pretty close to the Wonder, actually. If we had a 200 stack, we could definitely um, do it. Could start working on some scouts and whatnot. Some berry bushes here. Let's go take those. It's free. And uh, the Dong Towers are about to finish, so we'll get those pushing. A Dong push. Yeah, the Dong is going to is gonna come. 
Okay, and let's make another dong here. All right, we got you guys going. Meanwhile, just ma keep maxing out on horsemen. Unfortunately, I can't go all in. I don't have a good enough bank, so. All right, so let's get you going. Let's get a battering ram moving through. So many rams, he's saying? Yeah, that's pretty good. Bye, because I know if I can get to that corner. Yeah, this is actually working. The ram's eating a lot of the shots. All right, so let's just ram spam, ram spam, ram spam. Come on, boys. Oh, we just need a couple to make it by, and then we can build artillery back there. Come on. Come on. Let's get up into the corner here. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, we got two, two that made it by. It's pretty funny. Maybe he won't notice them. That's got to be the game plan here. And banded rams. Oh, we can finally afford upgrades. Oh my god, it feels so good. I haven't had upgrades in so long. Oh no! Look, we almost got back there, but the villagers were able to prison shank him down. Alright, so Dong Towers are, are making some progress. They do have a lot of HP. Banded rams upgrade is on the way. Uh, you guys, is there any other wood laying around? Shit, I might run out of wood. Uh, I assume Allied lumberjacked all of his wood, so let's look around see what we can find. Most of the players are dead, so I have to hope there's some down there. I mean, Jesus, okay. Horsemen, you might need to just cut and go 200, 200 horsemen. How did it, how did I spend 40k food so quickly? I know, that's how it goes, man. That's how it goes. What kind of trade are we getting? 52. Ah, shit. That's like the worst worst angling ever. All right, let's go see if we can get there. We need to pull the rams back until the enemy army occupies them. All right, so he's got a lot of men-at-arms. We need to get, like, a huge army. Holy shit. Oh, my God, that's a big-ass army. God damn. Okay, let's get a big, big horseman army. We'll make... We still have five minutes. Shit. Shit, shit. Why did that not get built? Why are you like this? All right, let's come down here, hunt this guy down with the boys. Get the ranged armor upgrade. Uh, sure, let's get the camel armor upgrade. Okay, we sealed that. There's just one dude in our base. One dude for the dude god. Do we find some wood? Oh, we did, thank God. Okay, so we got 56 horsemen and seven camels. The camels are much lower. So let's get the rams heading back out and prepare again for another ride. I could hide, yeah, I could hide spears in there, but I don't know, I, I think, uh, you know, where's that trade route? The trade route's pretty shitty, isn't it? Okay, can we build, like, a wall here to make it more direct? Okay, go, blessed rams, go forth and prosper. Let the rams feast. Can we get that food there? Okay, really. Um, is there any other places we can lurk? But it's all hand cannoneers and, like, good quality units. Split army for the win. Yeah, he's, he's got a split army here. That's, that's, that would appear to be the case. So we're going to just ride through and see if there's like an easier angle to get in with. And just kind of keep working at it. Okay, so we're going to use this army as a buffer. And then go straight for the wonder here. Okay, this might actually be promising. It doesn't look like he's quite as entrenched over here. Okay, rams are still blasting away. Let's get you guys going. Uh, uh, ah, I don't think we're going to make it. It's it's too much. If we had, if Dox was a little stronger too, but I think we're both kind of weak. Okay, what do we got? Three minutes left? So let's just like spend the last of our money on good units and see if we can maybe get something done. Okay, let's get some food. Sure, why not? And let's get some food here. That's a, a very erect Mongol uh, corner wonder. Let's go, baby. Let's get it. Let's get some rams. Rams for the ram god. Okay, let's just torch towers down methodically. Oh, we gotta go after the ones that have the cannon in place. It's kind of hard to tell which ones do, but yeah, you can kind of, if you look closely, you can see that little, little thing they got there. Alright, so we're trying to clear some space up top. Keep at it. We still got three minutes, don't give up. Keep, keep at it, my friend. Uh, keep it up. Alright, so we almost got another cannon tower down. Those things are quite stalwart. Definitely don't need to get that. Let's get you guys back here. 25 of you guys. Let's get you on berries. Alright. So we're getting a little bit of progress. A little bit of ramen is going down. We still have cannon emplacements here. Take that one. 
So we did clear out some cannon towers. A little bit of progress has been made. Not too much, though. Uh, all right, so what do we want to make? I mean, I don't even have fully upgraded gulams. My spears are fully upgraded, so probably just spear hand cannon here would be the way. Uh, we do find a wood patch down there, too. Uh, as a matter of fact, establishing trade from here to the cross map would probably be better. All right, so how long do we have? Two minutes and ten seconds. Problem is we don't kill a lot of his army when we fight. Uh, let's get siege and some bombards and shit, and just have like one last ride out and meet them kind of kind of moment. Yeah, blue does have a lot of towers, but he may have lost some production. Yeah, I mean he still has plenty here. It looks like. How long do we have? A minute fifty? Oof, that's, that's tight. That is tight, my friends. It's, I love that your camels can build um, can build these. One screen away. All right. But still so far, yeah, he's, he's probably like right here. Probably similar to me in terms of positioning and stuff. Let's get the Ghoulams upgraded. We might be able to throw a couple in there before the game's over. Um, trade is coming in, so that's nice. We have our six relics back. If we if we were able to get this, we would for sure win probably, which is insane. But definitely not. He's, he's too Chad. All right, so let's fight here. Let's take the little rumble. Maybe we can actually clear out some army this time. Uh, Manganels, uh, get into the hand cannoneers back here if you want. No wood, no gold. So it sounds like my homie who's pushing with me is also very destitute. Uh, we do get a really nice bonk right onto the head of those hand cannoneers, though. We just killed a whole bunch of them. Okay. Probs GG. Well played. Well played, boys. Well played. Great, great game. I wonder if the south was weird. What the hell was going on? Uh, I spent a lot to kill Pone. Oh, so that's... Yeah, because Pone was the other pa power in the south. He was pretty formidable. Um... Yeah, and it sounds like Docs had to kill him. You're right. Yellow was trading for. Uh, you're right. I was trading for so long. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, when Pone died, that's what gave him the game. Yeah, well played. And Allied, of course, when Allied died, also same thing. Although Allied couldn't would have had to go all the way around to get to him. Probably still would have failed. Maybe. It was a good match. Uh, so we got the farms here. A little bit of stone of our own. Yeah, we need one more person to get through this. GG, six seconds. Well played, man. He played like a Chad. Very good stuff. Didn't Blue get beat up in the beginning, too? Like, didn't somebody, like, do a lot of damage to him? I wonder. I wonder. Cast of game time. Best of luck in the lobby roulette. Yes. Very well played. It's all about the politics. Yeah, no, politics are good. I wonder if he was actually under threat, because it kind of seemed like he was. Hmm. Mongol corners are so good. Oh, they're so good. All those cannon towers are insane. Let's see what the rest of the map looked like. How did the Golden Shogun pwn die, actually? I wonder. I wonder how he got taken down. Was it like Rams? He had a lot of resources. Uh, what time is it? How long have we been going for here? Let me check. Hold on. Um, two hours, 54 minutes. Um, let's see here. Okay, my game just crashed. So give me a second to boot that up again. We can um, put it to a vote. So let me do this here. Uh, next game. Casted FFA or 1v1. That was a lot of towers, dude. Homie, it, it was so much that it crashed my freaking game, you know? All right, so I'm gonna go refill my drink and whatever it is when we get back, we'll just, we'll just throw it down with that. All right, one sec, lads. Thanks for joining today. It's been a really fun one so far. And a really good one. All right. Give me a second, guys. I just need to help the lady with uh, something. Oh, wow. Cast it FFA for sure. Okay. So let me do this. 
And um, Ventus was the first one. Yes. So Ventus is going to be the host. You host. Mega random. Uh, mega random. Let's do Nomad. Yeah. So mega random Nomad. So we're going to do a Nomad game. All right, guys. I'll be right back. Got to gotta help Anna with something real quick. And uh, I'll be back in uno momento. Choto mate kudasai. So Ventus is going to be our lobby host. Uh, how can I message you outside of this thing? Uh, you would you would um, message me in Discord. Yeah, that'd be the best way to do it. There was a lot of a lot of towers there, man. A lot of towers. Okay, so Ventus has got that. Thank you guys all for the messages. It will be Ventus hosting, and um, lobby should be up. Let's get the friend requests from you lads. Did I mute myself? No, we're talking. It's one of my, my signature streamer plays. Okay, where is this? So Ventus has his lobby open. It's gonna be a mega random nomad, so um, a little bit different. But we're gonna get the chaos of a nomad game, which is always very fun. And they can play whatever civs they want. Yeah, Dandy, we can do the custom map next stream. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what games have you guys all been playing? What are the what are the what's the new hotness out there? In terms of RTS, we got some really fun stuff on the horizon, and we're gonna. There's gonna be some uh, Stormgate action soon, which I'm very excited for. That'll be an absolute blast. So we'll be uh, as soon as we can stream that. We will, and of course, uh, maybe I'll do a little Starcraft. Pone's been Pone, Pone's been wanting to do some Starcraft streams, so maybe we'll do that. All right, Ventus got the lobby open. What avatar is that? I don't know if I've seen that one. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, he's he's got he's got some uh, what is that uh, portraits? Oh, it doesn't say what the actual achievement is. Okay, so it looks like the lobby has started, so it's going. Shogun Two. Oh, Shogun Two is a great game. It's a really good game. Yeah, Starcraft. I think I think we're doing a Starcraft stream. How many of you guys could play that? If we if we did a Starcraft FFA stream, I mean, Pone and I could maybe do some team games in the beginning, and then we do FFAs like eight player. How many uh, people can you have in a Starcraft FFA game actually? All right, so Ventus on the Ayubids, Wang on the Japanese, looking to try and win this game. Uh, Tron's got HRE, Nani Ori on John de Arc, Thundernut, gotta love the name on the English, uh, Quill on the Byzantines, hell yeah, Olive Oil, wow, we got the two the two sweat players here. We got Ezra and Quill, both of which are uh, going to be on the Byzant memes, which they're actually pretty good in FFA, they're not bad at all. You get good quality armies late game, and uh, if you can get a critical mass of cataphracts, it can be pretty destructive for sure with like mass trampling. Oh, yeah. That would be really fun, though. Uh, cast at FFA means we're not playing. We're just going to be live casting this one. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see how Stormgate turns out. It's very early in the development process, but I have hope for it, you know. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. It is a mega random nomad map, and it looks like we have a lovely, lovely river on the bottom side. So it's going to be uh, pretty lucrative for whoever is down here. We got Nanny Ori with Jean d'Arc. Ooh, oh, Nanny with just the MVP start. Nanny getting all the villagers like right next to each other, although it kind of seems like that's the case for a lot of them. Quill's going to be setting up shop here. I think Quill knows this is good because there's a river, so that's going to be pretty consistent food. Up in the north, Tron is going to be setting up the Holy Roman Empire uh, on the far north, and oh, dear God. Oh, my God. You guys see this? So, this is pretty nuts. This is pretty insane. If you look up here, uh, there's a couple choke points, but you could easily maybe plop a wonder down back here. Maybe you could fit one, I'm not sure. But this mountain range would just be the most disgusting wonder spot. You can't get through on this side. Um, on the middle here, you can get through, but just barely, it's like a tiny choke point. So if you had like 15 mangonels behind it, just blasting any rams or anything on the gate, that'd be really good. But anyway, settlers, uh, Thundernut over on the far east side on the English. Uh, to the west, it's going to be Nani Yori on Jean d'Arc. Nobody in the bottom corner, actually. And then we do have Quill on the Byzantine Empire. To the east, it's going to be Ventus on the Ayubids. Blue is still not set up shop yet. So Dark Hunter Ezra, you know, he's delaying his start, but for the best position, right? And, you know, if I was a betting man, I, I think Ezra having a corner and also playing, well, he has Byzant memes, so it's going to take him a little bit longer, but 
this is a good spot. You could set up a TC right here, get a tree line, and then, um, yeah, he's going to go around the deer, which is also a very good idea. So, yeah, so he's going to be a little bit behind the other players, but he has probably the best spot on the map. Um, completely uncontested, super far away from everybody else. Has the corner all on his own. He's clearing out the uh, deer so he can get that food right out of the gates. And this is looking really, really, really good. So over to the east, we do also have Tron. And where is the Wang? The Wang, has he settled yet? Hold on, where is this Wang? I'm looking, is it lagging? No, it's not. Okay, where is, where is Teal? Did he die? Oh no, he's still looking for a corner. So Wang is going to the corner as well. But so is the Wookiee. Okay, interesting. So the old Wookiee is moving down this way. And then we do also have uh, the enormous Wang on his way down here. Okay, so they're going to be uh, cockfighting over the corner here. They're going to be battling it out. And uh, there's no gold here, though. That's the only problem. You have to go a little bit further up for gold. So it looks like this is where the TC is going to be set up here. And then we're going to be seeing uh, Wang. Ooh, he's going to be so far behind. He's going to be so, so far behind. Uh, how can I show the seed of the map? I don't know. If you could explain to me how, I could uh, certainly do that. But... It's a really cool map. It's a really, really cool map. But yeah, this is looking really bad for Wang. Uh, currently, Wang is, is just in the corner wandering around. He hasn't found a home yet. He's got a deer pack here and some berry bushes. Might as well set up on this gold, but then you have straggler trees. That's so shitty. Um, I guess that's what it's going to be for him. So yeah, Wang is already like starting his TC, and somebody else is already fishing, right? So Quill didn't take the best spot in the world, but it's still kind of in the corner uh, in that general direction. And yeah, I mean, Quill is going to be very, very far ahead, so... Yeah, well, you know, a lot of times, like, you can see what Quill did. Quill knew that he just needed to get going faster, so he's probably going to get going quick and just try and take somebody out is going to be his game plan, right? Uh, over to the east, it looks like the uh, Wang is... Oh, my God, poor Wang is just trying to... Oh, my God, he's going to set up on the island with the other two? This is going to be the Thunderdome Island in the corner, but Wang is trying to get down here. Somebody already has scouts out, and it's looking rough. Uh, sounds good, Prime. Yeah, sounds good. We will. Uh, we could definitely do some uh, do some stuff. Yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. Over to the west, the town center of the gods is up. So the old Wookiee does have a corner. Quill and the Bizen memes looking pretty cozy as well, doing some long distance tree mining. Ezra has got his top post and no cistern yet. Uh, I would expect to see maybe a cistern right here. Um, it would be pretty much hitting his entire empire at that point. So. That certainly wouldn't be bad. Over to the east side, Tron and the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, they have a prelate. He's pumping the brakes and uh, not brakes, but he's stepping on the pedal, I should say, and motivating these workers to work a little bit harder. But this is going to be the hell zone down here. This is just going to be hell on earth. Japan getting into the water very quickly. But Naniori already uh, you know, has Joan building a dock, has a lot of villagers. Japan doesn't even have a TC yet. So yeah, Tron's got a really good spot, especially since he's HRE and there's two free relics in the corner if he actually scouts that. And then also he can grab the relics on the other side. Um, the Byzantines have a top tier spot too. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is like filth. Look at the choke points. Like this is such a good wonder spot. Uh, but Ezra's playing a sieve that it can get stoned for not for free, but if you build buildings, you can get stoned. So if you build 10,000 wood, you're going to be getting, what is it, 2,000? Is it 20% of your buildings is the, is the stone? Let me Let me see what it is. I think it is. So um, I'm trying to see where it has the tooltip here. Yeah, so I think you get 20%. So if you build like, is it 20 or 30%? I think it's 20. So if you build 10,000 wood, you get 2,000 stone. So in the late game, if you have a shit ton of extra resources, you can get stone, which is decent. Uh, and that will allow you to wonder. But yeah, HRE looking pretty cozy. Everybody's looking good except the Wang. The Wang is not uh, a Rexa right now. It's a matter of fact, it's very, very limp. And this is a wild TC position from the English. Double stone on both sides. And, Gold over here as well. Looks like they just now got set up. But this corner island, oh my god, he cancels it. What is he doing? What is the Wang doing, dude? Oh my god, Wang, no. Oh god, you're going to be so haggard this game. Oh, he's just going to be the pit lord. Poor Wang. And look, he's being walled out. That's so funny. The English are walling him out, so the Wang is just fleeing. Oh, that's got to feel really bad. That's got to feel real bad. I don't know why he canceled, though. At this point, where do you even go? I mean, all these resources are being watched over. Maybe you set up in the middle, like up here, and just, you know, have all these plentiful resources and hope nobody's watching you. But he's trying. I mean, guys, we're six minutes into the game, and uh, he hasn't really decided on what he wants to do. People are going to be aging up soon. Like, that's, that's what the reality of the situation is. Lovely cistern. Cistern's looking pretty good up on the north side. Uh, the Holy Roman Empire are going to be approaching the next age, I think. Who is closest to aging up? Probably Tron because of the prelate inspiration. So he's going to be popping off. Quill isn't going to be far behind if he's got boats out already. Yeah, he's got a nice fishing fleet. He's got good gold. Everything's looking very, very good for him. But yeah, the Wang is um, now proxying. Oh man, look how haggard this is. 
Oh, and the old Wookiee's nearby, too. Is he actually going to bring his villagers and start prison shanking? Okay, Wang is just still fleeing. Look, look. Oh, man. Is he going to hunt his bills? That'd be so funny. It's definitely not worth hunting them. But, yeah, the Wang is fleeing again. So where is he going to go? He he won a he won an FFA on our last stream. He won the last one I think we had on Friday night, was it? I think it was Friday night. So there he goes. And uh, yeah, he's he's cruising over. He's cruising. He's going to be trying to set up shop. And uh, we do, of course, have Jeanne d'Arc. And she's getting all the boar on the map, which is quite good. Kind of similar to Roos in that way. So nobody's going to be trying to deny or harass her. So she can get a lot of boar and level up pretty heavily. But yeah, Wang maybe sets up right here. This is a good spot, actually. You get gold stone. You get some wood right there. Um, oh, man. John Dark is going to farm these peasants. You guys ready? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, what a tyrant. Is she going to go for it? I think she is. That's so haggard. Oh, my God. Look at him running, dude. But John Dark is going to have mercy, which, again, I, I'm not a proponent of the mercy. Look what happened to Allied last game. He, had, he and Blue had me dead to rights. Um, for Blue, it makes sense to leave me alive, though. Because blue uh, last game, of course, uh, wanted to use me as a buffer against Allied. So that was smart. Uh, but yeah, no, he's he's going to be allowed to live. So I guess he's just going to be the meme this game. Uh, Ezra is going to be going Imperial Hippodrome, which probably what I suspect it's going to be a cataphract spam. Uh, just like a big cataphract army with the uh, Triumph. You can really dunk on people. If you're rich as hell, I don't usually play that way because I don't like to expect that I'm going to be a financial tyrant. Um, but Hippodrome can be very destructive if you are rich. So if you can establish crazy trade or get a bunch of relics, whatever. Uh, and plus there's also no berry bushes nearby. So going for the winery probably is stupid here. So regardless of the circumstances, I think going for this, um, this landmark is probably, probably smart. So where is he going to set up? Is he going to set up here? You got to just start building, man. What if the Wang comes back and wins this game? That'd be so funny. All right. So there he goes. Wang is setting up shop. No. Hippodrome's going to be out soon um, for the HRE. Where's their uh, second? Yeah, they have the Aachen. Aachen's going to be money. It should be able to hit most of it. Maybe a little bit further down here so it hit the tree line, but still not terrible. And looking at the Ayubids, look at the Ayubids. So Ventus gets his House of Wisdom up in the mountains, like super far away. So he's not going to be getting any Golden Age probably, although he could build his base up here partially like houses to try and get Golden Age. But yeah, missing out on Golden Age is a huge, huge no-no. I mean, that's really bad. You need all that, like research speed, production speed, siege units are cheaper. I mean, there's so many good traits you get from that. Thundernut and the English. Uh, have we seen a feudal landmark yet? Doesn't look like it. So very interesting. What is Thundernut doing? Um, Thundernut has a shit ton of wood. It looks like he's trying to get a fishing fleet up, upriver. Yeah, so he's fishing with uh, with Ventus. They both have a little fishing fleets kind of poking and saying hi at one another. Uh, Quill is going to go Grand Winery, which of course will give him access to multiple mercenaries and better olive oil over the course of the long game. So... A little bit more of a sustainable landmark, but yeah, there it is. So Wang has finally set up shop. He's got his three vills here, and uh, he's going to have to move on to these berry bushes here. He's playing Japan, uh, so having the TC next to the wood line kind of sucks because it cuts off some of your real estate. Jean d'Arc is trying to push through the walls here, and uh, man, look at Jean d'Arc's little empire. Does she have any gold, actually? She does. So it looks like Jean d'Arc has found some gold in the middle. That's where she's getting it from her little uh, island perch here. And another dock's being set up, and the School of Cavalry downriver. Very interesting spot for that. Quill, in the meantime, Double Sister Network is being developed, so the beautiful Byzantine base is uh, looking very aesthetically pleasing, as it always does. No heavy aggression yet. The Wang uh, finally got his TC up, so he's going to be producing. It looks like he's trying to get a scout, but a lot of the sheep on the map are probably, probably going to be gone. New strat, zero TC, mega Imperial Rush. That's what's going on here. Yeah, that's what's going down. I don't know what Thundernut's doing. Um, he's getting butchered by Joan of Arc is number one what he's doing. So Joan is going to be uh, showing the English peasants who's boss. And it's good for her. She certainly wants the experience. Although if she runs too close to the TC, she could get killed, assuming Thundernut garrisons, which he didn't do. So uh, yeah, should be fine. But yeah, Thundernut needs to age up or set up farms or something. Um, I honestly think for England, fishing in the river is good. But a lot of times just going into farm eco quicker and feudal age is better. Because it primes you for the uh, late game and like having farms to get that sweet, sweet. Um, and this is river fish, which is going to disappear. Uh, the river fish on the shoreline, they don't respawn. So the river is going to become dead and moot eventually. But although I don't know, maybe it's still worth it to do it. And then you just switch into farms when you get feudal. But a discussion for another day. So Prelate is here. Holy shit. Oh man, so Ventus is going to be Castle Age. So Ventus immediately going to grab. Oh, he's going to lose that Prelate though. That feels bad. That's 100 gold gone. So that prelate is going to go into the old trash can. He's not paying attention there. Or Tron, excuse me. Uh, so Tron loses a prelate to the Japanese TC. Uh, he has Castle Age and uh, has not scouted up here yet. Where are his prelates going? He's going to try and get that. He should be able to get away if he just turns and runs. He'll take like two or three arrows, but then he should be able to flee. Yeah, and it looks like he turns and flees. 
and the other relic is going to be taken as well. So that's going to be two relics for the old Regnitz Cathedral. Uh, so that'll be quite nice. And it looks like he does know about the Forbidden Mountain up here. So he is going to be sending a prelate up there to find that. In the corner, Ezra is just walling off his little corner empire. He does have a double sister network, which is quite good. Uh, very, very nice. A hell of a lot of sheep. So Ezra doesn't need to go out looking for food anytime soon. Uh, typically with Biz and Memes, you want to go Fast Castle. That's the best way to play them, to get the uh, Golden Horn Tower producing units. Uh, and really maximize the efficiency of that. I mean, you can on FFA, arguably, though, going for the first cistern could be really good, too, and getting healing on your uh, cataphracts. Uh, Golden Horn Tower is so good, though. Just the amount of free shit you get from it is, like, so prime time. And, you know, free free things is just so powerful. It's so powerful. So over to the east side, we do have the uh, double houses. Uh, popping off here for Nanny. Not going to be lacking any supplies, but a couple people have reached Castle Age. Nope, just one so far. Quill should be not that far behind Castle Age, considering he's been fishing, and yeah, it's going to be Golden Horn Tower, so that will give you the free mercs. And it looks like it's going to be Chatterfrax and Mercenaries. So he's probably going to go Chatterfrax and Keshix would be my guess for him, and uh, he's just going to try and steamroll people, because that's kind of how we've seen Quill play in the past as well. But will he do Castle Aggression? A lot of the relics are being taken off the map by the Holy Roman Empire. HRE sitting on four relics now, super nice. Uh, HRE is going to be getting five. So Tron is going to be a dark god up in the top corner. HRE with five relics is really, really nice. I mean, that's going to be seven or eight hundred gold a minute, if I'm not mistaken, uh, passively. And yeah, that's huge. And it looks like maybe another one here. Okay, not going to happen. Dark Hunter Ezra is going to be contesting that relic. Byzantines, if you get three relics, you know, it's quite nice. Yeah, okay. So we see the Cistern of the First Hill coming down for Ezra. Looks like a well low, low attempt in the middle. Going to be chasing those guys away, but um, Horseman should come back. But Cistern to the First Hill is good if you want to do big cataphracts and just have a huge blob of elite cavalry because they all can heal. And having like 400 plus HP with healing is very, very strong for uh, decisive early fights and whatnot. So that'll be fun. That'll be fun. The other Byzantine player, Quill, of course, going for the Keshrix. Yeah, like we talked about, plus probably cataphracts. We don't see any being produced yet, but I would wager that's going to be the plan. Uh, Nanny Ori with Guild Hall. So we get the Guild Hall set up nearby. The English player is now in feudal, but he's still a ways off Castle Age. So Nanny could probably just come and kill this English player if he wants to, which if you're playing Joan of Arc, I think that aggression is very good. How, the second game was really good. Yeah, it was really good. I would recommend going back. The, end, the ending was pretty fun. Certain tried, uh, tried, but yeah, it was, it was, it was rough. Yeah, I don't know. Ezra is a huge threat. I mean, Ezra is one of our stronger players who plays in our games. He's won a lot of games, and on top of that, he's in the corner. Uh, completely left to his own devices. He's cutting off a huge portion of the map for himself. You can see these walls going, so he's really planning his empire. He's going to have this. He's going to have this. He has a natural corner spawn that has a shit ton of resources in it, so he's not going to need to leave for a long time. Uh, hands down, if I was a betting man, I would probably put my marbles on Ezra this game, simply because his spot is so tyrannical. Um, Tron is also a good player, too. Uh, so it'll be interesting. But I think Ezra is certainly one more. Uh, more games overall. Wololo going down. HRE trying to get away with the relics. And uh, maybe they'll get him away from Ventus. We'll see. You better start moving that character again. Sacred Sites being taken by Quill. And where are the Keshiks? So we get the uh, Byzantine Keshiks. Relics being brought back. We are going to be seeing how many relics for Quill. Probably two only. This one, of course, uh, being idled by our HRE player. But yeah, Ezra is going to be an absolute tyrant. Absolute tyrant. All right, so do we still have a pole up? I don't have a pole running, do I? I thought I took that down earlier. Well, anyways, over to the east. Jean d'Arc for the lady. Oh, man, just going to be crushing this English player if he's not careful. You definitely should. I mean, if, if Nanny, if, here's the thing. If Nanny Ori can take out the English early, like soon, and just establish the corner wonder with the French here, then get this whole island to yourself. That is turbo strong. And then you just go Red Palace, like in the corner back here or something. Oh, can you put a wonder up here? That, there's a lot of interesting ideas. You might be able to. The dreaded early feudal stone walls. Uh, the next Total War tournament will be in the next couple days, Sammy. Yeah, next couple days I'll have one. I don't know what it's going to be, but probably a Dom tournament or something. But, ladies and gentlemen, we got the Walls of Doom going up. So England is certainly not wanting to die here, uh, trying to hold on to their lovely, lovely corner. Uh, over to the east side, we do see not cataphracts coming out rather okay there's a it's funny there's a prelate coming in from quill so quill runs all the way up there to try and grab that relic but it looks like ezra was paying attention and shuts that down so uh yeah sister into the first hill is active so there are going to be triple uh why have we not seen the religious characters coming out for ezra where are they uh, he needs to get these relics. I guess he figures the ones in his base are very secure, so not to worry about that too much. Currently, he's camping this one with a Chatterfract, and the Chatterfract does have access to healing, so he is going to be—he's uh, going to be pretty sauced. That guy is going to be able to outduel pretty much anything that comes his way. 
I do like the corner Swabia. That's really good here by Tron. That's super, super good. That's going to make him really tough to get rid of because he can just put layers and layers of stone walls and it's like choke point hill. And uh, Here's what I would recommend. If, if I was Tron, what I would do is... Yeah, Wang and Dark Age and someone else is Imperial. I know. I love it. This is the most haggard shit ever. Um, if I were Tron, what I would do is I would move all my relics into the mountains. I would build some monasteries back here and move all my relics. Because, you know, if things go south, then, you know, at least you have all that secured. After this FFA, do we have the Faded Pwn versus Gunhound match? I'm down. If both of you guys are still on, we can do the Faded match after this. I think it's time. Why is Teal in Dark Age? No, he, he got, like, he couldn't find a TC spot for a long time. And now these villagers, he's going to go build a landmark maybe up here. I'm not sure what he's doing, but... As far as fights go, Jean d'Arc is looking at the English. Uh, do we see any siege infrastructure coming out? Do we see any battering rams, any trebuchets? Uh, if you're Nanny Yor, you definitely want to kill the English now because they'll become harder to kill as the game goes on with like a white tower in their base. I don't know why these farms aren't being worked. And secondly, um, you want to get your red palace up in the corner. That's like the most optimal thing. If you can get the red palace back here, that makes you extremely hard to finish off. Sacred sites being taken and no aggression yet. Quill's got his Keshex. Uh, is he making cataphracts? Not really. It looks like he's probably saving for Imp. Yep, he's kind of banking a little bit, which makes me think Imp. Only one relic for him, which has got to feel pretty bad. Another cistern coming out. Huge, huge cistern network uh, connecting across the map. Big and thick. Depends on the length of this match, but I would be down. Oh, guys, we're going to have the faded duel today. The, mo the mod duel. It's going to be Pwn versus Gunhound. We're going to see who will reign victorious today. So it looks like Quill is going for the kill on Nanny, which um, Nanny could get sandwiched, but Nanny already does have a good army. It's not its not a joke. Arbalist plus also Jeanne d'Arc and the Knights. Chatterfrax 1 to 1 will beat a French Knight, but they're much more expensive, of course. Kashuk's coming in doing a little bit of raiding, and it looks like the Abyssin memes might fall back now. Yeah, it looks like they're going to retreat. Um, obviously, Arbalists are very good against them. Although they don't have the melee upgrade, so that's a little bit rough. So here come the crossbows, and yeah, the Byzantines are going to want to run. They do have a level 5 sister network, but yeah. Oh, he's, they're both going for the Cataphract Doom stacks, yeah. So they're going to get those big elite armies and try and trample. Which is really fun, but yeah, Ezra is just going to be so evil this game. He's like in the corner, completely uncontested. Uh, the HRE, though, also very good spot. I mean, a corner wonder up in the hills, if it fits here, I don't know if it does. It should. Once you mine this out and have this space, I think that a wonder would fit there. I think it would. Ayush, it's 6.15 in the morning, you can't sleep. Oh man, I'm sorry, we're keeping you up, brother. So any raiding, what is the Wang doing, by the way? The Wang is setting up the quarter storehouse. So Wang is basically going full rat mode, guys. He's just becoming a gremlin. He's just building mini bases all over the map, and it's just going to try and, you know, build up that way. But at least he's in the Feudal Age. Ironically, Thundernut is still in the Feudal Age too, but not for too long. Uh, Thundernut is currently going to be getting White Tower, so he'll be topping off here soon. Quill's got his big army. Uh, he's going to be getting more free units, more Keshex, and getting ready to go. They can also make Ghulams if they want to. Uh, Ezra with another TC down here. Another two TCs, so he's just going to be greeting and just taking all this on the map. I mean, if he got attacked by somebody right now, he'd be in huge trouble. Like, if Quill decided to go north and attack Ezra with, like, his huge knight army, Ezra could be in huge danger, because he currently has, like, no military, and it's just being the greed overlord, which, you know, I think is fair at this point. But, yeah, Quill could definitely get him here, but Ezra will surpass him. Because it looks like Nanny is going to be the target. Um, old Wookiee in the corner, he is playing the Abbasid. He does have his landmark walled in the corner, which is really, really good. Uh, so that's going to keep him from getting karate shops. Aside from that, yeah, it's just a cozy multi-TC in the corner. He's, you know, scouting the hills, clearing a little bit of space. Ventus with his uh, Dervish going to be grabbing sacreds. You got to do what you can with those. The old Ayubids, uh, I, I do, I am a firm believer that Ayubids are one of the worst civs in FFA. I don't know if they're the worst, probably the worst actually. Right, because you have the two landmarks only, which is a huge weakness, but you don't have the other strengths that the Abbasids have that make them better in the late game. Ayubids are really can be really oppressive in one v one, like really oppressive. They, 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 but like the longer the game goes, the weaker they get for sure against a lot of different civs. Um, all right, so over on the east side, what do we got? Uh, no action yet. All's calm in the front. I'm surprised. I guess it's a nomad game, so it's going to take a little bit longer. And where is the Imperial Landmark of Quill going to go? Probably down here. Ooh, this is a good spot for an Imp Landmark, by the way. If you wanted to slap down the um, the Palantine School or the Foreign Engineering School there, that'd be really nice. And Quill is going to get just a super, super sweet, um, you know, berry economy here. Not berries, but olives. So his people are going to be eating well. Olive oil is, like, the best, dude. I, I use it. The best cooking ingredient ever. You think it's going to be a two-hour game, Pete? You could be on to something. I certainly would prefer it to be an hour-long game. 
so we can get the dreaded pwn versus gunhound 1v1 the the prophesized duel you know but we'll see regardless maybe next time we could open up with that in the beginning and that could be the uh, game plan here a lot of raiding and uh yeah looks like quill's coming for it he's gonna be walling the river taking down some fishing boats john dark moving around with her knight but it's pretty crazy like a uh, cataphract has almost as much hp as her like an elite cataphract is almost as tanky as john dark so yeah, a lot of villagers gonna get butchered here and the byzantines do have a nice bonus when they kill villagers uh with horsemen i believe yeah they should does he have that upgrade let's check uh no he didn't get uh expel Taurus. yeah so if he had gotten that he would have gotten a ton of money from those villager kills but would have paid for itself but he's gonna be battling it out with old joan joan's coming across with a lot of arbalists arbalists do have the uh, melee armor upgrade so they now have 12 uh, melee armor which is crazy good but this is gonna be a losing fight for quill because the arbalists have the wall screening them so the cavalry can't even get to them so they're just gonna pick apart these cav uh quill this is an odd miss micro from quill i mean he's a conqueror three player and he's losing a shit ton of units here uh for no reason and it looks like nanny really really decisively winning that fight quill is on triple tc though which is pretty jacked uh on top of that should be able to rebuild quickly we get a siege workshop coming out and i think we are going to be seeing our um i think we're going to be seeing our blood feud here i think these two are going to be duking it out till one of them's dead and honestly the french might be able to put some pressure on him here i mean the french appear to have a higher score um and you know yeah their units are quite good here against this army comp like mass chataphracts are cool but here's the thing like if if quill had built an army with limits and i um and then crossbows of his own and maybe mixed in some horsemen or something whatever he would have been able to easily defeat this french army because of the shield wall ability on the limits and i plus they also counter the cavalry uh, i play byzantines are one of my mains 1v1 and against french i always go a ton of limits and i because they counter the knights and their shield wall counters the archers to an extent too which is really good but now quill is going to be under heavy pressure right meanwhile ezra just cackling like the heathen heathen kings of old in the north uh we do see the rat empire it is going to be the wang in the middle you know it's not an enormous wang it's a bit of a smaller wang but rams are coming out he needs to mix in lima tonight he needs to stop just massing cataphracts i mean they're cool and all and they might be able to win some fights but yeah i think mixing in some spears might help um maybe basic horsemen too would also be very very prudent nanny's getting in there if nanny's able to take out quill that'd be pretty big that would be get, getting rid of one of the threats but the problem for nanny is nanny's got like an english player sitting behind him uh, I think that Wookiee is just going to be hanging out. I don't think Wookiee is showing any inclinations of aggression. I think Wookiee just wants to get that beautiful economy going and get that golden age with the Abbasid and just, just live it up. So, Quill's moving back out. He now has Mangonels, which are, of course, the hard counter against these things. Uh, he's going to be defending the Mangos with his uh, Cataphracts, but it uh, looks like Nanny is going to be diving those and does manage to take down one Mango with the Horseman. So, very well played. And is Nanny going to be killing Quill here? Maybe so. Maybe so. You get the floating gate being built up in the top, so one of the better landmarks in the game for sure. And the Cataphract army, ooh, it might be able to hold. He has some Ghoulombs coming out now, so he's got a little bit more HP on the ground to support. But those Arbalists are wrecking that army, and we are going to be seeing the Grand Winery going in the trash can. Personally, I think Quill will probably find a way to hold. He's an extremely good player, but this is going to be some uh, fat L's he's going to be taking. Meanwhile, on the other side, Ezra just taking his corner. Oh my god, Ezra's going to be such a dark god this game uh he's just gonna go straight imp and then he's gonna make you know a huge army and just start steamrolling people it's what i would suspect he, he should probably go north and try and take out the uh the uh the uh, the holy roman empire up there all right so quill has lost his uh, grand winery but his tcs are holding firm his cavalry horde is charging into the arbalist the arbalist of course is able to return the favor a lot of horsemen coming in ram's still moving we do get more artillery on the way out but where are yeah he's making ghoulams we really need like some cheap chaff units like shield wall would be so good because these guys would only they would only hit a limitani unit for uh seven damage which is absolute dog shit so if you had a limitani front line like 30 of them it would counter this entire army it would just like steamroll them while the mangonels keep shooting but um yeah i mean i know a lot of people try and sell me on cataphracts and uh the elite army which i think it can be good if you manage to get a critical mass but in general yeah it's, it's a tough trade okay so those guys do get taken down there this might be the opportunity for quill to hold he gets the trample does some considerable damage the artillery is going to be dove uh nanny looks pretty committed to war as well consistent units coming out but quill remember quill is a conqueror three player uh so he is going to be really really like if you don't get him on the strike there's a, a high likelihood that quill will come back and find a way to finish off nanny ori um just because he's that good of a player now nanny is a very solid player as well but i do not believe nanny is close to conqueror three so um yeah this could be this could be gotham's reckoning right now yep we see the cataphracts and uh yeah now the french could be in some serious danger 
So we am still making a little bit of progress in the base. We get a lot of the artillery coming out. Uh, looking around, we see one, two... Uh, the Wang is still expanding. It's it's a giant uh, phallus where it can. And look at that. Tron keep dropping the Wang in the middle. Oh, that's so funny. So Wang is going to get his base partially keep dropped. Holy Roman Empire is just chilling. Dude, I love the yellow Holy Roman Empire. I don't know what it is, but the Mustard Legions, they, they look so good. Yeah, they look so good. This is like what my Empire Army in Tabletop kind of looks like. The, the actual armor, but yeah, they're red and white on my guys. All right, guys, it's looking uh, pretty bleak for the Wang. And now we could see the counterattack of the gods. Quill is going to be unleashing his uh his fully erect conqueror fury perhaps here on old nanny nanny might need a politic you could appeal to ezra and try and see if ezra wants to crush a foe um it would make sense for ezra to backstab quill because quill is the probably you know the highest ranked player individually skill wise in this game so if you were to get him out of the picture then it would massively increase your likelihood of winning but yeah, looking pretty rough for the French here. Their army is very low tech. Um, horsemen against... Oh, God. The Chattafracts are going to get it. Oh, they just trampled them. That army just got trampled so hard. That's, that is a really cool mechanic. And uh, that's going to be the end of Nanny. Nanny had, had some good momentum. Had some good momentum here. But John Dark is going to die. And uh, that's going to be the end of the road. As now, Quill is going to be exacting revenge. And it was looking a little bit dicey for Quill there, you know. But he was on triple TC... Uh, he had a lot going for him. He just needed to stabilize against that initial army differential, and then he was totally fine. So Cataphracts getting into the base. Um, up top, we do see the Wang with his Corusaur house. This is like the shittiest Corusaur house ever because uh, these farms have a dog shit gather rate because they're not near a TC. Japan, if you try and establish your farm eco far away, it's just so bad. So Tron is going to be removing the Vermintide here. So Tron is coming and uh, is going to be trying to take out old um, Wang. Which is a good idea. You don't want any gremlins outside your base. Like, you know, if you leave, like, yeah, if you leave them alive, you're gonna, you're gonna pay the price. They're gonna come back and get you at some point, right? Yeah. So Nanny uh, looks to be dead. We do have the uh, guild hall in the corner. Does Nanny have enough to go imp? Uh, no, nowhere near imperial. Probably just needs to try and bank food as long as possible here. Cancel all these villagers and try and build the red palace in the corner is probably your only chance of surviving here. But um, yeah, we are going to see landmarks going down. So School of Cavalry is dead and Quill is coming in like a wrecking ball. Nanny tried. Nanny went out like a champion on their shield. It was, it was a good little scrap. The English player, he's got his cozy corner empire switching into the farm eco. I like that from Thundernut. He's got Barkshire up in the corner, which is a good play. So, so far, so good there. Uh, but we are going to see the TC going down and Quill is going to be discovering the uh, guild hall here. And that should be enough. That should be enough. Yep, there he goes. And uh, is the Holy Roman Empire finishing the job? They should. I mean, the Holy Roman Emperor should send his entire army and just steamroll the, the Japanese here. You don't want... He's taking resources from you, too. Like, he's farming the middle, which is stuff that you could be getting. So there's no sense in letting the Japanese uh, armies live here. Yeah, you got to take him out. Wang definitely had a really bad start. It was it was pretty bleak for him. Uh, we do see the landmark in the corner. It's going to be taken down. Manganel's moving in. School of Cavalry has paid the troll toll. And meanwhile, Ezra just being the cackling villain in the north. Uh, he has no opposition to him whatsoever. Uh, the Holy Roman Empire might clash with him at some point. And honestly, HRE with relics can definitely bang with Byzantines. Like, it'll be the Western versus Eastern Roman Empires, I suppose. But yeah, they're just going to get this guild hall. Uh, TC isn't down yet, but the Chatterfrack should be able to get that. And uh, old Wang, he's uh, he's not looking too good. I don't feel so good. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. Yeah, he's in, he's in trouble here. What do we got in the top? Holy Roman Empire is being really passive, though. I'm surprised they're not moving out and steamrolling him. It, I guess that's just my play style. Like, I, I, I'm always going to be trying to take out my neighbors if I can. Um, and that is going to be the guild hall going down here. Yes, yes. Farewell, sweet prince. Uh, HRE sitting with its knights here. Maybe there's some sort of a diplomacy that's going down here. John Dark does spawn again. I would imagine Nanny is, like, politicking pretty hard here. Probably trying to uh, plea for help from some of the neighbors. But, yeah, Quill Quill came back with vengeance. Yeah, absolutely came back with a vengeance. So Quill is probably going to kill the corner player next, I would suspect. He's going to try and take out Orange. Uh, because then he can build his wonder down there. And he's also got a landmark hidden up in the hills, which is super good. So he's got the foreign engineering company being built up in the hills, which I really like because it's kind of a last place you would check, right? And then you can go wander down here in the corner, or you can even just wander right here. This isn't a bad spot. However, there's a big vulnerability of green is still alive uh, to attack from that angle. All right, so the Holy Roman Emperor has had enough. He's coming. Uh, where is Quill going to go next? He needs to act on Ezra before Ezra gets too strong. Um, but also having Orange to the south of you is a no-no. And the Wang is going to be trying to fight with his potato-based armies. Uh, well played, Nanny, well played. 
and we are going to be seeing um, these guys duking it out. All right, cool. So they're battling. We see more shots there. The HRE army is pretty fat. 33 land snakes, which can definitely butcher this army. Land snakes are super good against Japan because Japan players just have a full erection for spamming only infantry. And if you mix land snakes in with your men at arms or spearmen, they'll just crush Japanese samurai. So um, they just cleave them like so hard. Not one to one, but in blob fights, right? So the Shogunate Castle is being uh, taken down. I suspect he knows where the rest of the landmarks are. Japan is building another layer of walls up there to try and stabilize. Uh, no burning oil at the Shogunate Castle, obviously. The spears are poking into the HRE armor, but not getting too much done. And uh, let's see here. Yeah, so Quill is where? Where is he? He's here with a big army, but Ezra is looking very tyrannical now. Like, look at the bank. So Ezra is currently 741, and if we look at Quill, he's 322. So substantially less food, but aside from that, pretty similar on other metrics. Uh, HRE, have they taken out the base? They have, so that's going to be the Shogunate Castle going down for Wang. So one player has fallen so far. England in the corner, Thundernut just hanging out and you know clutching, uh, clutching onto whatever he's got. Nobody wants to attack an English player in the corner, right? It's just not fun. Longbow's not fully upgraded. Looks like the army could use some upgrades. Does he have the cattle upgrades? Uh, he does have the, not cattle, but farms. He needs to get fertilization max out if you're playing English for sure. And definitely more farms. If you can get more farms, it'd be good. Screw the river economy. You don't need that shit. Uh, so here we actually have Ventus trading pretty well. I mean, it's not amazing trade, but 50 trade is very respectable. So Ventus is doing pretty good. They're doing pretty good. We see them pushing across here. Yeah, so that's 50 a pop. Old Ezra, how's he looking? He's up in his corner, you know, being, being the villain. And the Holy Roman Empire is just purging through the landmarks. So where is the HRE army? Here they come. Okay. So he's going to have to find his way through the walls. Can Wang go Imperial here? Oh, he's kind of close, actually. He could do the Castle of the Crow to just try and survive, but it wouldn't matter. The Bombards would get it. So two HRE Bombards have come out. So they're going to be knocking down the walls here, and that is going to be very, very nasty. So eh, that's a tough one, boys. The old Wang is not long for this earth. His haggard freaking uh, Kura storehouse here. I think, doesn't Kura just mean storehouse in Japanese? Correct me if I'm wrong. Do we have any native Japanese speakers here? I think it does. I studied for some years, but I don't know that word. Um, I'd be curious. I'm pretty sure that just means like storage or storehouse. Yeah. So rest in peace to the Wang. You know, he was a trooper. He's a, he was a trooper. He's trying to trying to repair his landmarks, probably. The TC is down, and um, HRE is going to be knocking on the Kura storehouse and then the floating gate. But I don't know why. He's, yeah, he needs to be more aggressive with his demolition here. There he goes. All right. So they're going to be heading across. Uh, any skirmishes on the hills? It doesn't look like it. Green's English army is just heading over here. I'm not sure what they're looking to. Yeah, I think it just means storehouse, storehouse, right? Yeah, Kura, <laughs> Kura is chicken in Polish, is it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that much I know, yeah. All right, up top, any action? Doesn't look like it, all's calm in the front. Uh, yeah, we see the Wang's landmark getting torched. Wang is probably gonna repair his landmark here, his ninja landmark, but. I suspect that we will see the HRE player finish him off. A lot of villagers being butchered for the Wang. The Wang is almost ready to go amp. He's very close. He could actually, if he had a market, he could buy his way. But uh, he's probably going to build the, uh, yeah, he's trying to find a spot to build his landmark. But I don't know if he's going to get enough food. He might not have a market, so he might need to power build a market to get that uh, Castle of the Crow. So Wang's trying to, oh my god, look at this. He's trying to build walls. He's building layers of walls to protect it. I love it. That's so funny. Here comes the uh, the Bombards. Yeah, look at that. That's so troll, dude. I love what he's doing. Yeah, he's just buying as much time as he can. That's hilarious. He's running back to the base to try and repair the TC. That's going to take a hot minute, ladies and gentlemen. But every second he can he can survive here is, is quite big, actually. So the Wang's Landmark, is it in trouble? We do see the Shogunate Castle. That has 13,000 HP, though, boys. That's going to be a long, long time. OK, so he's almost got that one down. We do see more walls being built here. Wang can now go imp if he wants to, but I think trying to repair this probably is your best bet. He gets in and um, now he should be able to hit the floating gate. So he's gonna move up. Those villagers not quite able to get the full wall off. I do love the scrappiness there though. I thought that was really, really good. And um, yeah, that's gonna be probably the end of the Wang. He's got this one half repaired. Yeah, the HP is too high. If that was a regular landmark, it would have been good, but I don't think it's gonna do it. So Floating Gate is down, and that's going to be one less player in the game. So GG to the Wang. He had an awful start, and, uh, you know, that was to be expected. Look at the Bank of Tron, though. Tron is the Dark Lord, man. Holy shit. 18,000, 15, 14. I mean, depending on how his macro and micro is, he could definitely be one of the main powerhouses in this game. Because Byzantine armies are good, but they're not, like, OP. Um, so, like, you know, HRE can definitely fight them. We see the Abbasid trading here pretty well. 
not the Avasta, but the Ayubids of a of a old purple of Ventus. Let's look at his wings. See what he's got. I think yeah, we can't see. Yeah, he's got the casino wing here, so he's going to be able to get traders and Bedouin skirmishers and all that sort of good stuff if he wants to. Again, more impactful for one v one. So why are they not fighting here? What is Quill going to be doing? We see a scholar coming. A lot of military is being built here, which is a big indication of war. And like he kind of has to fight Quill to get out of his base, right? Ezra is just straight up greeting. Ezra is just kind of playing a SimCity simulator back here. He's legit like not doing anything. His military is probably less than 30. Sure, seven military, 178. Pure greed, pure greed. I should have fought Thundernut. You should have. You should have taken your chances, Wang, against Thundernut in the corner. And now Ezra is just a dark wizard up here. He's he's just casting evil incantations and you know chanting uh, chanting whatever foul magic he can conjure. Quill being very chill. I'm surprised. Yeah, I guess he's building up a lot of military here, trying to get his uh his war chest filled up. He doesn't have a ton of gold, and nor does he have really good passive gold. He doesn't have any trade, I don't think. Yeah, okay, a little bit of trade coming out, but it's 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 mediocre trade. It's 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 well, it's 44. I guess it's not mediocre, but it's not amazing. So. Setting up towers along the coastline. The English player. Is England going to be knocking on his door? Trying to take him down? Yeah. The a the AF guy said they were going to jump up. Quill attacked because Wookie called for help about his his fishing dying. Interesting. Interesting. All right. So looking around here, we got barracks into the sunset. Um, only one of them can win, though, is the thing. And it looks like the old Wookie is going to be trying to take on the English player. So the English player is going to be pulling his armies back. Abbasid late game armies are pretty strong. Yeah, Wang versus Thundernut would have been the duel of the ages. That would have been truly a cataclysmic duel. The foundations of very reality would have would have shook at the uh, colossal magnitude of their fight. So here they go. Okay, English uh, vanguard party gets taken down, but the main English army is moving. An English army, I mean, they shouldn't lose to an Abbasid army easily. Like, it would have to be a long, miserable grind. Yeah, long, miserable grind. And what is... I mean, Quill has got to know Ezra's up there being a villain, right? He's got to know. Does he not care? Maybe he's just trying to establish his own trade first. I mean, Tron is also a powerhouse. Um, I don't know what his rank is in 1v1, like how good of a player he is in terms of micro and macro and whatnot. Probably could use a lot more production, although he's probably fine. He's got a really good farm economy. Probably sitting on... How many relics was it? I think six? Five? Five relics on Regnets is super good with Tithe Barns. Jesus, that's so much resources he's getting. I mean, Tron could wonder at this point, but wondering would be incredibly stupid right now. So he gets into the English base. The hand cannoneers will do some really good damage. Rams onto the White Tower. And is he going to be sending reinforcements? His supply lines are okay. It's not the best, but he is doing good DPS against the English. And we are going to be seeing the White Tower going down here, which is nice to get out of the gates right away. But the English defenders are sallying forth. The men at arms have engaged, and I think this surround should be enough. We'll have to see. Wookie sending a lot of troopers over here. A whole lot of troopers. And over on the west side, what do we have? What do we have? Um, not much from Quill, dude. He's just being really passive, which is weird. Normally, these higher level players are very aggressive, trying to eliminate threats to their empire, right? But um, he seems content to just Netflix and chill here. Uh, up in the hills, uh, Ezra does have some houses back here. I believe these belong to the Vizen memes yeah, of Ezra. So he sees them. Pretty big vulnerability. You could actually get right into Ezra's base right here. And Ezra, if you ambushed him, you definitely get a jump on him now. He doesn't have any military, but he's preparing to kill Quill for sure. He's he's setting up a huge war machine here, like a massive erect war machine, and he's going to be heading over to the east to try and take that bad boy down. His bank's really good. His gold is okay. He's probably just pounding it. Yeah, he's getting all the upgrades, so that's probably why his gold isn't uh, too off the chain right now. Yeah, stocking up on olives, and it looks like the English player might actually get defeated, which is very uncommon. I think it's just a macro issue. I think that um, Thundernut's macro isn't up to the task here, maybe, of fighting this off, because an English player should never get pushed that easily into their base. It should always take a lot longer than that, so. Yeah, and the Rams are still in there, and uh, Old Wookiee is sending waves and waves of reinforcements, so his macro is certainly very on point. He's sending a lot of units, and the English defenders are trickling out. They're using the dreaded Reaganomics. Oh my god, his longbows aren't even upgraded. Oh, that's so rough. So his longbows are only Castle Age, um, and, and they only have 1-1 one, one upgrades. So yeah, a lot of blunders by old Thundernut here, but you know, again, he could be a little bit newer, so he's doing well considering. Wookie is a veteran player who I believe is at least diamond level um, in 1v1, so that's not an easy fight for somebody who's uh, a little bit, a little bit, you know, more seasoned. Uh, over on the middle, what have we got? Towers being set up, so Ezra is starting to take some ground in the middle. Uh, and Quill is, Quill is... Quill is pulling a Dandy Dragon. Dandy, you should be proud. Your playstyle has spread. Your old playstyle. Dandy doesn't really play like this anymore, but 
Um, Quill has literally not moved shit in like the past 10 minutes. He's just sitting here banking resources and waiting to wonder, which is uh, pretty funny. So the English base looking to be in some danger. Are the, is the does the English player have any like resources? He has 5,000 gold. There's no excuse for him to not be fully upgraded at this point. He needs to definitely get those upgrades. That's why he's trading so badly. His units are just super, super um, weak. Like the spearmen here are, um, yeah, five and five. Because the camel support, so Abbasid infantry are just absolutely jacked. Like that five armor is so, so good. Okay, so looking around, what do we got? Um, yeah, Ezra doing a little bit of, no, that's Ventus. So Ventus is actually raiding the Holy Roman Empire. So that's going to start a war, 100%. It was like in the first game today when your Yeravati killed Ivan, our brave lumberjack of the Rus. Uh, of the Rus. We had to avenge Ivan. Um, all right, so what do we got around here? Yeah, looking fine. Little duel. England might find a way to hold. You can see despite the fact his units aren't upgraded. Well, they are now. He just got a leak, so he's still holding pretty well considering. But I think eventually the Wookiee would finish him off when he gets forward infrastructure here. It's going to be quite strong. Now, Ezra being allowed to take this gold right from under Quill's nose is... Guys, is Quill AFK? Is he here? No, he's building towers, but why on earth would Quill let him take this gold? That's like so foolish. Unless they have some sort of a weird agreement. Maybe they're like playing the Bizon meme thing. Like, oh, you know, Olive Brothers. You know, that's kind of a thing you'll see jokingly in a lot of these games. But, um, yeah, we see a raid on the Holy Roman Empire. I suspect this will be met with repercussions. Like, if you're the Holy Roman Empire, you got to punish this. And you know how easy it is to kill. I mean, I guess he's got keeps in the hills and things like that. It'd be kind of hard to finish him off. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe he's AFK or something. Why, how is he letting him take all this gold? And he's got an empty gold here, too. I mean, he's going to want that, right? Okay, he's moving back to this one. Uh, he's currently got 196, so his economy is pretty good. He's got a lot of upgrades coming out. Ezra is going to start attacking him soon, I would guess. No in-game chat about it. I don't know. I don't know if he's AFK. It doesn't look like it. He's, like, building things. It's weird. He's, like, building a ton of towers everywhere. Um, okay. Very strange. Yeah, because Quill is, you know... It would make you would not want your opponent to get this ever. Look at this. Look how troll this is. There's one camel in the back from Ventus, and Ayubid camels and, uh, and cavalry can build rams and siege equipment, which is hilarious. They just get their little horse hooves and, and you know crunch all the wood together. Uh, yep. Yeah, so the raiding continues. Holy Roman Empire being really really passive here also. This is a weird game. People are being very defensive. Nobody wants to pull the trigger and try and take out their neighbors. Could be a long one. It could be. Um, Ezra's for sure gonna wander in the corner. He's just gonna like Ezra has a disgusting wander spot too. If he lumberjacks these trees out, he could just wander against his back wall, and then the only way to get to him is like through this choke point here and like a tiny choke point in the hills, which is really really tough to push. Okay, Quill is is finally popping out, but not until Ezra gets all the goodies. So Ezra's gonna lose a handful of villagers here, but it doesn't matter. Like twenty villagers are probably worth four thousand gold because you could just rebuild those and you know whatever food is food is uh, you know permanent basically. So, uh, yeah, I suspect maybe Quill was AFK. He was, like, you know, maybe walking his dog or something. I'm not sure. Uh, now we have a war starting. So, in the north, it's going to be the... Oh, look, he tried to build the town of Gashiba Gunsmith. That was the Wang's landmark. Wang tried. He got. He tried so hard and got so far. HRE Knight's going to be riding out to their doom. Going to be intercepting some camels. But the Holy Roman uh, Empire should be marshalling for war now. Those military is only 64. We don't see any cannons. We don't see anything super good. And down on the bottom side. Um, what do we got? Yeah, no action from uh, old Quill Boy. Wookiee and the English are duking it out. And uh, it seems like the English player was finally able to get his feet under him. So very well played the Thunder Knight. He was able to stabilize. And now Wookiee is going to learn the suffering that is pushing the English. It's just so miserable. There's nothing... I think there's... There's two extremely m miserable factions to push in this game for me. And one is the English and one is the Japanese. I would probably... I don't know who I'd rather deal with. I, I hate playing against Japanese because if you lose against them, your base is just dead. Like, if you lose any momentum, they just roll up with an Ozutsu stack. It's just like, oh, well, I guess all my eight keeps die in like 10 seconds. Whereas English, it takes more time. I would probably rather face English than Japan in Imperial Age. I mean... Yeah, I don't know. They're both pretty rough. England is also gets the infinite gold, which means they're going to be getting men at arm base armies and things like that. So, um, yeah, Wookiee might not be able to kill Thundernut easily. I mean, maybe after a while, Thundernut would lose some ground, but you could see uh, maybe if Thundernut starts getting some upgrades from his blacksmith, he's only 1 1, whereas his opponent is 3 3, right? And even still, he's doing pretty well. Those longbows just melting, absolutely melting the camels. So. Quill's hanging out. Um, up in the north, we see trade. 
Uh, cannons have been set up to deny the trade a little bit. And um, yeah, Quill just semi-AFK. Ezra being really passive too, which is not, I would say, a normal for him. He's usually pretty aggro. Although in this case, he probably has the whole corner of the map to himself. So I, I guess he's feeling confident that he doesn't need to do anything. He just lets everybody else kill each other. I mean, Ezra could literally just, you know, pull up a chair next to him. Like, if he has a TV in the room, he could put his feet up and just, like, look over every now and then to see if he's getting attacked and just bank resources. Like, straight up. Ezra could do that. Um, he's got a lot of resources in the back of his base. Now, this is very smart because um, Ezra is uh, saving these for later, right? It's like when a, when a dog buries a bone, you know, for hard times. Uh, so he's keeping these and just taking whatever resources he can on the map before he mines those out, which is a very, very good idea. So Quill does have his Mank and Towers up in the hills, and they are shooting into the houses of Ezra. Uh, he's got a small army gathered here. What's really good about Bizen memes, too, is they can get camel support. Yeah, so nearby infantry are going to get a buff, which is really strong. Byzantines definitely can uh, be quite powerful. But yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea. Old Wookiee definitely is not being friendly with the English, and it seems like they're, they have a bit of a ceasefire. Um, he's moving over here. Where is he going to go? Is he going to go through and attack to the north and leave the dreaded Thundernut in the, co the corner? I mean, Thundernut is a Chad, dude. He's going. Where is he pulling all these villagers, by the way? What's he doing? Oh, Thundernut is building military infrastructure and rebuilding his landmarks. Okay, so Thundernut is back in back in business, baby. Back in business. Now, up here, we got Ventus, the Abbasid Emperor. Well, I guess he would be the Sultan, right? Um, Emperor just sounds so cool. Sultan is also very cool. But yeah, trade is being shut down. It looks like uh, Quill is at least microing with one foot. Uh, he's moving some units up to the north. Quill's bank is pretty good. Um, 13,000, 12,000 olive oil is going to be able to produce units for a lot of time. Purple accepted yellow's peace terms and is now pushing Quill instead of yellow. Purple accepted yellow's peace terms and is now pushing Quill instead of yellow. Interesting. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. I, I suspect that Quill will be pretty okay here. Maybe he's going to mobilize, but how how can they not know? How can they not know? Yeah, purple and yellow are sharing trade, are they? Interesting. This game's getting real bonkers. I guess they're sharing the middle. Yeah, so Quill is upgrading a lot of these to be Manganel Towers, which is going to be super annoying to deal with. I mean, they're Mangos, which are very strong. And now he's starting to move again. So Quill is, is actually in the game. He's got Ghoul Arms with 10 armor, which is super jacked. And it looks like we're about to have a war. But is Yellow going to help is the question, because I think that Ventus will 100% lose to Quill, maybe. I don't know, he's got a good bank, but yeah, Quill's really good, if he's actually if, if he's actually not AFK. Okay, so here they come. Mango's going to be, oh man, just got a lot of damage there, took out a couple Mangonels. Cataphracts, Camel Archers, and Ghulam's going to be scooting up a big uh, boulder dropping on the head of that trader right there, as the armies do clash. Is Quill producing units? He is. He's got Bombards, Keshiks, and a multitude of other good units coming out. But this is a disastrous fight for the Abbasids. Because obviously they're fighting under Manganel Tower. Several of them. It looks like there's at least two or three of them there. I love that mechanic. Manganel Towers are so cool. But yeah, the trade is completely shut down. Yellow is certainly not helping in this duel. Um, Ezra, I mean, is just being handed this game on a silver platter. Um, you know, like 100%. Hey, no worries, Wang. I appreciate you trying, brother. Appreciate you trying to give us some in-game stuff. But yeah, they they don't have the reveal on elimination, um, so they can't really uh, tell what's going on with in-game stuff. The chat. Well, you can still see chat, right? Can you? I don't know. So is Quill, is he moving? Yeah, he's got units coming up. He's got hand cannoneers. Um, he's clearing out all the towers in the middle. The Dark Lord Ezra just gathering and just, like, literally playing a single-player game over there. He's just playing SimCity. Uh, I don't know why they wouldn't try and take down one of the stronger players in the lobby who's literally in a corner uncontested. You'd think they would have more game sense than that. Although, you know, some of the games we've shown, have, uh, you know, people get caught up in things. Maybe he just doesn't want a super sweaty duel or something. Okay, he's trade. Oh, look at that. Wait, what? So the old Wookiee is Siege and Quill in the back. Yeah, so the old Wookiee comes in. And he starts to kill Quill's trade, which is really interesting. I, I was under the impression that those guys were in some sort of an alliance there. But the old Wookiee actually shuts down his trade, which is pretty troll. Um, you can see he's able to trebuchet across the river here, so... I don't know if Wookiee wants to fight. Um, he's eyeing the English. Oh my god, Thundernut is coming for blood, dude! Look at, look at, look at the Thundernut! Okay, he's coming, dude. He wants to. He wants to not on the face of this uh, of this corner player here. We're gonna see if he's gonna be able to. Quill has asked Yellow and Purple to ally against Ezra. Okay, so at least Quill is seeing some 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 reason, which is 
I mean, Ezra needs to go right now. He is just going to win. He can even throw down a wonder sooner than later. Although, oh man, holding against like five people is just not doable. Unless you have the most broken spot ever. Yeah, so English setting up their walls again. Looks like they don't want to fight. Even though England could win this fight pretty decisively. This army sucks for Wookiee. Wookiee must be out of gold. Holy shit, yeah, Wookiee's got no gold. Thundernut could absolutely crush him. He could absolutely crush him. He's got a full gold army and... Uh, yeah, he's traveling now. He's traveling across the river. And we have a forever war here. So what's going to happen is once uh, Quill eventually wins this fight, which it looks like he's going to, uh, he's got the siege advantage. He's got um, the middle. He's got a lot going on. Double sacreds. So that's 200 gold a minute against the desert. And Ayubids suck, suck so bad in FFA. I mean, they're okay. They have some tricks they can do. If Ayubids can grab like seven relics, you can be a player in a game. But otherwise, they're just not very good. Um, I think Green is kind of giving up on that. Maybe he's going the other way. Is it going to go attack Quill? That's very interesting. Uh, that could save this player here. Because, yeah, honestly, purple's looking pretty dead to me. Quill, is that a keep being built by the Ayubids right in the face of a bunch of cannons? That is... Oh, no, that's a, that's a Byzantine keep. Okay. But what is Green doing is the question. Is, is Green going around to Wookiee's front door to try and get in there? Or is he going to be attacking into Quill and trying to save purple? A lot of interesting stuff here. A lot of interesting stuff. But Quill is definitely making ground. Bombard cannons are moving up. Uh, it's only a matter of time. You got the Varangian guards, the mighty uh, Norse uh, elite of the Byzantine Empire. And they're going to be doing battle with the Kulons and whatnot. Mangonels and Bombard cannons moving in. And what is Green doing? Green's gathering up here. Uh, as far as the Holy Roman Empire goes, they seem pretty... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a filthy spot, by the way. Uh, I don't know if he's going to have enough room. If he mines out that gold vein, he might. Okay, I love this. This is really, really good. That is great. Yep, so those bad boys are hanging down there and uh, looking around. What do we got? Yep, they're holding, but Quill, Quill maybe has stopped his push. No, he hasn't. He's got trade back online. It's a little bit of haggard trade, but it's better than nothing. Uh, Purple has mustered a defense force to battle Quill. And we could see a wonder sooner than later, um, for sure. With this this whole setup here, this is a very clear intent. And let's see what the stone looks like for uh, Tron. Okay, pretty good. 6,700 with 10,000 gold. He's currently getting 1,100 a minute just from relics, which is great. So you don't need to worry about too much. England pulling back. Uh, and up top, what do we got? Yeah, Quill is just slow, slow pushing this. But where is the rest of his army? Uh, Quill does have a 100 or 92 military supplies, so not an insane amount. But he has just delivered a pretty brutal blow to Ventus, and Ventus now has no food eco anymore, so that's pretty nasty. He's also raiding around the base with small units of uh, small kind of harrying forces. Back sacred site being taken, wood eco in the back being butchered by some of the Rangians and Ghulams and uh, units that have arrived in the backfield. Towers being built, and the slow push continues as uh, Quill attempts to demolish this uh, Abbasid player, which is really going to certainly, uh, I think, speed up the pacing of the game. Uh, we do. Oh my god, Ezra's got trade too. That's very strong. Another big wall coming down. I think Tron is just going to go for a wonder himself. I think he's not looking to get involved in any conflicts. Although, maybe he's actually going to come and try and kill the Abbasid here. We do see the uh, Camel Riders, so the Elite Desert Raiders of the Ayubids coming in to help. And now the fight is on. And we do see a big blunder by Quill. He loses a lot of his artillery there out of the gates, but he is going to be returning with hand cannoneers and uh, cataphracts and all sorts of goodies. Cataphracts, I feel, fall off really hard in late game unless you have like 50 of them. They're so expensive and they don't have a charge bonus. I mean, the trample is good and all, but the hand cannoneers are mowing them down. So Mango shots into the hand cannoneer blob. Pretty good damage. And the keep, of course, is still shooting away. Quill seems like partially committed to this. He doesn't seem like he's all in on this. The way he's playing is very relaxed. Um... I don't know. Maybe he's been boozing over there. Who knows? So Ventus has offered a single. I'm getting Rex line in chat. Yeah, that's that sounds like my level of politics. Uh, Ezra, in the meantime, layering up. And Ezra's got to have the bank to wonder. Oh, not enough stone at the moment. But Byzantines can get stone pretty easily. You just, you know, sacrifice, uh, you know, eight, nine, ten thousand 10,000 uh, wood. And you're going to be able to get the stone you need to wonder. Yeah, so people are all kind of preparing their goodies. And look at this. The English Thundernut. Here he comes, baby. Okay, he's finally upgrading his military. Attaboy, Thundernut. You're my boy! He's uh, getting a lot of longbow fire, and Wookiee's army is just getting melted by that longbow jacket. The DPS is pretty insane with the 40% uh, attack speed from the network, and Ram's coming in. I mean, he's just mowing down this wooden army. This is like literally a machine gun. The wall bone is like doing nothing here in this situation. A couple spring alts are out. The Mangadel's coming in. Trebuchet's also working on the keeps. Rams are up, and um, yeah, it looks like old Thundernut is, uh, is uh, getting the ground. Wookiee, let's look at his bank. He's got a really good bank, so Wookiee can suffer all day, which is what's going to be happening here. He's going to be suffering, which is dog shit units, and just feeding the old meat grinder until he runs out of resources. 
Now, why is Quill not going for the kill here? Players are all being very strangely passive this game. There must be some politics. Um, yeah, I, I suspect maybe they're going to ally against Ezra at this point. Okay. No, oh, that's why. Okay, that explains it. Okay, that makes sense. So he's going to be pulling back. Ezra has sounded the Warhorn. So Ezra is going to be raiding into Quill's base. And if Ezra can get a quick backstab on Quill, that would be brutal. Um, Quill's bank actually isn't very good either. It's only got 6,000 gold and uh, no eco, really. So Tower Elephant's coming out. The Chera Seafones are uh, starting to roast some buildings. Doing a little bit of a damage, as the French would say. Trebuchet is coming. And is uh, Ezra going to be sending a lot? No, he's only got 38 military. This is very much like a harrying force. It's not looking to be too destructive. So that means that Ventus is going to be able to live. Um, he is going to be stabilizing here, and that keep is probably going to be getting uh, deleted here soon. So Thundernut's Longbow Legions are moving. He's mustering a lot of troopers, so he's doing a good job pumping these bad boys out. Uh, Quill says, I'm pushing deep in Ezra's base. Remember who the real threat is, Ventus. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. So he's going to counter push Ezra, but that's not going to be easier said than done. Ezra has been banking for the whole game. He has 71,000 food, and if they just trade evenly, uh, Quill has 23,000. Quill will lose that eventually, assuming they trade evenly, right? So Quill's going to have to micro better, get better engagements, and uh, just, you know, maybe do a little bit of raiding somehow and get into uh, Ezra's eco to try and slow him down. But I don't know how that's going to happen. So they're moving across. Ezra getting a good backstab on Quill. Quill loses a lot of infrastructure out of the gates. He's producing a lot, and now the defenders have arrived. So the Chera Seafones, I believe they're squishier than Ram, which is kind of stupid. I feel like they, should, they cost gold. They should be just as tough, right? Ezra is setting up a keep, which is going to be very strong if it does get established, but I don't know if it will. Um, we do have some defenders nearby. Ezra needs to defend these guys, if at all possible, and um, probably cut some of his eco, because with his current um, 156 eco, he's not going to be able to do shit against uh, against Quill. Like, Quill will push him back and actually do damage to his base. This empire is just pure filth. It's just so big. Um, Ezra could probably afford to cut... I don't know, maybe some food eco, but you know, he's trading too. Maybe delete your traders. It's hard to say. But Quill's going to counter push him, and Quill might be able to win this because um, of the fact that Ezra is keeping his military so small, and Quill's going to have the superior numbers. So this is what we talked about, like having uh, favorable trades is the only way that Quill's going to win this fight, which it could be the case. Holy Roman Empire just chilling out. They are literally just taking the, uh, the dreaded uh, Netflix and chill approach here. Uh, they're going to have their wonder up in the corner once this eventually gets mined out. Uh, Thundernut and the old Wookiee having a bit of a stare down in the corner. Wookiee might run out of wood at some point. That's what she said. Um, uh, yeah, he's going to run out of wood eventually, and he's trapped in this corner. You know, Quill's got him pinned in, so he's going to have to, you know, settle this fight one way or the other. So here comes Quill moving in. And I would imagine Ezra has cut down his uh, his eco. Let's see. He has. So Ezra has cut down his eco now. So now he's going to be able to properly defend himself. He's down to 112, which is good now. So um, we're going to see if he's able to defeat Quill. He might be able to, based on you know the damage he did and Quill's uh, lack of uh, bank and resources. So Quill only has 4,000 gold and one gold income. So that's pretty brutal. He does have the double sacred site, which is going to be 200 gold a minute. But, like, if these players both play to their maximum capabilities, um, Ezra should win this, just simply because he's got the bigger bank. Quill's probably the stronger player 1v1 overall. Um, I think Ezra's around Conquer 1 level. I'm not, I'm not sure. But Quill, I've, uh, Quill is like, take, you know, you can catch him on ladder every now and then, taking on the pros and doing very well. But, it, it, I mean, money's money. It doesn't matter. If you're playing a Conquer 1 or Conquer 2 player, which Ezra probably is, uh, and they just have way more than you, it's not going to matter. They're going to drown you in resources. Oh, the big gulp's coming in. The Chatterfracts are healing. Ezra, with a very, very clean charge, just demolishes the much smaller army of Quill. And Quill is uh, probably in serious danger. I mean, unless somebody rides to his aid, I I could actually see Ezra wondering if he manages to defeat, to defeat Quill. Yeah, Quill pulling back his ranks. That Chatterfract charge from Quill was really, really good. And um, Ezra's comp 3, too. Okay. So in that case, it's going to be definitely heavily favoring Ezra in that case. Yeah, I, I mean, I always suspected Ezra was at least Kong 2. He's very, very good. Very, very good. All right, so Lehman and I are here. Guns blasting away. And uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it's looking tough. It's looking tough. Old Quill's going to have a hard fight here. His bank is maintaining, but Dark Hunter Ezra's bank is much better. 62, 30, and 10. And we got a lot of Chera Seafones coming in. Yeah, a lot of ram pressure. If Quill loses this fight, you know, his base could be forfeit. This is going to be a very important fight here. No spring alts, no heavy artillery to support. 
And here comes the fight. Are we going to be seeing the counter charges? Hand cannoneers. Yeah, Ezra's just so much richer. Nice trample there. That was pretty good. Got a lot of the hand cannoneers. But I feel like the trample is like overrated. I mean, it does in, uh, imbue a vulnerability to damage. Manganel shooting away. And we do see the shield wall boys pushing in to go after the artillery. Very good. Very good. The Dew host is coming. Or the, uh, the flamethrower, flamethrower shot. Prime is saying Ezra is not concrete. Okay, we're, we're getting some, some conflicting information from chat. I would say he's at least Conk 1, though, at least. Um, his micro is, very, is pretty good. All right, so Rams pushing in. Infrastructure is going down for Quill. Quill does have adequate infrastructure in the rest of his base, and he is able to uh, push these bad boys back. So Quill uh, valiantly defending his base. And I don't think if he doesn't get help, though, he's going to be in big danger. And we do see the Ayubids just resecuring their land. Meanwhile, the Eternal Duel of Fates is here. We see the Thundernut and the old Wookiee battling it out on the bottom, and it's just kind of a 100-year war here. Nobody's going to win that. So really, it's going to come down to this fight. I think this fight is going to be really deciding for the lobby. Um, it looks like Ezra does have the better production. He's got a lot of just stuff just pumping and pumping. And he's got the Chera Seafoam momentum, which is just putting so much pressure on old Quill here. As Quill starts to lose building after building, which is going to be correlating to smaller um, reinforcement pools, right? So looking at the bank, Ezra's bank is quite good. Quill is down to 16. He's actually supply block too, so his armies are going to be a little bit smaller. But he's mustering very well. I mean, obviously he's a comp 3 player, so he's going to be able to do it. And uh, Ventus just says, I'll remind people Ezra uh, loves 3-hour games so he can make super turtle pieces. <laughs> yeah. It's turn when someone is doing the Ramstein Byzantines, you should call it the... Yeah, there you go. That's also another name of a Ramstein song. All right, fight continues. And we get the Vrangian guards coming in with their battle axes looking super badass. Bases are getting roasted. The cistern, cistern network being partially disrupted. We do see the Golden Horn Tower also being lit on fire here. And, uh, oh, look at the battle axe Chad Varangians. They're just the coolest shit. Oh. Why does it say maces? Yeah, there you go. There's the axe right there. So they lose a little bit of armor, but they do get um, faster movement speed when they're, like, chasing shit, if I'm not mistaken. So here comes the second wave, and Quill's going to be trying to set up a great wall here, and the English are besieging. We have a lot of trebuchets moving in. It's going to be four trebs. Definitely want to pull those back. Uh, old Wookiee is definitely uh, hanging in there like a champ. His army quality is way worse. If the walls get taken down. The English might be able to storm it. We'll have to see. We see double keeps coming down here from the Byzantines in the north. So we have the Byzantine olive oil civil duel, civil war. And, um, and yeah, it is on. It is on indeed. The old armies of Quill. Uh, holding him back for now. He's got some hui hui pals. I love it. So he's got the hui hui pals, the ones that, and they shoot Greek fire too. That's that's some really really good flavor. But yeah, we see the base getting heavily 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 pressured. Uh, Holy Roman Empire is just preparing for a wonder, like I said. Uh, as a matter of fact, nope, not getting cannon towers here. I suspect that might be the case. Yeah, we see cannon towers all over here. Holy shit. This Holy Roman base is going to be really really hard to push. So yeah, Tron is clearly you know living his power fantasy. I'm just building up a uh, filthy empire there. He's he's living it. He is living it. All right. So keeps probably not going to be built, and we're going to see another wave of attacks. Ezra might need to delete more eco if he wants to really close the deal. He's coming in with smaller armies. Uh, he's sitting at what 81 military supply, whereas Quill is sitting at what Quill is sitting at 106. So Quill is getting slightly favorable engagements here. We see the Hui Hui Pao shooting into the walls and uh, launching the Greek fire. I feel like Greek fire should be a special upgrade for the Byzantine keeps, where they use Greek fire to like launch at sieging attackers and stuff like that. I think that would be really, really cool. All right, so knocking down the gatehouse there with the Hui Hui Pals. Uh, Thundernut and Homeboy having just the ultimate duel of fates here. It's only a matter of time before the English wins this, though. England is just so superior to the, um, well, I guess Bassett are pretty good late game if they have gold, but he doesn't have gold. It's, like, so tough. Wookie might be able to survive just because of his player experience. It's tough. Yeah, don't, don't put a lot of credence in team in people's team rank. Team rank is super cheesy. There's a lot of, like, dodging and dodging of hard teams, and it's just, it's not. Team ranked is not nearly as, it's way easier to get Conqueror in um, team ranked than it is 1v1. That is for sure. All right, so Desert Raiders and uh, the Ayubids are coming to attack Ezra, it looks like. Maybe they're going to answer the call. Um, more than likely, though, they just want to secure trade. Um, he's sitting at the Holy Roman base. What is this? We got like 500 Desert Raiders sitting here. It's not 535, obviously. A bit of an uh, exaggeration, but what are they doing here? This is very strange. The HRE uh, just sitting and bathing in gold. And that's one good thing about playing like a weak sieve is people aren't going to go after you as much. But it looks like Ezra could get 2v1 here, which... 
if Ezra starts to get 2v1, his best play is to slap down the Wonder, 100%, um, and just go for the dub. Because he's got the corner spot. I think he's going to have to do that. If he starts getting 2v1, it, it, it makes no sense not to 2v1 him, right? He's a Dark Wizard in the corner. He's been banking, he's been uncontested the entire time. Yeah. So the fight is on. Ezra coming out with his Streltsy army. How cool is that? So using the mercenary system to get the Streltsy. So the Bruce hand cannon here is doing some big damage. We do see the keep getting nuked immediately. Quill was paying attention, and Quill does have the superior artillery core. So Streltsy going to be forced back behind the walls. The shield wall of the Elimits and I is very good, mitigating their damage by 50%. And, um, yeah. I actually gate gatekept you from getting Conqueror. I ran into his roost. Oh, <laughs> really? That's so funny. I, I am the gatekeeper of Conqueror. I, I sit in the low pits of Conqueror, and I just, I only the worthy may pass. That's how we do it. But I, I never get too high. I'm always just around like Conk 1. It's, it's pretty good. Yeah, so HRE chilling out, and the Ayubids are coming for Ezra's base. So is Ezra going to slap down the Wonder is the question. We don't see villagers being pulled or anything like that. Um, he's pulling back into his base, and now he's probably going to start politicking. You know, complaining, asking for help, whatever. Uh, we see a neutral market in the middle, which is going to be destroyed. So, oh, that was Wang's old market. Wow, what a what a nice find for Ezra. But that gravy train's going to be shut down. So, do we see him go here? Quill is going to be pushing him as well. So, Ventus and um, it looks like Ventus and Quill are going to be two v one Ezra, or at least trying to. And if you're Ezra, do you just wander here? Probably, right? Like, probably you just go wander and just hope and pray. Because, like, green and, and orange are too far away to help. So, basically, for Ezra, it's a 3v1, which is doable if you have a really, really good defense and really good choke points and stuff like that. Oh, my God. The Strelsi are just doing so much damage. Oh, my God. Look at this army just getting mowed down. Talk about a brutal blast. Yeah, man. That's, that's, that's a lot of DPS right there, ladies and gentlemen. Over to the south side. What do we got? We got this, uh, this stone wall gate going down. As we're trying to rewall, but first he's got to deal with that Abbasid army, and it looks like he did. He might as well stay and keep fighting there. Yeah, he's getting back onto the walls, which is smart. Holy Roman Empire not looking to help anybody. Just just greeting up in the corner, which makes sense. He better hope that his wonder actually fits here. There's a chance, yeah, it should. With this gold node being gone, it should fit. Oh god, hold on. Ah! Oh! That was a weird one. So Ezra apparently is saying, I helped you, Ventus. Why are you back? Seven me, Quill, bro. I attacked you first. Don't lie. I chose to attack you. Okay. So Ezra trying to politic his way out of this one. He's going to lose some cannons if he's not careful here. Uh, some of those guys being left to their own devices. And um, Ventus is kind of, kind of, you know, pulling back at this point. His army's going to be defeated. And uh, Ezra is going to be able to resume his efforts on Quill. But is he going to pull the Panic Wonder, as I like to call it? Is he going to pull the Panic Wonder? That wasn't that loud of a sneeze. That was, that was not the not the record yeah I, I you know when you the thing is when you get to your uh, when you get to your 30s I found that when I got to like maybe 34 35 I'm 35 now that the sneeze has become louder I don't know what it is but there's something that just that just that just changes in the biology and the structure of your body where it just gets more old and haggard you know what I'm saying so yeah quill is is really good I mean it's gonna be a terror stopping him he's got a nice battle line of nest of bees he's pushing up into the base uh, Ezra does not have the spring alds or the defenses that he needs, and we still have this awful, awful stalemate here. Look at this. Um, I mean, he's getting 2v1 and he has the corner to himself. I mean, obviously, he needs to be dealt with. And he moves in once again. He gets a nice flank. Really, really good flank by Ezra. He actually flanks in with all these horsemen and surrounds and kills like all... Wow, big blunder by Quill. Quill lost a shit ton of artillery there that he definitely didn't need to lose if he just kept them a little bit safer. But, um, yeah. Yeah. It, it's how it works, Wicked. You know, they just, the sneezes get louder as you go. Over on the east side, what do we got? Yes, we see the uh, Ayubids kind of poking out, you know, prodding, exploring their opportunities. I think Ezra has grown tired of aggression. I think he's going to just kind of pull back and defend now. Now that he's being attacked on two fronts and just going to be trying to trade cost effectively. Quill, of course. Any sneakiness in the hills. He could do some sneaky sneaky here. You could definitely, um, if Quill wanted to, he could do a Ramstein split pushback here and get into the farm eco and all that. Looking at Ezra's bank, it's still really good, but definitely not. Okay, he doesn't even have enough to wander at this point. The Holy Roman Emperor definitely is more of the wonder tyrant. Is he going to do it? This would be such a Chad wonder, but there's no way he would hold it. In my opinion. All right, guys. The Thunder Nut and the Wookiee dueling it out. But Wookiee is, I think, microing a little bit better with his artillery. He perpetually picks off the arty of the English. But the English armies win. But then he just pulls back behind his walls. Um, so I think that's kind of the nature of this trade here. But the English defenders, obviously, men-at-arms will dominate spearmen and also archers. So they are going to be very, very good. 
Can wait till you're 40 in season, you throw your back out. I know, I'm excited. Lots to look forward to in life, guys. So it's the English Army. They should push their momentum here. I mean, they just won a very decisive fight. Need to get some towers up here, and yes, they are going to move, and they can also rush their longbows on the walls if they win this fight, which will be very disruptive. So there they go, and um, Thundernut continues his duel of fates here. Uh, we see him lumberjacking here, just trying to make a little bit of space, perhaps. And the Holy Roman Army looked like it was going to move out, but decides to just kind of chill out on its base. And yeah, Quill and Ezra are going to be uh, just duking it. It's just going to be a, a miserable war of attrition between these two. And Quill is going to slow push him. Problem for Quill is I don't know if he has any gold. Yeah, he's got a little bit. No, I think he just ran out. There is a gold note over here with 14 gold in it. So Quill is going to be out of gold. Ezra still has some in the back of his base. So Ezra does have that advantage, but Quill is a very strong player. So he's, uh, he's going to probably be able to hold and trade effectively. And they both have olive oil, which is nice. They both have olive oil. So they're going to have decent quality armies going forward. We do see the... Oh, look at that. The Greek fire is actually uh, hitting the peasants working on the ground here. Wood is being traded in the middle. And um, yeah, he's got a lot of workers up here. Certainly ready to slap down a wonder. I think if you delete that, yeah, you can get a wonder there. But building a wonder while there's this many players alive in the game is just going to be extremely foolish. Longbows and men-at-arms moving up. The English need to get another tower. They're missing out on their attack speed, so the trades aren't going to be quite as brutal as they were. And you could use the arrow volley here. Reduce Longbow's time to attack by one. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, that's quite good. The Abbasid, man, Wookiee is just throwing him into the old meat grinder here. Holy shit. Uh, wood on the bottom is almost out. So Wookiee has a wood bank, but he is he's going to be running out very, very soon. And then that Forever War is just going to be pure hell for him. He's going to have to sell food to buy units, and it's just going to be bad. So eventually the English will win this. Eventually. They're pouring in reinforcements. You do get the tower up, so now the archers are going to be popping off here. And, I mean, this trading is so massively inefficient for the uh, for the Ayyubids or the Vassid. What you want to do if you're the English, too, is get your archers up on the towers here and just get the, uh, the bonuses of being up on a wall and shooting and all that sort of good stuff. So they keep blasting away. Uh, Quill and Ezra having a duel of fates, and now we see the Lemans and I being pulled out. So Lemans and I are going to be intercepting the flank there, and they do intercept Ezra's horsemen flank. Nest the bees partially going to get compromised here, and probably should run behind the gatehouse. But the hand cannoneers trying to cover them, mowing down a lot of the horsemen, and Ezra takes a very, very rough trade there. Uh, does lose a lot of his army, but does manage to get a couple nests of bees. But at what cost? He's probably going to lose all these Streltsy. I love that the foreign engineering company is being used also. That's pretty pretty badass. But yeah, Streltsy going to get wrecked here. Uh, tower elephants are also on the way up as well. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, that was a good trade. But Ezra has seven cannons chilling here. Jesus, what is he going to do with those? English are making momentum for the first time. He's taking advantage of the walls, which is smart. That means horsemen can't get to them because their little hooves can't go up the uh, ruined walls. So, um, yeah. The grind continues, and Old Wookiee is uh, keeping... He's 5,000 food a minute! The Bassett Food Eco is insane. They do have some really good upgrades for food. Um, they have 15%, plus the Golden Age gives a big boost, too, to their gather rate. But, yeah, he's going to run out of wood is his problem. Spamming archers and spearmen is very wood-intensive. So, yeah, England just needs to keep this momentum up and not give up, and uh, eventually they'll get the dub here against the Old Wookiee, and that's going to be giving the English... Uh, look, they got some farms up in the hills. Very cute. Yeah, they could do a wonder up here too, maybe. I think they could. Yeah, the Cathedral of St. Thomas, I think, is their wonder, right? All right, so turn. A pretty simple uh, string. Uh, Tron says, Ezra, how you doing? Ezra says, dying, quill, you liar. Yeah, so they're just they're just bickering and, you know, spreading misinformation. Classic modern warfare tactics. Apparently still works in the... Uh, they're sending little carrier pigeons and telling one another that, uh, you know, these false lies and all the subterfuge and treachery, but it looks like Quill is uh, going to get pushed back, and this is going to be a nasty forever war, I think. But it could be broken. The stalemate could be broken. if Ventus decides to come over there and help. Down to the bottom, the old English just being uh, English, you know, spamming units and not giving a shit. They have another tower up. A lot of reinforcements. They need to make sure to move them in. More towers being set up in the base here. A lot of horsemen being spammed out. Wookie is uh, currently on no... Yeah, look, look at his wood draining. That's for pretty bleak, ladies and gentlemen. Men at arms getting in. Archers on the walls are super clutch. Those horsemen are obviously a good counter against them, but they can't get on the wall, so that's pretty big. Villagers get another uh, tower up here. Look, even the villagers are fighting with their bows. They're going to be jumping in the tower there, which is smart. So lots and lots of troopers coming. Those men at arms up trading super hard. Horsemen not able to get to the archers. We'll keep making spring alts. He's down to 9,000 wood and no wood income whatsoever. I mean, there's a couple like straggler trees around, but not enough to sustain an army. That is for sure. Here they come, boys. We got a lot of archers shooting away. Men at arms piling forward to do the dirty. And man, valiant defense by Wookiee. You know, he's fighting a massively stronger economy. 
that is not going to have any problems whatsoever, uh, comparatively speaking, but this is a, this is a tough hold. We'll pan between the various conflicts. Um, it looks like Rams are going to be getting into Ezra's base here. So Ezra's just got like an unholy empire. It's like, it's all over the place. And it uh, looks like Quill's been forced back. Quill still is going to be maintaining a push here. And we do see a split push coming in the back. So uh, yeah, Quill attempting to split push with some Chara Seafoam. Might be able to get in and do some work. And uh, an attempted counter wall here from Ezra. So he's trying to keep the Chara Seafoams from getting through. But they're probably going to get torched down. So won't matter too much. But Ezra's time on this earth could be over. Uh, we do get the ramps pushing on the side, and that's going to be a lot of pressure under this infrastructure. And if uh, Quill continues his momentum, that might be enough to get the job done. The Abbasid, holding on. 6,000, they're about to run out of steam, though. Uh, is this going to be one of those situations where the English player, like, realizes, like, he gives up before he gets, like, he's, like, an inch away from victory and he just gives up and stops pushing? Like, if he keeps draining the resources of the Abbasid like this, he can, uh, he can definitely win, definitely win. Tron's looking like a heavy favorite to win right now because of this. He's got, like, a disgusting cannon nest, and he does also have the Palace of Swabia safely in the corner. Um, so he's looking like a big favorite right now. Archers on the wall still getting some good damage. English might need to gather up their troopers again and kind of hang tight. We'll see. Uh, he does have some uh, units hanging idle there. Archers still mowing away on whatever they can, but yeah. Well, he's down to 4,000 wood, ladies and gentlemen. That's really, really bleak. Oh, there's sacreds. There's several. There's three. Uh, as far as sacreds go, Quill has two of them. So one here, one here, and one back here. So there's three sacreds. So the English are getting, uh, getting a little forward momentum. They need to gather up their armies before they uh, just keep throwing them into the meat grinder. You know, gather up a 200 sack or, you know, 200 supply worth of uh, whatever your current pool is. And we get the rear charge coming in. This is going to be really good because these Desert Raiders, if they draw their swords, they will absolutely wreck horsemen. They have uh, 13 melee armor, so horsemen literally will do nothing against them. Although, do they have the range? Yeah, they do have the range profile, so horsemen actually will do okay against them. Uh, we see Quill pushing up from the south, working. Ezra going to be meeting the Camel Legions, but we'll be taking massive casualties in the process. Uh, Ezra currently sitting on a pretty good bank, but yeah, he probably should have just Desperation wandered when he had the stone, but it doesn't look like he has it anymore. So Ezra's probably going to lose on a couple frontiers here. Um, we do see Quill pushing up very cautiously, uh, very, very cautiously. The Limited Iron Company are doing it, but that is a nice camel army here by Ventus, and it trades super effectively. Kills a lot of units, and now the camels, they could switch their bows and pull back. We do see the defenders on the wall for Ezra being taken down. Meanwhile, on the top side, it has been rewalled, so he has been very, very on top of that. And the rams are going to be moving in, and the camels are fighting desperately. Villagers being pulled. Meanwhile, on the bottom side, are we going to be seeing another English push? I don't know if um, Wookie can hang with another push like that. He's got 9,000 wood and no way to escape. Like, he's completely corralled in by other players. So, you know, it's a blessing and the curse of a corner, right? Although Ezra managed to take enough of the map that it didn't matter too much, but... Camels and rams are moving, and we do see the Byzantines from the south of Quill moving in to engage against Ezra's forces. Ezra's starting to lose ground, 100%. And we are going to see these camels go and do some raiding and probably build some rams, because they can build rams since they are Ayubid, which is really, really cool. And yeah, uh, Ezra's on the back foot, 100%. He's going to be hemorrhaging resources as he, as he tries to muster here. His eco is very low, it's at 68, so he deleted a ton of eco to try and match the military might of these two players, but... Yeah, you can't you can't lose too much ground from uh, from old Quill. It's, it's going to be hard to recover if he gets it. Ezra says, someone wonder already, how about Tron? <laughs> I vote we team Tron. Uh, Terrence says, Tron, I can't afford a wonder. I have Aachen and no wood. Uh, let's see how, how much... Of, and, and yeah, that's like definitely not true. I love it. I mean, of course Tron. Tron wouldn't want to tell the truth. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of, I mean, this is, oh my god, oh my god. This is like pure insanity, guys. This is going to be so disgusting to try and take. Tron probably wins this, right? Like, if Ezra dies, he just goes wonder and wins. Would be my guess. Because then it's like, green and, and orange can't get to you. Like, they'd have to go through other players' bases, which is a logistical nightmare. So, if Tron just, if Ezra dies and Tron just wonders, it's just GG. Yeah, it's just going to be GG. Yep, so the momentum continues. We see the Valiant Defenders of the North, the Byzantines of Ezra, trying to hold back the push. Uh, and the Camel Master, is he still riding around with camels? Nope, looks like they got hunted down. And Ezra might be able to find a way to hold this. Is he going to try and snipe the trebuchets? Hard to tell. Um, that is uh, not his main town center. It is a tertiary one, so it's one of the secondary ones. More and more units coming for Quill. Quill's bank is okay. It's not amazing, but it's it's enough. You know, he's got, he's got 107 economy. Must be doing some trade, yeah, so Quill is trading. 61 a pop is actually a pretty good trade route. Meanwhile, the Holy Roman Empire is also trading for 41, too. All right, so it looks like this attack is going to get folded up. 
good cavalry flank by Ezra. He's going to get all that expensive artillery. Um, he did lose a lot of ground, but until Purple remasses and brings another army back, he's probably going to be okay. Ironically, Purple's probably getting a lot of his army for free because he's using the military wing reinforcement, so it's kind of cool. He just waits and then he comes when his army is like fully replenished, right? So a lot of ground taken. Meanwhile, um, Ezra is doing a little bit of pushing of his own on the side, and Quill's trying to trying to defend that. It's a bit of an opening into Quill's base here too. He probably wants to wall this if he can. He's got some horsemen coming over. Going to try and diminish this, but I do like this little split push here by Ezra. Yeah, so Wookie is a Bassett, correct. You can see on the right-hand side of the screen, you're going to be able to see the uh, banner that the respective faction has. So yeah, England needs to get in and, and roll into Wookiee. I mean, the longer you let the Wookiee sit, he's going to be able to um, maybe find a way to get out of this pre precarious situation he's in. Yeah, England can definitely just get him if they just keep just brute forcing. Although Triple Mangadel might be able to turn the fight in his favor under choke point. And potentially could. Up in the north, yep, Holy Roman Empire, guys. If the Holy Roman Empire doesn't get to build a wonder after all this, that's going to be so absurd. Yeah, Green is winning this fight 100% because Wookiee has no wood left. All he has is food, so he's not going to be able to make shit. Like, if his army gets wiped, like, like two or three more times, and he just has to rebuild from there, he's not going to be able to, and it's going to be it. And, uh, yep, looking on the bottom, what do we got? We have uh, Quill moving into the north, still trying to ch trying to fight old uh, old uh, Ezra. Ezra has, I believe, the second highest score in the game. And now the English army is moving in, but the trebuchets are going to be, uh, not trebs, but the mangoes are going to be quite brutal. Yeah, pull him back a little bit and then engage on your terms. There you go. Get some longbows. You might need some spring alts if you can, or some trebs to try and siege this down. You might as well just force him out. Just bleed him out, you know. He's running away, which I think is a mistake. Just trying to fight. There you go. All right. You know, just eat those mangonels like champs. You can afford to. And Wookiee can't. Every unit Wookiee loses is just, like, really, really felt, right? But, yeah, the siege is able to hold, so he's, uh, he's using a very brilliant tactician chip. Wookie's a very scrappy player. A very, very scrappy player. Um, HRE, yeah, there you go. That's good. That's what I like to see, baby. That's nice. That's like good fundamentals right there. And like he could wonder here. It'd be kind of hard to hold against all three, though. Although the Ambassador are just sending Desert Raider armies, which is so funny. There's the free units, and then they just like pour into Ezra's base. And, you know, they could, they could go up in the hills here and maybe like try and push up through this way. We'll have to see. Quill, in the meantime, is still, uh, you know, pushing in. Villagers being produced. And what are they killing there? Okay, they're doing a little bit of work. Oh no, the aqueducts are leaking. The Empire's in trouble. Now, where is the rest of Quill's army? He doesn't have a whole lot. It's a very small force. Ezra really looking like kind of like a dominant dominant in these fights. The Western mercenaries doing really well. The uh, the endgame Western mercenaries are definitely better than the uh, Silk Road mercenaries. Because Silk Road is really good early with Keshex and Gulams, but it falls off late game because of the uh, tower elephants aren't that useful for their olive oil. Whereas having a blob of handgunner units for free, like Streltsy is so good. Hmm. Yeah. So, what is Yellow up to? Yeah, he's, he's hanging. It looks like he's clashing with the Holy Roman Empire here, which is uh, an interesting one. Are we going to get any wonders soon? I don't think so. And we see the Jewel of Fates in the bottom. He's draining. Wookiee only has 3,700 wood, so he's very, very low on wood now. And uh, I don't know if England is know, knows this or is like thinking of that. Are they making any siege of their own? It doesn't look like it. No, nope, just like nasty choke point fights. If England could just get some trebuchets across the river and just shoot these walls down and create more openings, that would that would definitely be very good. So in the middle, it looks like uh, Purple is attacking Quill. No, or he's just running from the Holy Roman Empire. Maybe the HRE is going to try and make a play at Purple and go for the kill there. So, so far, we only have two players gone. Still a six-player lobby. So it's been a pretty sweaty one. Hey, Sandman. Hope you're doing well from Bangladesh, man. Cheers. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. By the way, where are all you folks from? We got people from all around the uh, the world. I'm always curious about different time zones, you know, when we stream. This one did start at 1.30, so it started about four hours ago, so. Yeah, I think four hours ago? Yeah, we've been going a little under five hours. Ezra offered to protect uh, a yellow wonder a bit ago because he was getting teamed. Okay. So the salt is flowing. I like it. I respect it. Um, he's not really getting teamed even that hard. I mean, if you want to see what getting teamed likes, look, look back at some of the previous games we've had here. This first time you've cashed it live. Yeah, live is really fun, man. I don't know what it is. Um, I don't know what it is, but yeah. So we got Hawaii right on, man, right on. Been there a couple times. Australia, East England, Ohio, Anchorage, Alaska. Speaking of, my wife and I are watching True Detective, which takes place in Alaska. The Darkness. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's good. It's not the best season, but it's good so far. Montana, Pennsylvania, Georgia, Denver, Colorado, Sweet Carolina. <laughs> hey, we got a wonder from Tron. 
Oh my god, are you guys ready to see the suffering as they try and get this wonder? Okay, guys. Seven. Yeah, it's pretty early in Bangladesh, huh? Cool, man. Right on. Well, I'm happy to have you on the stream, man. I hope life's treating you well. Hope everything's going your way. Wish you good fortune. And the horsemen flanking from the north. Now, Ezra, is Ezra going to help him? That would be extra villainous. Personally, I wouldn't if I were Ezra, because I would want to try and win. Like, if you're in Ezra's shoes right now, you, you help a little bit against the Wonder, maybe enough to get it down, but then you backstab Quill, right? And afterwards. Like, I, I don't know why he wouldn't. Um, so Ezra is swearing to defend against Quill, so that's probably just going to be GG then. There still are, like, three other players who could go after the Wonder, but like I said, logistically speaking, how are these two going to do it? Wookie has nothing. Wookie is just a poor beggar in the corner. Green could be formidable, but... Good luck getting across the map. I mean, look at this shit. It's just like a zoo, dude. It's just an absolute zoo. Yeah. All right. We got folks shouting out where they're from. From Australia, Ukraine. Hope you're, uh, hope you're staying safe, man. Um, and uh, what do we got? Cool. That's probably GG. I mean, dude, here's the thing. Even if, even if you got all these players to go after this, it's like, they're not going to get it. These are actually all legitimate cannon towers, and so are, like, most of these. Yeah, upgraded, upgraded, Jesus. All, like, most of these are cannon towers. And HRE's bank is probably pretty insane. Yeah, it's only 3,000 gold, actually, but he does have good passive gold, certainly enough. Ezra's upholding his promise. He's fighting Quill. Yeah, it's pretty silly. Well, Quill is also still pushing into him. You know what I'm saying? Maybe if Quill tried to lay the, the olive branch down, I know Ezra might not be the most reasonable, but you could you could try and you could try and lay down the olive branch, be like, hey, I'll pull back, let's let's go after him or whatever, you know. Like I, Ezra should not be surprised at getting two v one when he's been in the corner, not fighting anybody the entire time, you know. He refused peace from Quill. He's helping the Wonder Defense. Interesting. Well, you know, it is what it is. Uh, there's still three players that are going to be able to push. We do see the orange army coming to the north and villagers. So Wookiee is going to be trying to help. And maybe Wookiee can pull a lot of bills and find some wood on the map, right? So he can get back in the game. And it is going to be, um, let's see, what is it going to be? All right. Where are we at? All right. We got the desert raiders here. I mean, I don't think they could even get it if they all teamed up. Maybe, maybe. If they all teamed up and Quill was able to push from the middle, they might have a chance at it. Maybe. Otherwise, it's going to be very, very tough. It's going to be very, very tough. Uh, over to the west side. Looks like the army's pulling back. Maybe if you pull back. Quill has no angle and Ezra's front spied him. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a tough one for Quill. It's a very tough one. But, uh, you know, Quill maybe should have attacked him earlier before he got so strong. I mean, after he took out Naniori, he kind of sat AFK for a long time. Instead of, uh, you know, continuing the momentum, he could have maybe killed Ezra earlier. But They're both pulling back. I mean, I would assume Ezra wants to win. You know, I would assume he does. A lot of trebuchets. Ooh, I like this a lot from the Abbasid here, or the Ayubid. That's a big trebuchet legion. It's a nice little split push. Can kind of work up the side, but... Dude, this is such an unholy wonder. Yeah, True Detective Season 1, yeah, with Matthew McConaughey and, um, and, uh, and uh, Woody, uh, Woody Harrelson. Yes. That's my wife's favorite. I, uh, she, 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 she'll, like, you know, swear by that one. The other True Detective Seasons are nowhere near as good, in my opinion. Yeah. So they keep moving, they keep grooving. Uh, really, really good play by Wookie, by the way. It seems like, okay. I thought Ezra was gonna blood feud with him all day, but it would appear Ezra wants to try and push too, okay. So Ezra is gonna go north, despite all the, you know, chest pounding and uh, this stuff, it looks like he is gonna be moving north. Yeah, so he's gathering, they've stopped fighting. I mean, you gotta play to win. You don't wanna be that guy, dude. You're just gonna develop a reputation where people will probably just go after you every game if you do that. All right, so they're gonna move up this way and um, Yeah, maybe he's gonna move north. Yep. Looks like he's gonna move and fight So we have a standard wonder attack and it hasn't been a long doubt. It hasn't been around that long Yeah, ten minutes and everyone's pretty much at his gates already. Yeah, I've enjoyed night country Yeah, the most recent true detective show. It's been fun. It's a little bit of a slow It's a bit of a slow burn, but that makes sense considering the climate and the environment and kind of the ambience of it Yeah, so they're all going for it. Um, even Ezra is gonna go up and attack here so he's got his legions. And um, yeah, and uh, Quill also going to be mustering an army and pushing. I mean, that's a lot of bombards. And we'll see how good the Holy Roman defense is going to be. Uh, Holy Romans probably could delete all their food eco. 
So if you're the HRE player, I would delete all my food eco at this point. Just get a max out army to fight on multiple fronts. I think that would be uh, would be quite good. On the south side, we do see the English moving. But guys, this is... Oh, God. Look at the filth. Look at this filth. I love this so much. I love this so much. Oh, God. He's got culverins on the high ground. When enemy artillery comes and tries to move up, he's just going to be able to, like, rip shots into them. He's got bombards. He's probably not going to defend the low ground super, super heavily. Um, how long do we have on the Wanderer? So we got 9 minutes and 32 seconds. It's going to be a long time, for sure. So Ezra is gathering at the gates, but he's, he's getting his chair of sea phone, so he does have his ramps pushing. Um, it looks like peace has been made on this side, so Ezra and Quill have, have uh, they've, they've uh, made up. Kissed and made up here. And up in the north, we do have the Abbasid slowly working through some of the static defenses. Also, the uh, Ayyubid moving in and trying to landmark snipe, which is very smart. Very, very smart. And up top, is this going to be in range of Trebs? It's not. So he's pretty safe from landmark sniping. There's going to be a lot of suffering getting up to that. But nine minutes is a long-ass time. We're going to see how well they coordinate. The Holy Roman Empire probably needed to put up more of a fight on the low ground. Currently, um, he does have a lot of military. Where is his military? His military is very heavily tied up in uh, Siege up here. But yeah, he needs to get all these these defenders and be fighting, like trying to fight off the attacking armies. Uh, I think that's got to be the way to do it. This is a bit of a weak point, I guess, but I mean, there's still a lot of cannons up here. We're going to have to see. The players don't know what the map looks like, so they have no idea what that's going to be. HRE moving down to try and fight the uh, Ayubids. And the Hand Cannoneer is doing some good damage. HRE Men at Arms going to go diving. He's trying to torch the Trebs, which is a good call because they are the counter against his, uh, his equipment there. And uh, Relics. See, this is the problem. You always bring your Relics to the back before you wonder. Because now he's going to lose that passive gold income. And also, Wolo Lows are very clutch for like defending and stuff. But alas, it ain't going to happen. So Rams are moving. And now we see the Siege Death Stars. Is he going to start sniping? Hmm, I, you know what? He's probably not going to hold this. He's probably not going to hold it. The, I'm really impressed at how well everyone got here. Look, even the English chat is on his way. And he's moving in. This is probably, aside from that little squabble with um, Quill and Ezra, this is one of the better wonder responses I've seen. Like, everyone is here with armies. Everyone brought siege equipment. And everybody is knocking on Heaven's door here. But now we're going to see if the disgusting high ground is going to be able to hold. I mean, maybe. That is a lot. Oh, my God. That's so much shit. And he has emergency repairs on the Wonder, which is going to be helpful if anybody gets close. He needs to get a siege like a little closer up, and he's pulling Men at Arms back. He's abandoning his base at this point, which isn't a bad idea. Uh, relics are going to be taken probably by the Ayubids. I bet you the Ayubids are going to send some dervishes and grab all these, but that's really, really strong. Keep is going down from Quill, and after this, uh, who's going to be ready to counter Wonder? I don't think anybody. Does anybody have any sort of um, income that could uh, match this? No. We see Ezra. Ezra is close to counter wandering. I suspect he will probably counter wander after this if this goes well. Granted, Wookie is going to have. How is Wookie affording all this? Is he getting wood again? Okay, Wookie found some wood on the map, so he's able to get his wood back online. Hey, turn. How come he didn't participate in the? I don't know what that tournament is, John. Was it one that was in our Discord? Uh, so yeah, a little haggard positioning here. From the Culves, they need to be, you know, getting some work done right now. Like, the Culverins and the army should be up here maybe skirmishing with this force. Because he's taking a lot of damage here. He's losing a lot of towers, which I don't know if that needed to happen. Um, looking at the Wonder Tracker, we are at six minutes. So it's definitely doable here. This side is going to take a hot minute. See, if you brought some mangoes down here and killed these rams, it would completely stifle this push. And then you could focus elsewhere. Um, this choke point is getting pushed very heavily. Uh, he does have a lot of Mangadels. It's going to be hard when they get up there, for sure. But this is a very, very good push. Wonder Timer currently looking at six minutes, which is going to be the longest six minutes of his life. England coming in with men-at-arms, trebuchets from downtown, and more and more pushing is underway. So they're going to figure out the, uh, the, the corner madness. Definitely not the best defense in the world. It's still good because of his planning. But he, this is a big bronze Odia here. Like, these cults should have been entrenched in these towers. They could have killed all these Bombard Cannons with good micro. There would be none of them. They'd all be gone. And then you could start sniping rams. And if they charge you, they're charging into cannon fire. And they're getting dunked on, right? So, um, I think that a slight Bronze Odia with some of the engagements may cost him the game. Yeah, and this ram signing doesn't need to happen either. This, this could be completely prevented by um, using the artillery. But, you know, his preparation is so good that he might be able to just get away with it. Like, he's got so much that he might find a way to hold here. So the English kind of blundering their army, charging through, um, which is going to be a disaster for them. Trebuchets and mangonels, mangonels, excuse me, are going to get in distance now. And the Wonder is down to five minutes, so it's going to be sub-four minutes now. 
HRE, they can still make defenders uh, to try and come and dive the artillery. So they should what they should do is gather up a bunch here and then try and push. Um, Ezra is coming with Chera Seafones, but they're not going to be able to do probably enough in time. Mango's here and Mango's here. We see the Culves. The Culves need to be a little bit more active. I really don't like that those expensive units are inactive. The Siege Push could have been completely shut down here, and he could have uh, bought himself another two minutes probably, which... Um, I don't know, at this point, you know, he could get compromised. He's still got another layer of walls here, so his defense is holding firm. No, Blue is, is attacking. Blue is not trying to help him. Um, that was just bluffing. Oh, whoa, 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 going down from the Dervish. Okay, a couple horsemen coming in from the HRE. If they can get those traps, that's going to be pretty clutch. And, uh, yeah, once again, the cannon tower is still shooting away. Traps on the low ground trying to wear through the defenders. A couple mangonels and culverins are getting in position. This needs to be dealt with right now. Mangoes need to just be just unleashing hell on this. So get in between these walls and start on that, and you're going to be able to do it. Currently, four minutes left. It's going to be a long four minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the defenses have had some good moments, but I think the attackers are going to get it. I think there's a lot of them, and um, Tron is being a little bit a little bit conservative with his defensive tools. Yeah, now we're going to see these go down, so that's going to buy time. But yeah, a lot of a uh, lot of attackers here. They got to be careful not to accidentally attack each other. That can definitely happen. Now they're going to be shooting into the ramps and doing a shit ton of damage. Chero Seafones are really squishy, so they actually die pretty fast. Tower's going down. Culves, um, not quite able to reach. If the Culves were sitting in the gatehouse here, that's where you want them, because they can shoot really far. Relic's being stolen by the HRE, so HRE's just going for the dub here. And all the Chero Seafones are getting killed by the uh, Mangos. Yep, so there's two left, and they're going to get one down. Some villagers from Swabi at this point would be a really good call by Tron 2, um, just to have them on repair duty. So if Tron wanted to be really, really on top of things, that would be the play. And attackers are trying to work together. They are. We now see Culverins shooting, but they're shooting at infantry. These Trebs need to go. They really, really need to go. So we got three minutes left on that. Um, artillery, go out and meet them. Push them back right now. Their army is not very good here. It's all trebuchets. This HRE army needs to move out and attack. It's This game is 100% winnable for HRE. 100% winnable. But slight blunders here could cost them the match. We see some attackers coming. We get some Holy Roman Troopers moving down that way. Um, HRE is going to move up, and we do see them coming out. So, okay. They moved out, but, like, a little too late. Now they're just going to lose all these uh, Culves. So, yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Just weird pathing. He's moving them in. Um, okay, really, really Bronzodia on the micro there. But it's all good. Tron's still hanging in there. He's still hanging in there, flanking on both sides. He needs to make villagers to repair this. Looks like he's got a couple on standby. He's got at least five. I don't know what he was doing there. Could have picked off a lot of those. Wonder Tracker is 2 minutes and 17 seconds. He still has a lot of stuff. Um, this flank push is, is a little bit weaker. Um, over here, it's not too disruptive. The Mangadels and Towers can probably handle all this, which is what he's going to want to be doing. And um, we have the Wonder Tracker there at 2 minutes and 2 seconds. So, um, yeah, now he's going to have to hold against quite a bit. Culves, they need to take these cannons down. He needs to get these cannons. He needs to micro a little bit cleaner. Needs a micro a little bit cleaner with these culls. Mangonels are doing good work, though. Mangos are maybe going to be the clutch in this game. Tron holding in there. He does take down those cannons. And um, does he have a lot of troops up here? He's still producing in the base, right? Yeah, Tron should be spamming out. Okay, he's got a big army. Oh, my God. Get it active. Get this army active. Come on. Come on. Don't kill all this. Oh, my God. He could just rear charge and destroy this army. But he's losing so much ground. He's losing so much ground. These mangos are hanging nearby. Wonder Tracker's a minute 27. Tron should win this by every stretch. Okay, he's come in. He's flanking. That's very good. Um, his defenders will be ready. Towers are going down slowly but surely. And I think he should hold this. Like, he's got enough static defenses. Um, if, if Quill and um, Ezra had settled their squabble maybe like a minute earlier, I think that this could have been different. Because uh, it's very tight. So Culves are shooting now. The horseman flank is very good. That's a good one, Tron. Attaboy. Tron finally coming in with the clutch play. And it's going to be rear charging all the artillery and swarming and blocking this army, which is very good. On this side, we see Ezra moving in with these uh, archers and Varangians, but they're just going to get absolutely shadow realms here. So not going to be much and uh, nothing coming from that side. Looking at the Wonder Tracker, ladies and gentlemen, we're at 42 seconds. And very, very good play there by Tron at the end. Despite some blunders with his artillery and his defense, he comes in the clutch in the fourth quarter when it matters. He gets all of his horsemen, annihilates those overextended units, and plays like an absolute chad there in the fourth quarter. So well played, Tron. Well played. Um, looking around. Yes, good. One last. He, he rode out and meet them, dude. And he's still got a lot here, too. He's got like 12 mangonels. Oh, the hui hui pals. A little bit too late, though, sadly. 12 seconds. And uh, Tron has done it. GG. Sigmar. Sigmar has done it. The Holy Roman Empire has gotten it. Yes. 
I love to see HRE wins. Always glorious. Holy shit, that was a filthy rat's nest. That was a filthy rat's nest. All right, so it was a long one. I don't know if Pone and um, I don't know if Pone and Gunhound are still here. If they are, then we can we can do the the blessed moderator match. Let me check. Uh, okay, you still here? And I don't know if Gunhound's still here too. Let's see. If they're not, then that's gonna be it. It was bait. He lured them in and hit them from behind. He did. Tron did it. What a Chad play at the end. He, he definitely planned his base really, really well. Like, really, really well. Um, that was a great game, though. Man, good match. Tron's eco is insane. He had an insane one. Okay, so checking to see if Pone is still around. I don't know if he is. I'm here. Okay, got it. Gunhound. Are we doing it? All right, so Gunhound and Pone. If you guys could communicate and make a lobby... We are going to have the Faded Duel. And for the map, just do Dry Arabia, by the way. That's like the most, the, probably the best 1v1 map. Oh, yes. It is time. He confirmed it was super. Yeah, I bet you it was super. Oh, okay. Maybe he was just lagging pretty hard. Tron said a lag. Okay, that would explain why he was more static in his defenses. For sure. Hell yeah. All right. Let's see if Gunhound's here, too. I don't know if Gunhound's still around. Um. All right, Gunhound. Let me see if the, the man is here. You on? Okay, I'm checking with Gunhound to see. I see he's away on messages. We'll give him a minute to see if he's going to show, but if not, we can... I can always record their duel, too. Okay, checking with the players here. Looking good. Hmm. I don't know if Gunhound's still around. It's it, he's East Coast, I think, so it's a little, little later for him at this point. He's probably having dinner or something. We'll give it another like five minutes, and we'll see if he if he's if he's not around, then that's fine. Yeah, they put aside the blood feud. I thought they if they had put aside the blood feud a little bit earlier, they might have gotten it. Maybe, but um, yeah, that was a, the Tron had an absolutely insane defense. The amount of like stone cannon towers he had is just brutal. It's been 84 years of waiting for this match, I know. It is. Uh, nothing from the Hound yet. Okay, we're, we're looking. Okay. Where are we at? I don't know, guys. I don't know if it's going to happen. <laughs> Wicked will play film. I don't know if Wicked plays. Wicked, do you play Age at all? You have zero hours? Yeah. Yeah, who knows, man. So I think that might be the end of the road. What we'll do with the next stream, guys, is we'll start with the, the Blood Feud. So that's probably going to be it for tonight. I'm sure Gunhound is spending some time with his wife, you know, hanging out. So we are going to do the duel between those champions at the start of the next stream. So on that note, I just want to thank you guys all for joining. Today's stream was super fun. Super fun. We had some great matches. If you enjoyed this action, please do drop a like on the way out. It helps a lot. helps keep the age engine uh, rolling. And uh, yeah, we'll be back soon. I don't know when, but sometime in the next few days. All of you who donated. Um, oh, yeah, man. Yeah, thank you guys so much. I missed a couple donations there. Thank you, thank you. But that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to go hang out with my lovely wife. And uh, we're going we're gonna, to you know, take it easy for now. GG, well played. See you guys around. Adios, Dovidzenia. And uh, Sigmar bless this ravaged body. GG's.